Page Page turn on one time for the one time. Tapping in, tapping in, man. It's your legendary Big T type of cats. You can choose, lose, you can stay confused. You're now rocking with the best on YouTube. Yeah. Man, I came through, man. Do a quick live, man. Um, Y'all woke me out last night. I had to do a turnaround to get right back up, man, in like two hours. It was like four something. I think we got off at like 4 a.m. on the dot. 4 a.m. I was like, nah, they were still trying to crank up new conversations and keep going. I'm like, nah, bro, don't do me like that, man. Nah, don't do me like that. Um, but that was that was a that was definitely a good beer yesterday, man. Um appreciate the feminine energy that came through. Um a lot of sword sharpening. And uh and, and and the thing I most appreciated was how they threw it right out the glass. I love the subject matters because it's gonna fall right into you know the lecture Saturday. So uh, you know I I like the the, the topics and uh, you know to get everybody mind thinking. And uh, I'm glad we were on the same page. So I think. You know, Saturday gonna be a lot of edification going on. Hey man, I hope y'all on my like button, family. I hope y'all on my like like button. Real talk. Um, see, so yeah, that was that was that that was a hell of a conversation, man. Um, and, and, and you know, we have more to come, but um, I, I say this here for. Uh, how it started yesterday, you know what I'm saying? Over there, um, fucking with Sinetta and them, you know, and they he called out Dane Calloway, he offered him three or four, three or four thousand um, dollars. And he's talking about uh, Jabari. Um, I think I'm gonna do something on Jabari on his last lecture. His um, he did a lecture and at Sinatra and said for anyone to debunk it. So I think I'm gonna um revisit that because there's so many things Jabari teach wrong, and he come out here and hide behind a white boy voice and try to tell people, you know, he's a he was a teacher and all of this type type of shit here and. You know, I just never heard him drop no real information. You can't compare a Jabari to like a Dr. Ben. You can't uh, you can't compare a Jabari to a goddamn John Henry Clark. Jabari is not that. Yesterday, I don't know if y'all seen it, but Jabari got caught out there. His students came in there, did a whole presentation. Mind you, I'm on the phone, so I can't see the video. But his students doing a whole presentation with a book that he has taught them about. Well, yesterday they found that that book was plagiarized. Um, yeah. So again, Jabari, for you to be a master teacher, bro, for you to be that guy, for you to be as smart as you think you are, or you got these people around here fooled because. Brother, even yesterday, where were your bars? Because you came out there trying to, and 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 he, he sat there in the audience and he was watching me punch on them niggas. At first, you know, it was pretty funny to me. Hold on, we're gonna skip up a little bit. This one, side called me. You do it. Because that's what we get out. I think my pops, my pops was a. You have someone. You know, Dane, you mess with Dane. I'm gonna tell you what he told me. He gonna want to be paid. So, hey, that's what know, I'm talking about. To... I'm saying, yeah. get him on the phone. I ain't got ten thousand, but goddamn it, I know for three hours I can give you four thousand. For Dane, okay. he's the top. So, no, I definitely run it by him. I, I definitely, definitely run it by him. But yeah. the last time, and I'm gonna say him, this here right now, bro. If Dane not interested, uh. Give me Jabari. I'll punch on Jabari. If they ain't not interested, which I doubt if he'd he be interested in fucking with you niggas. I'm just going to be honest. 
especially when he know the sin- the ship is sinking, the ship on his way down, and damn near he damn near bring you niggas throw you niggas a life go at a life jacket if he come out here fucking with you niggas. But I tell you what, if he do not, I will take the fade with Jabari. Period. So probably was a week ago. And it was about, you know, he said he'll, he'll fight the boy. He ain't scared of the boy. All but right. he said if the, business, yeah. if the business right, he'll knock the boy right. And I'm Man, happy. So. Listen. Ah, if the business right, he'll knock the boy ass out. Yeah, Dane, don't worry about it. I got you. Yeah, he ain't fuck you mean. He's scared, nigga. We ain't turning down no phase around here. And if, if he feel like y'all not worth his time, guess what? Jabari, you can you can come run your fade back. You come get your action back. Oh him. You we can run it back, Jabari. What you want to do? Since y'all so desperate for a fade, we want an elbow fade. We want an elbow fade. I tell you what, because I never say called the guy Chief Bigo and alligator them. They turned it down. Maybe they just don't want to deal with y'all, bro. Because on the street, you know, it can be a little shady. So, some people don't want to deal with it. Understandable. Uh, but far as Jabari and the fade with Jabari, Jabari, I will shine your head up, mister. And, and yesterday, do you know Jabari said that more from the Kashadi tribe later on? Bro, y'all niggas can't, bro, y'all never even heard of the Kashadi. Never even heard of the Kasadi, brother. And white boy Chris sitting here talking about a goddamn slave trade. Brother, do you know my family were chiefs of the tribe before a motherfucking them um the Kashada signed up with the five civilized tribes and started that slave shit? Do you know we were chiefs already, brother? So yeah, you can miss me. Maybe they bred with a slave. Boy, you niggas, you niggas need to be whipped in the back with it. With yeah. it. Uh, what, what, Umar at? A hundred lashes a piece for you, fool ass nigga. From the phone with me, and we can have that discussion. Look at this nigga here. Uh, no, that nigga there got a drinking problem. It's all in his face. You know, when you would look at a nigga face until he's a, he's the alky. But it, we gotta, right, right. we gotta talk about the business. How we gonna face, talk about stay it? He's drunk. scared to get on the phone. Now I got you. Yeah, look at that. Hey, let me ask you something, brother. But look at the ass. Dude. You might look at the ass on this planet. He show sure was ha- have a sense of humor because he sure make you look like a primate. He didn't make you look like a bird. He didn't make you look like an insect. He didn't make you look like a fish. He made you look like a primate. So that's a lot. This of- Henry Lewis Gates looking yeah, at look nigga at right here. Hey, let me ask you something, brother. Let me ask you something, brother. Yes. You have sex with a primate? Would you procreate with a primate? <laughs> you can't. No, you can't, brother. Nah. You can't have sex with... You can't, so why would you but say- you ain't going to be able to procreate. People can I, have I, sex with a dog. I say that because you look at your hands and look at a primate hand. Look at your feet and man, look at that's a primate. That old, look at your legs. Your, and that. Man, that's that old Booker T. Coleman shit, man. Oh, Dr. Cobb, but these niggas teach pseudo for years and then come out here and change their name on you and shit like that. Oh, yeah, that's some old Dr. Cobb shit, nigga. That's that old uh, uh, um, Dr. Deborah Blair ass shit, nigga. You don't look like a and dick. That's why I asked you, and that's why I asked you, would you, sleep, would you sleep with a primate, brother? I mean, you you looking at all that? You might well look at the ass there. You might well see if she got some big breasts and all this here too. Then nah. yeah, all you niggas with this primate shit, I'm tired of playing with y'all niggas. You might well go ahead on and fuck her and have one as your baby mama, since we the same. You the same as a primate, huh? Yep. Well, nigga, uh, go ahead on and fuck her. Take her home for the night, nigga. Put on a little mini skirt and some heels, nigga, and drop dick in it then. Get a, get a drunk. Take her out for drinks. You and the primate. Since that y'all come from primates, somebody had to fuck on the ugly ass. Yeah, somebody stuck dick to that ugly ass primate, nigga. If you here, um, yeah, nigga, um, 
nigga, it started from a primate. The primate came before you, and now you here. That means somebody ran dick up in her. Why you ain't fucking on her? Yeah, why you refuse to fuck on this primate then, nigga? That's y'all. That's y'all want to listen to white folk science, nigga. It puts you in a position like this. You watching primates' ass when they walk by. Yeah. No, we're not. We, well, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. We just we just talking about the fact that you don't do. You, you look like a, you have a, 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 a you have someone on this, on this planet that you resemble. You resemble a primate. You don't resemble anything. I resemble God a you primate. Look like anything else. You could look like any. You could be the most unique creature on this planet. But hey, y'all, let's now, get the likes up. Get the likes up. Come so on, man. God so damn. So you looking at eight? You looking at eight? Uh, Bro, let's get the likes up. You sitting there watching eight walk out when it's past. You being funny, brother. I know you try to be funny, brother, but you didn't answer. You you not answering the question. You resemble something on this planet. I don't. I don't believe it. No, sir. You know, you I saying you like, okay? You, you look like a chimp. Get go go online. Look. I look like my look mama, nigga. Chimpy. So I don't you. know what you're talking about. I got a chimp anatomy and look at you. That's all you have to do. You don't have to. You don't have to talk about DNA. You don't have to talk about anything. A monkeys. Nobody on the platform teach that we come from monkeys. Why people don't understand that, bro, bro, brother? Y'all um, been kicking that monkey shit. Rock. Why you? Why you think they don't understand that? Cause they look at it's just like it's just like with some of us who look in the mirror and say we don't. Like I'm gonna tell Dane what uh they said four thousand dollars Dane to come over there for a couple hours, and I'm coming with him. And if Dane and what Jabari, I'm telling you right now, Jabari, I'm gonna knock you out. I'm gonna knock your bald head ass, pop belly ass, I look. Flat chip, pop belly ass out, nigga. Square business. I'm gonna beat. I'm gonna maul you this time. Like what we see, and we become Israelites. Yeah. We become, we become everything but what we see in the mirror, and what we have come to know. Was now, like I said, I, I, I don't. I'm not gonna talk about the Aboriginals and 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 their. I just want to know what the end game is because, you know, all this has to have an end game. The, the people who became... So, well, damn, where the hell the Pan-African end game? You niggas started a couple hundred years ago. Where y'all, what's y'all end game? And all y'all niggas going to jail for fucking babies and touching kids. I mean, it's just been the... Woo! All you niggas that cross state lines with, with young babies or oh, then had babies with young babies according to Malcolm we got on for Elijah and we just seen a lot who's just been going down Fat Road and went crazy went Kodak Black on us the other day nigga sitting in the room talking about demons in there with him nigga and that bitch talking about he and that bitch nigga got a demon living in the next room with him and, and all this type of shit he see ghosts he see dead people yeah, y'all niggas go crazy over there with their countries. I never want none of that black countries. Nigga. Who them niggas lose their mind? Don't they? Hey, y'all there looking like Shabazz used to be on Sardinetta. Yeah, oh, ooh, we man. Jews in the Middle East start their religion and they, and they, and they serve the purpose. So if, if it's just by identity, man, I really don't care. You know, if no, it's so about, man, if it's by, it. if it's by it's you getting your name, it. if it's by you. I don't have I don't have an argument with you, brother. You I, identify I, you de- you identify who you say you are. You will say you are Aboriginal. I do not identify as that. So we're not gonna do that. No problem, brother. No, I have no problem with that, family. I just I'm just gonna ask uh what part um Ebo, bro. Ebo. Where is it? That's in uh, uh South Central Africa. Go all the way down to the coast. They've kind of mixed up with other okay. groups oh. that's from Cameroon and um, and Central uh, Nigeria, but they also have Yoruba. So you can clearly look. You can clearly look and see African all in the brother. Man. No, 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 that's a black European. He's he, he from Europe. He's a black yeah, European. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and I'm gonna tell you something. See, he got he, he got the small lips like the white folks did. This. this nigga put his hand on his mouth. Now this Henry Louis Gates looking at nigga right here. He know he Irish. That's that's Henry. That's little Henry. Henry Louis Gate. I'm too. Uh, I don't see what you look like. I, I think I still saw you one time. You a red brother with red hair. I'm I'm a red skin. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm you're a you're a light skinned brother. So how you become light if you black? Red. 
I want that's the color American gun, brother. With, with, with this color, brother. I'm so really are all skinny. y'all light skin or y'all dark like me? Well, not all of them, brother. I can just speak for myself. You know, so that means that, that, means hey, that hey, some of y'all. Know. Some Let me of y'all get left the tropics. Some, some, of y'all left the, some of y'all left the tropics and went north and turned dark and turned light. I, I'm not familiar. I wouldn't be sure, brother. All right, you brother. Know, Let right. me get Ron McCarthy because he got to go to work. I'm in Ron. You on the call, brother? You you up next? Yeah, I- I wish I would have knew. His, I wish I would have knew his name was Armin Rock, but this brother was 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 very respectful though. But I wish I would have knew his name was Armin Rock. Y'all chopping to me? Do I sound choppy? No, you sound good, brother. Okay, okay, cool. Hey, y'all, make sure we on that like button out there. Shout out to everybody out there, man. Uh, Jabari and them, they are desperate for a fade over there. And let me tell you something, man. With me, the customers are always right. So if they ain't don't want it, Jabari. I'm going to walk you down, bro. I'm going to walk you down. I'm going to make it crystal clear. Jabari ain't got nothing. We're going to get into the tough shit. See, they want to talk about some Indian shit. We can mix the Indian with the African shit. Jabari, I got a whole set over here for you. And Jabari, you think they ain't playing. Dane has a whole expose on you, brother. He has a whole demonstration prepared for you already. Whether you know it or not, y'all keep thinking it's something weak about Dane. Dane has a whole... That nigga was was going off so much about Jabari. I said, God damn. Jabari, you better be careful what you ask for. That nigga is ready. You better be careful what you ask for, bro. Uh, peace to the channel, peace to the chat, and everybody. Uh, Top Cat, I, I respect your um, your right to to identify uh, w- w- what you have studied and believed to be. So I don't have any contention, uh, contention, but I just simply asking a question for me, for my knowledge. Is it your and, and and peace to you? Is it your stance that you're saying that you have absolutely no African? blood in your line or are you saying you it might be but you still identify as totally aboriginal hey y'all let's get the likes over 100 we got 125 in here come on man y'all be making me look bad y'all making me look bad right now bro let's get the likes up no sir i'm saying that uh i have no african um in my bloodline and neither do you brother okay okay and and so on the lines of all of the history for the slave ships and all, you say are y'all saying that all of that is all made up? I wouldn't say that, brother. What I would say to that is the primary source to the transatlantic slave trade story would be the people. And since the people are not here, their descendants will be here. So what we would need is for their descendants to step up and prove that their family actually went through this atrocity. And that is something that we have not seen yet. Okay, and my last question, and I I appreciate that. My last question, are there any uh, Native American or Indians that we know Indians of? Not saying that you're not one, but you know the ones that we've always grown up to understand or know. Are there any of those brothers and sisters that that stand on what you stand on, saying that the black people are the aboriginals and not them? Is is there one, is there just one or two that have made that uh, proclamation the ones that we know as American Indians, uh, have any of them stood up to say uh, what this brother and what this group of people are saying is absolutely true? The black people that are here are absolutely ab- aboriginal to the Americans. First out, brother, I don't need no Native American or no one that's not me to vouch for my Indian. All right? That's for one, brother. Give a damn about a Native American standing up saying, any goddamn thing who gives a fuck about what a native american have to say um i, I wouldn't know i live in texas which has the largest black population in america so i, I don't know brother i'm surrounded by a whole bunch of niggas that look like me you feel me so i, I don't get a chance to uh interact with those people the people that i meet they say they have a uh, indian ancestry look like me here in texas brother Okay. Well, I appreciate your answers, brother. And like I said, keep on doing what you're doing. I, I, you know, if you if you believe it, I believe it too, brother. It's really interesting. 
it is very interesting because oh, I, I kind of I kind of lead to the side that maybe maybe man did come from more than one spot at the same time. It's possible. So I a lot of a lot of those people over there, y'all. Man, you go back a year ago, two years ago, they 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 wasn't trying to hear it. Now today, the Indian now they're having to accept it. For the teachers on the Pan African side, that's that's bad news for them. Because either what they have been teaching was wrong, or they haven't been teaching the whole story, or they haven't been teaching the correct story. Because now everyone's out in there, even their big Pan Africans. We heard y'all boys come out and tell y'all Indian ancestry, Dr. Cobb and them, James Smile, so on and so forth. We even had Jabari come out and said he has American Indian ancestry. We're trying to figure it out. Appreciate the, the information. I would love to see Dane Calloway and, and Brother Jabari get in it, or you and, and Brother Jabari get it in. And guess what, brother? If 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 they ain't feel like they're wasting his time, guess what? You gonna get what you ask. Just what the doctor ordered. Doc, I got you. I'm gonna walk him down and I'm gonna knock him out. Period, bro. On my dead mom, I'm gonna sleep him and stand over the body. Uh, it's very very interesting. If, if nothing else, it's very interesting. I appreciate the answer. Peace, sir. Hello, mm. brother. Before you leave, uh, 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 are you of African descent? From what I know, I am, and I do have, like you said, the stories of my grandmother and my great grand great, you know, grandparents. We have pictures and records of them, not necessarily from the slave ship, but as far as being in slavery. You know what I'm saying? I can't tell you for sure what slave ship we came from, but I do know that we were in slavery before sharecropping days and so that's what i i have a problem with trying to you know because you're right if you can't prove what ship you came from you, you you do have a point but at the same time i do know of and you know what bro the fact now that they don't have a defense and this brother's familiar with me it was a few of the, a few of them was familiar with me they didn't really want to engage on that side with me but now they just give it up. He started going in his pocket. I ain't asked for his cell phone or wallet or nothing like nigga tapped his own pocket. Well, I have heard the stories. So all of y'all had these Indian stories. The guy Little Rock up here. He he said he from Dallas. I say, so your people out of East Texas. Yeah, we from East Texas. So you got an Indian grandma. Yeah, I got Indian grandma. So that was okay. Now now we got one more coming up. We got one more up here. African woman or with a Chinese woman. Last name is McCarthy. Oh, American Indian. 99.9. 99.9. Damn. 99.9? Yeah, they show up no ass. Damn. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. I was that. hoping for a little bit of I was hoping, but it didn't work out for me. Hey, shout out to the homie for the love and the cash. I appreciate that love. I would love to see that, brother. So, so look, now, this is this would be my question, right? Are y'all saying that all of the tests have to lead back to Africa? Now, if all of it have to lead back to Africa, uh, it might be some type of foul play in this, right? Yeah, can you show us that, though? Shout out to the homie Lucini. Do you you said you got copies of it? Well, no, I said I can I can I can uh show the uh the recorded play the recording of them uh talking about the uh DNA test breaking okay. down the DNA. Okay, so this is what my family did, right? They do the DNA with the genealogy. So um that I don't know what happened. This point cut out. He cut me out. So I think we kind of started this <laughs> off on the wrong foot. So let's start back over. What type of African genetics do you have? What type of African genetics? Uh, my uh, name. Let me remember. I done this so so long ago. Nigeria. What is it? Um, um, Benin, Congo. I have various types. Brother, uh, uh, what what year was the country Nigeria created? 
the country the year that the country was created means nothing i i know what landmass they are speaking hey jabari in the chat the whole time y'all jabari in the chat the whole time he's gonna have to come up there once his students start bringing out the information that he have taught them so he's gonna come up there to try to defend his stands brother but luckily I was on the phone and not there because y'all know I could have pulled it up. I seen them in the chat. They was wired up. They they saw them going in. They were dropping their information. The chat was like, watch this. Here it come, y'all. They, they already knew they was finna walk into it. Because see, we game tight over here. Y'all can't play them little African tricks on us like that. Everybody in the chat was like, watch this. And I asked your boy, is was the book plagiarized? He said no. Tried to bluff me with a poker face, bro. Bet check a fold. He tried to bluff me. Uh, R.I.P. to my nigga Keith, man. Rest in peace, Keith, man. Keith, uh, was my nigga loco brother, man. Um, Keith died like 2010, 20 little right after Lil Gator died, man. Rest in peace, Lil Gator, man. Fifty six. Oh, uh, legend, man. Uh, Keith used to like poker. He taught me about poker and how to play poker and all of this shit. So he used to always be playing on his little phone and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my nigga cut the uh the top off the Riviera. You understand me, man? White on white like baby powder. You feel me? 80 folds and vows, man. Rest in peace to my nigga Keith, man. Homestead, Texas. But let's walk. Yeah, Jabari gonna try to bluff me. Speaking of. Okay, okay. So because it, the the Nigeria was created in the 20th century, brother. Uh -huh. And it's from the comp tiger company. So you mm -hmm. telling me white man owns you. You're you're eighty eight percent of a white man's company is basically what you're telling me. The Niger company. That's no. No, that's not what that's not what that's that's saying respectfully, brother. And most people know that's not what I'm sorry. So what 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 tribe are you coming from then, brother? I I, I never wanted I never wanted to dig deep enough to find out what, what tribe I'm coming for. I, I live in the twenty first century. I'm not really worried about it. Boy, that ain't no way to get out. Put your hands behind your back. See, niggas like that I take into slavery. I must, you know what you sound like to me? You sound like you want to go pick you some cotton. Because, see, you will accept a slave narrative that you know nothing about. A nigga will even picture himself naked with a little, uh, with some capri pants, some khaki capri pants on with no pocket. The pocketless khaki capri pants or uh, dressed like Huckleberry Finn and shit. Uh, you know, with chains and shackles on and shit. A nigga can really imagine that shit in his mind with no picture of nothing. But then a nigga say, what tribe you from? Who are you, brother? What is your story? Nigga say, you know what? I live in the 21st century. I can really kill goddamn list. Just made me shake my head, man. And the nigga look like one of them old niggas that can, old Rucker Park legends. Look at it, man. Y'all can't tell me, man. He need the Horace Grant goggles or uh, Horace Grant goggles on, man. That nigga look like a motherfucking uh, 1990s nigga, uh, 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 Rucker Park. Uh, yeah, nigga. Jump shot phenomenal. Yeah, check him out. Oh, uh, man, what was that movie, man? Was it White Man Can't Jump? It was one of the movie, man. And he got his shit turned back. Yeah, that nigga look like he carried motherfucking radio boombox, nigga. Uh, yeah, a, a radio boom box, a can old English nigga with the brown paper bag on that motherfucker nigga, and these square business come out there in the sneakers with the, the Patrick Ewans tied up tight on your motherfucking ass British Knights and a ball on, yeah, that nigga like he a finger roll champion. No, who you they weren't really dunking like that back then, you know. That nigga come through that bitch and Dr. J finger roll your motherfucking ass. Well, I know who I am. I'm American. <laughs> um, American of African descent with European and and native um admixture. 
That's what what I am. No, nah, I didn't ask what, him that. What are your native admins? Because I didn't ask him that. We got another one. Hold on, sir. We got another one. We got another one, y'all. These are my confessions. Nigga went us on my ass. When I thought I like it, say some shit, some shit. Chick on the side, got a baby on the way. These are my confessions. Oh, he got a confession. I thought we was talking about your Nigerianness. How the hell we go from Nigerian to an Indian tribe? Let's walk. Come if you don't mind me asking. Virginia. Uh, what, uh, grandparents, uh, on your mother or father's side? On my father's side. And Brother, hold on, that? hold on. Brother Jabari, come in and, um, ask a couple of questions. I'm trying to get this Abbo debate discussion topic in. Come on in for a little while, Jabari. I know you busy. Come on in for a little while. We got top... He ain't busy. He's scared, nigga. He know you, who you got in there. He had been sitting in the chat the whole time. Cat, who's one of the top, um, you know, American Indians up in the building. So come on. Thank in. you, Sai, for being respectful, brother. Because he wanted to call me Aboriginal. Shout out to my Aboriginal family. But he caught himself at. Yeah, okay. Appreciate that, man. They work, man. They working on them, bro. Everybody, listen, man. You gotta meet everybody, everyone where they at, and then you gotta walk with them. Some people, sometimes the walk take a little longer, man. But I'm telling you, man, I got some shit over here right now. I'm feeling like I don't think none of these niggas can take my punches out of here, man. You know, I, I don't know, man. The boy, the boy, I'm going to make you stand on all of that African shit. My boy ran. He's small fries anyway. They don't fuck with Sinetta no more. He sure ain't got no following over there now. Now what they gonna do now? Yeah, but but the but the main thing, brother Top Cats, I just want you and some other people to understand that when y'all say you have no African DNA, you're saying that you're a totally separate species from Homo sapiens sapiens, and you want to be very careful uh, saying that because Homo sapiens sapiens are not very nice to other species. You know, they would put you in a zoo laboratory. Something like Lord, like that, mercy. you know, when they in, in encounter new species. You gotta be very careful. Hey y'all, let's get the likes up. I appreciate that love in the cash out, family. Hey y'all, let's get the likes up. Careful saying that. Okay, brother, and I appreciate you. Uh appreciate that heads up. I want to also give you a heads up. Uh brother, for you to know about Homo sapiens and about all these other things, and you know nothing of yourself. I think you have done this justice <laughs> to your family, brother. I think you need to go find your family instead of trying to find homo sapiens. And I'm pretty sure you slept with a white woman before. And Not at all. Those <laughs> women that I ain't never even tasted or touched. You know, I don't know none of them flavors, brother. Uh, but yeah, appreciate the advice, brother. I will take heed to it. Please take heed to the advice that I uh, gave you brother and since you didn't care enough to know what tribe you were from but you cared enough to know could you uh, uh, have sex with another race you know because you was a homo sapien or some shit like that I appreciate the time yes sir yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you. One, one, one last thing. You know, my my stance is that that a lot of black people spend too. That nigga gonna call me out on the one on one on the court. Nah, that nigga gonna come out there with them big old hot socks on, man. That nigga want a one on one, nigga. That nigga on talking about check up. Yeah, nigga, you might fuck with me on this information, nigga. Oh, get your ass on this court, nigga. Check check ball. Check ball, nigga. Get your ass on this court, nigga. Too much time looking in the rearview mirror, and and you can't drive forward when you're looking in the darn rearview mirror, you know. So that that's the only thing that I have I have to say about you know. There's some some people spend a lot of time wor worrying about what what color sandals Jesus wore and and stuff from three four hundred year, years ago, and they're losing in the 21st century. Black people elevate. That's all I have. Thank you. All right, all right, Top Cat. How much more time you got? Oh, I, I can take one more question. All right, let's go. All right, Williams, brother Williams. Hey, up, top man? cat. 
I want to say just real, hey, first of all, so I never much respect to you, brother. I'm a huge fan of you, bro. Thank um, you. Been watching you for years. Um, Top Cat, I just got I just uh got up with you probably about maybe six months ago. Huge fan of you, bro. All I will ask is when you debate, don't let them get you so upset. Because when you slow it down, you intelligent as fuck, my nigga. But when that nigga come on, that's when they start trying to get on you in the comments. <laughs> but uh check this out. Sorry, you there? Nah, right on, right on. Shout out to the homie Will. Uh you know, I'm gonna be honest, bro. It's it's kind of like a strategy for me too. Because when I step in, they hear my voice or they see me, they're gonna automatically, you know, uh uh stereotype me. So I mix it up. Sometimes when I'm not on no nigga shit, and that's not what they expected, I go on some nigga shit. And so, but when I slow that pace down, y'all heard the homie Will. Y'all, when I slow that pace down on the nigga, and it's a chess match, pick him apart. Pick him apart. There? I'm here. Okay. First of all, I'm Aboriginal. Uh, I don't consider myself as a Native American. Native American was a term that I think was came around, what, the late 60s, 70s, or something like that. Um, the Native Americans are the descendants of the pilgrims that was brought over here. Anybody that know that know about the five dollar Indians. I'm sure that that information is out there. Um, as far as my genealogy, um, my grandfather was born in 1911. I had a great time to talk to him, you know, growing up, you know, about his grandparents. I traced my my family lineage back to what uh, I think uh, early 1800s, 1700. I kind of stopped. Um, my whole life, I was told we were Indian. Um, my grandfather never mentioned Africa. He did mention uh, uh, his people fighting over um, being called Indian and shit like that, being hung for shit like that. And You know what I'm saying? There was a war going on in these streets that I think we wasn't told about, brother. And I think a little of our history was lied to, man. And I just I just wish that, uh, you know, a few people would kind of open their ears a little bit instead of just making it a debate and making it like, you know, a religion and making it a fight. Because, yeah, I troll. I'm in the chat. I'm trolling. But when I say little things, when I'm getting kicked out of the chat and everything, bro, I can tell, like, this is really touching people home. And uh, your boy Dan got some information for that ass. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if he's running. I don't know if he said something about some money shit. And that's, I'm surprised by that. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, I do... I do want Dame or somebody to step up to the plate and offer some of that information. Also, um, if Jabari's listening, I would love to see Jabari debate Bro Sanchez on ancient cosmology, man. Y'all be keeping Bro Sanchez. All right, let me skip up shit, All right. So now you claim to be Indian, right? Native American. I don't claim to be uh Indian. Look at white boy Chris popped up. <laughs> Bro, you need another picture, bro. Why you look different than everybody else? Does? Brother, I that nigga like an undercover cop. Man, that nigga like an undercover cop, a Puerto Rican, a NYPD Puerto Rican cop. Well, you ain't you haven't shown you haven't shown any proof, so it's just a claim. So, what what happened to your native your native tongue and your culture? Because you're speaking English right now. Correct. Uh, correct. I'm speaking English right now, but my grandparents didn't speak English. My great grandfather spoke, spoke his language, brother. Okay, I asked you how to. I have asked you what happened to it. I didn't ask you. Um, what well, they, 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 yeah, they were bilingual. They were bilingual, brother. My great grandfather moved his family to the city, and uh, so can can you speak any of your native tongue? No, sir. I just know how to do greetings. I just know the greetings of. Hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. So, what about you got you speak in the African languages? No, I'm, 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 no, I can't. I, 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 okay. No. Okay. I, 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 I. So my thing is this, right? Normally, if you throw some shit like that, speak your language. You should be ready. To at least bring your hand back in boxing, they call it get on the phone. You bring that hand back up there 
and so you could catch the shot coming back. And when I seen he didn't follow up after he asked me that, I even told him, no, sir, I was patient with him. And so it was just right there. So I just jabbed him too, too, too long of a blank. He's not going to follow up. So he just threw one shot. You ain't double up on the jab or nothing to bring a, a, a two or a three behind it. So I just jabbed him and changed his whole momentum. But I can prove that I'm African easily. But he can prove he African easily. Now what happened? What he did was after he got jabbed, he panicked. I wasn't even on the attack. I ain't even said nothing. He know me. This Willie, y'all. Y'all seen me do Willie bad over there on Q Butter Channel. Bless his heart. Oh, good to see him though, man. I didn't know if he made it out that coma. I put his ass in last time. Oh, uh, so Willie. Oh, uh, he jumped right on the defense, but I can prove what kind of African I ain't sitting there, man. I just jabbed you because you you threw, you tried to pop shot, and then you didn't follow up with nothing. So I just jabbed you. I, I, I'm on defense, I'm letting you get your shit out. It's hit him with a jab and changed his whole momentum. He ready to give up everything out of his pocket. I wasn't even on the attack, but since you hurt, let's walk. Since, you, since that jab faded, you let's walk. And, and okay, um, easily I can prove it, and I can prove mine without okay, DNA. What part of Africa are you from? What part of Africa are you well, from? Well, well, it doesn't say what part it's from. Get the fuck out of here, man! Boy, them nigga be bluffing, don't they? Man, rest in peace, my nigga Keys. Man, I think I got a picture of Keys. I gotta find it. Let me see. Man. I'm gonna show y'all Keys. Hey, get my likes up, family. We got the fam in the building. Hey, shout out to the homie Dane in the building. Dane, them niggas better quit playing on your name, man. Dane, nigga better quit playing on your name. Oh. Sinetta, I don't know if you heard it. Sinetta said he'll offer you $4,000. Because I told him. I said, man, listen. They ain't come over here, bro. Don't have to pay. He said, well, you know, I ain't got 10 racks, but I give him like four. So I said, all right, I'll tell him what I, I'll tell him uh, what you said. You feel me? But um, you know, however you want to do that, uh uh dang, but I told him uh yeah, yeah. Now nah, this was from yesterday. So yesterday. Sinetta dropped the old video. Jabari Osaze versus Dane Calloway. Five questions to ask Dane Calloway. Top Cat comes through the bill. But they were doing the show. And, you know, they I guess they keep saying they want to fade with somebody from the American paradigm. The Hebrew shit didn't work out. The Kimmy shit didn't work out. They ain't got nothing else to talk about. And so they damn near need a life jacket right now they have a civil war going on they need a life jacket and so i went on there i told sinetta i say nigga dane ain't scared of jabari if you pay him he'll knock jabari out i told him just like that see if the business right he'll come over here and knock jabari ass out and if he don't want to i'll knock his ass out again because the first time i fought jabari y'all gotta remember he was over there talking shit about Dane. So I came. I jumped on the live and I say, well, shit, nigga, Dane ain't here. I'm right here, nigga. I'll take the fade. And shit, he, he lined it up and I went <laughs> and I took, I lumped that nigga shit up. You know what I'm saying? He didn't even know me. He was like, damn, yeah, but I, nigga, he ain't here today, nigga. I'm right here, though. We ain't gonna do that while I'm right here. Took, bang, 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 took off on me. Yeah. Not of this shit up. Um, it just says, "What shit? My grand, my great grandfather, great great grandfather was." Hold on, hold on, Damn, bro, your whole energy changed. Now you were just telling me you could prove that you from Africa. I ain't even asked you that, bro. You got on the defense, and when you when you pump fake like you had something on you, I said he ain't got nothing. And now look at him. He on it don't say the shit, but damn, nigga, how you got a hundred percent proof? Top cat, let me answer it so I can be clear because I didn't cut you off when you were talking. My great great grandfather 
was enslaved and brought to Georgia. And it's, it's documented. The ship that he was on, when he came here, from, from that point on. So, brother, there were, no ports, there were no slave ports in Georgia, brother. That is absolutely false. There well, how were no do you ports. know that? How do you know that? Because, because I'm American Indian historian, brother. Okay. And I know okay. the miracle I back in my hand. There were no slave ports in Georgia. That is an absolute lie, brother. Okay, well, first of all, you didn't hear me say that he came through a slave port in Georgia. I said, he Take his whole thing away. He don't even know how to walk. Come on, man. Say, man, you didn't put him up. Now you're on the back foot. You didn't came with this. You don't, you don't know, you don't say what part of Africa. But I got the boat. You got the boat. He on that Rob Bourne shit. Remember Rob Bourne said he got a boat. Nigga came over, he got the screen. I got a boat. Nigga, what tribe you from? I got a boat. Nigga riding this hoe got a banana boat, a canoe. Nigga riding banana boats and shit. So you rode a banana boat to the America. So check him out. Now Willie say he got a boat and he got the boat coming in in Georgia. And boy, you got to be the city nigga in the world. Nigga ain't no motherfucking slave poison. See, these, the Pan-Africans never even told these niggas where the slave ports was at. So when they tell you slavery, you thinking Alabama to solve all of this shit here is slave port. Man, niggas smoking dick. Come on, man. <laughs> niggas smoking dick. You, don't, you niggas don't even know where the slave port's at. Ain't no slave port in Georgia. How you know, nigga? Cause I'm a, a married into his story. You know that nigga told me after that. Well, you ain't even hear me say that it, it came through Georgia. You niggas crazy, bro. It is somebody gonna talk about top catch got went over side another house and got beat up yesterday. Man, are you serious, bro? I was sitting there laughing. I'm jo I'm I'm just joking around, bro. Come on, man. The war ended. Those African peoples hold on. But if he's saying that the Kaushati Indians participate, we call a white boy Chris. Hey, what's going on, Sonata? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got Top Cats um, on here on the channel and stuff like that. Hey, Top Cats, real quick question. Um, you're on here and you're, um, I know a lot of things. You like to talk about the transatlantic slave trade. You like to try to teach that. You're an Indian, and I'm not going to go against that claim or anything like that. But if you don't mind me asking you, what tribe do you specifically say you come from? Bro, what's wrong with your background? Hey, shit. Okay. Hey, look at Dane. Dane, if you still in, if you want to come up and build on it. All right, bet. He say, I'm still on tour. Okay, okay. Give me a few to set up my laptop and mic and I'll join for a few. All right, bet. Let me know when you're in the building. I'm asking him, what specific tribe that does he claim he came from? Yes, sir. Uh, the Kasadi tribe, I was down at the reservation this weekend. So you claim um, descent from the Kasadi um, Indians, am I correct? I don't claim, brother. I, I am. Okay, so you're from the direct lineage of the Kasadi Indians, and yet you say that you're... He trying to, he trying to control it's the battle of the lead foot, bro, and the battle of the lead hand. And so that shit that he chunking out there, bro, I'm just catching it off the glove, throwing it down, bro. Like, come on, Chris, bro. Like, I know you already. You know me. You in front of these people trying to show up. <clears throat> We've had this conversation a thousand times, Chris. And you lose every time, brother. And you ask the same questions every time. Because he had this thing. He The top questions you how to kill an uh, aboriginal and he asked these questions what's your tribe what's your language what's your culture what's your god what's your that bullshit and nigga you ain't even got a tribe to answer none of not not one of those questions about for yourself 
So that's not a good offense, brother, because when a nigga throw back, I'm going to hit you because you have no line of defense because you have none of those things. But I have all of those. Silly ass rabbit. Your family, hold on, just listen. And you're saying to us that your family were, in fact, chiefs of this um, Indian nation, am I correct? Yes, sir, without a shadow of a doubt. And I was just down there this weekend, bro. Okay. Now, did the Kausadi, did they participate in slavery, buying slaves? No, sir, not my family. Not your family, but I'm talking about the Kalsadi Indians as a whole. Did they participate in the, the buying and selling of slaves? Did they participate in that, yes or no? That's what I'm asking you. Not the Kalsadi. Once the nation became the Kashada, the Kashada did once they went under the Creek government, okay? They aligned under the Creek government uh, in the 1800s, brother, under Creek laws, which fell under the Civilization Plan. They laws were the same as the U.S. or the Union. So, yes, they did hold slaves. Hey, y'all, get the likes up, man. We got the homie Dane Calloway coming through, man. We're going to dress this Jabari shit. Uh, Jabari, we're going to watch you get caught on here. I'm going to show these people, brother. You're master teacher my ass, nigga. And you out here teaching all the motherfucking books that you ain't even know was this... Jabari didn't even know the goddamn book he teaching out of was plagiarized. Okay, because oh, look the creek, at this crazy nigga up here. Good, good smoke barbecue, hickory barbecue in there, nigga up here. That nigga that can boil. That nigga got a mean barbecue sauce game on him. He put a little mayonnaise in it though, get that little sweet taste, little uh 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 brown sugar in there. Yeah, that nigga that with the mustard. Yes, sir. I agree with the pre frisbee. They left with 1830 after Indian removal and they got the 18. No, I didn't ask you. No, but yeah, but who do the Creek Freedmen claim descendancy from? You are. Then, then, then I apologize, but yeah, nigga, don't ask me no motherfucking question because you don't know the answer, nigga. When I edify your ass, nigga, you didn't know that. Why the hell would you ask me? Well, who are the Muskogee or the Creek or whatever the fuck? You ain't want to answer. Now watch how he. This is this is the craziest shit All in the right, world. You gotta man. understand, Chris is at work, and that's probably why he's going. This he's the, the craziest. Now. Hold on, well, let me go. Up. No, I'm asking him. No, no, I'm not talking to anybody. I'm asking him. Yeah, no, do the creep freedmen. See, see, what I'm saying this is why I'm doing this because he's gonna interfere. What I'm asking him is, who um who uh, do the creek Indian? Who do the creek um the creek freedmen claim descendancy from? He said that they served with the union, which was irrelevant to the conversation. But if he's saying that the Kaushadi Indians participated with um, or participated with the um, Creek Confederacy, then he should automatically know that the Creek Indians themselves, they had slaves. And the, the Creek freedmen claimed descendancy of being Africans. And I'm trying to figure out how are you getting around the fact that you just went from the Kaushada Indians and now you're all the way with the Creek Indians. I'm a little confused on that. <laughs> Say, bro, don't do it. Go on, fuck it. Go on, little man. Because he a little nigga. He out here trying to show out in front of these niggas. They don't know that I treat him like a white boy. So go on, handle this nigga, chief. Ill-informed ass nigga. Miseducated ass nigga. Indoctrinated ass nigga. Okay, no problem, white boy Chris. Let me help you out. This is what happens when white folks poke their nose in niggas' business. All right. <laughs> this is what happened with boy. Look at Sa. Sa, that's your little killer, huh? Sa, you got the little killer, right? Sa so won't laugh at that nigga. Ass. This is what happened when white folks, your poor white folks, don't, he don't know shit about American Indian, nothing. Googling Wikipedia ad, nigga, don't know shit about American Indian. That they were having when five white folk want to be nosy. So, brother, well, uh, before in the 1500s, you had what was called the Muscogee Confederation to defend against the Spanish. So, my nation, the society, they joined up with other southeastern nations, they created the Muscogee. Later on, there's no such thing as the Creek family, okay? The Creek comes later. 
So uh, in the 1800, in the late 1791, they signed the Civilization Plan. It was George Washington going out to tribes in the Southeast. Some went under the Hopewell Treaty of Hopewell, okay, which put them under U.S. jurisdiction. This was in the 80s. Then they came to the Civilization Plan in 91. It's how you get five tribes controlling the whole South. All right? What they were, where were governments, and they were in connection with the United States, this newly formed government. So, brother, the nations under those, in order for them to get fall under Indian status, they had to be under one of these five nations, brother. That's what happened to the Seminole Indians, 1845. That's what happened to the Kasadis later on in the 1800s. They needed resources from the government. They signed up under the under Kalita, King Kalita. At the time, while Kalita was lead, my family, the Mingos, if you go to the site, to the Kashada site, it tells you we stayed back. Okay, we didn't go. A lot of them went back in 1906, but in the 1800s, we split from them once they made their decision, brother. So, again, brother, the K Kasadi are their own nation, but they went under the Creek government to receive their benefits that was owed to them, uh, uh, similar to what the Shakhtar had got uh, uh, down in Texas, brother. Any other questions? Okay, so any yeah. other questions, white boy? See, when when Dr. John Henry Clark say I don't debate, I only debate my equals. Everybody else I teach niggas, this is a teaching moment for you. Cause you know nothing about what the fuck you talking about, and you done had two years to practice, and this is still the best shit you can come up with, bro. Yeah, yeah. Um, what you guys just witnessed was him just take a bunch of information no, and bro. toss it all in the bag. Excuse me, I'm I'm about to answer your question, but he took put it in the bag and he shush, 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 shook it all up and threw it at y'all as if that was the answer. Now the Kosati people are a Muskegon speaking speak people. They don't have anything to do with any Negro, African American um, languages at all. And he has not given us proof that he's of the Kausadi tribes. Now, the Kausadi participated in slavery as early as the 17th century when African slaves ran into their territories. Later on, he also got the date wrong with the with, um the Kausadi. brother brother. What you this is this is what you have to understand. The Kawasadi and the Kashada. Or two different people, brother. You feel me? These are two different people. At one time, they're called this. At another time, you have a newly formed system running, brother. And now they have a new name and all type of shit. But let me help you out. With your shit, 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 put it in the bag and shush it up. Watch this shit. To receive their benefits that took place in the 16th century true but that had nothing to do with you niggas slaves was running away to live with us other indians i showed the maps last night y'all on the slave maps from the whole thing bro we can rock they don't know nothing about this we showed the maps what the indians domestic slave trade went on it the the uh some of the, the the boats that niggas was getting away on for uh on the quote unquote what they call the underground railroad down there where niggas was coming in through Texas and Louisiana and all of that shit there. Them niggas, guess what the boats in the rivers that they was running through, nigga? The Kasadi was helping them. Shout out to Talik. His grandpa had a boat called it to come from down there. They was out of Liberty, Texas, man. Attack of Shack Indian. And guess where he got his boats from? His boats made from the Casada Indians. His boat, they helped in this underground railroad or uh, this system where they used to free niggas. They used to come down there. But these are other Indians that are fleeing from the uh, from the, these these areas of these uh, Indian wars. We showed the maps last night, man. We had a super good bill. If y'all go all the way to the end. We have all the maps up there for y'all. If I have time, I'll pull them up today. You, because they did not begin to participate in slavery yet. Uh, participate in slavery yet. After the Kausadi signed and joined up with the five civilized tribes, then they began to sell and they began the institution of slavery. But Nigga, didn't I just say that? 
I just you said what well, did they have slaves? I said no, not my nation. Once they became the Kashada, they changed the name. Now they have a whole new system. Why? Because something happened. I don't. I'm, I don't even need to talk about that. Look up the runaway trace. So, after this situation happens, they did a favor, uh, for for the um the Indians. I mean the settlers, and they got on their good side. Boom. Now watch this here. You had a whole nother side opposed to that. Every tribe had niggas that went with this side and went again and went with this side. Chris, brother, you don't know American history. You need to go find your own damn family and find out what y'all history is. Civilized tribes all participated in slavery. Brother, that's not the question. You witness was him just take a bunch of information. Not the Kashadi. Once the nation became the Kashada, the Kashada did once they went under the Creek government, okay? They aligned under the Creek government uh so that, that nigga came back and said read a wikipedia article and took my answer trying to act like he teaching many african slaves ran to these territories and they became amalgamated with these people and after the civil excuse me excuse me after the civil war they were promised they were promised, watch this family, they were promised land on these territories. But the Indian tribes themselves, check this out family, the Indian tribes themselves created what you call the one drop rule, which means you have to be a full blood Indian in order to receive benefits. This. And this is what they're mistaken. What year was that? That's why the year 18th century, this is in the 18th century after the Civil War ended in 1866. What, okay, what, what is that turn I did there, brother? It does not matter. I, think it's <laughs> I bet it don't matter. It does not matter. Hey, y'all, give my likes up, man. We got the homie Dan Callaway. He's sitting up his equipment. He's going to come through and rock out with us today. So uh, y'all make sure y'all got the likes up. Appreciate their love, uh, their support, and uh, cares up. What you're saying is irrelevant, and what you're trying to do, excuse me, excuse me, sir. What I'm trying, yeah, bro, you ain't finna be out here just lying and shit now. Excuse me, excuse me, sir, sir, excuse me, nigga, shut that shit up, nigga. You just lied like a motherfucker. I'm gonna tell you, no, I'm not lying. Here's what I'm offering you. Would you like to debate that? Excuse me, Top Cats, would you like to debate that? Can you give us a specific tribe that did that, brother? Um, the five civilized tribes all participated in slavery. Now you know damn well that went the question. <laughs> Brother, that's not the question. You said that they came up with a one-drop rule in the 1800s. What tribe exactly did this, brothers? The Confederacy of the Muscogean and the uh Ch Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, bro. The Confederacy of the Muscogee had already broke up. Dumbass nigga. Who is it? Where did the Confederate of the Muscogee end up? Nigga, the Seminoles. The Seminoles, bro. That shit started breaking up already. That shit been breaking up. I'm not going to give you the answer because I'm going to whoop one of you niggas with it. But for as the Muscogee Confederacy, nigga, that's what split in the two. That's where the Civil War is going to be caused from. Fool ass nigga, but y'all don't know shit about American history. Choctaw Creek Indians, they all excuse me, the Choctaw Indians. All of them came up with that one drop rule on the dolls, bro. Road. You guess it. anything else you're saying is a lie. So hold on, the five civilized. So you said the Choctaw came up with a one drop rule in the 1800s. No, the dolls rolls were created oh. in order to put, excuse me, the dolls rolls were created. <laughs> ah, and you got there, they get, check this out. They were still fighting these. Excuse me, can I talk? Excuse me, can I talk? He get frustrated. It's, it's... Come on, Chris, what's up? You, I, you be acting like you not. I thought you knew what you was talking about. You trying to read and get and read on the fly, nigga. In the... Where you going? Where you going? Hold on. Excuse me, can I talk? Let him finish. Okay. Him. You know what, son? 
Look at Sadnutter. You better come get your boy. Now Sadnutter is going to start cheating for him. Can I talk? Respect your brother. It's my turn. See, these are the things they don't like to mention. All right, so what they had, what the Indians did yeah, was, I and I am at... I want to Hold on, can you why you why you just can't be quiet? Damn, why you can't answer the question, bro? Why y'all side never finna help this nigga get off of this question, bro? You just lied. So let's talk about it. So I never finna get the nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't let him finish and then you go right behind him. You go right and you go next. Come on, bro. That was it was my turn, bro. Because I want the people right, to so, get information. Okay, so cool. So the one drop rule is this rule that these Indians came up with. These in Indian enslavers, I don't give a damn about them either. They began to kick black people off the land because they said, you are not a full-blooded Indian. After the government, after the Civil War, began to allot them with certain benefits and land allotments and reparations. And so the African did not get anything because they created something called the one drop rule. And if you were not of full Indian blood, you weren't going to receive any of it. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. You niggas that make up shit. Why everything got to be a slave story, bro? The one drop. That nigga put the... The one drop. Check him out. You think I'm bullshitting? In court as of 20... April 1st, 2020. So... Information in court as of 20. So, information okay, so cool. So, the one drop rule, excuse me, can I talk? The lands because they say you are not a full blooded Indian after the government, after the Civil War, began to allot them with certain benefits and land allotments and reparations. He has and so no, the African no did not food. get anything Listen. because they created something called the one drop rule. <laughs> And if you were not of full Indian blood, you weren't going to receive any of it. Lord, African peoples to this day, they are they were still fighting this in court as of 20 April 1st, 2020. They were still fighting against this, saying that we were members of these tribes. So he's telling you all a lie. And what they have done is, like I said, they have stolen the African legacy. They stolen the African legacy and they tried this to it. replace it with this indigenous um, Indian narrative that they're placing, which is part of the Moorish, um, which is part of the Moorish doctrine. Also, I can prove that. So if I debate you on this, I promise you it'll be grand event and I'll embarrass you the entire time. This ain't what you want. Now, you've been calling me out for a debate. I'm calling your car. Bro, when, when have I called you out for a debate, Chris? You know damn well, nigga. You you a white boy and you go sit by the pistol, nigga, when I'm in here, nigga. You a white boy and you sit by the pistol when I'm in here, nigga. Fuck you mean I've been calling you out. Why would I call you? You got beat up in your last fight. Your last debate, you, you lost. Fuck you mean I'm calling you out. You a little nigga. All right, right now, top cats. You want to do it or not? Hell no, nah. I'll no show way. you the slavery. Do you want to do it or not? I love it. Brother, I would, brother, you could never, <laughs> you know, you could never get close to me, brother. You know this, Chris. Well, I'm calling you out now. What's up? Well, Chris? <laughs> White boy style. <laughs> Little Chris? Brother, uh, okay, so Little let's go back Chris. to some of the information you brought up. What state specifically were you speaking about uh, for these, this Indian tribe that's taking Africans' uh, history, brother? Um, where um, This was in Oklahoma, Mississippi, the entire south on um, the southeast. This was the entire southeast. No problem. We'll go, we'll go with Oklahoma. Okay, okay. So hold on, hold on, hold Africans on. All right. Hey, I'm finna drop the link down there for Dane. I wanted to get to the part where Jabari came in. Uh Sadnetta so Gal ran in there. Hey, shout out to uh we got some love in the chat. Shout out to Indigenous Mind. He say the one drop rule. Yeah, these niggas here enslaved. Shout out to Shaw J. Shaw J, we got to get you to come start coming into these events. We're going to Mexico, Shaw J. 
Sure, we don't want to hear. God damn it, we want to see you in Mexico. And it's it's gonna be in November. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I'm gonna come in this motherfucker. I ain't gonna have a lot of friends come 2020 or uh, four. Yeah, I can see it now. Like, Cause you don't come to Mexico with me, goddamn. We might not be friends no more. Oh uh, yeah, I, we not we might not be friends no more. You don't come to Mexico with me, man. So uh yeah, y'all better get it together. Y'all don't get it together, man. Or uh, you don't come to Mexico, I fuck around. I'm going in 2023, nigga. New new me 2024. Yeah, uh, no new friends. Yeah, we cutting them off, man. Ah, <laughs> white boy, I bet you won't come up here. The link in the chat. Hey, y'all, look at the white boy. <laughs> Hey y'all, they got the white boy in the chat. Biker gang. Biker gang. Look at Chris. Look at like a Puerto Rican NYPD undercover cop. Check him out in the chat, y'all. He look like an NYPD undercover Puerto Rican Dominican cop. What's up with you, man? We got the homie Dane Callaway in the building. What's up, brother? How you? Oh man, slow motion, man. You know, uh, every day a good day to scalp a pan African, you know, <laughs> a pan goofy. So, what are they talking about? Uh, a whole bunch of nothing, really. Uh, but right now, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I went over there to Sidnetta how they was over there, had the name all in the titles, or whatever. And, um, uh, you know, I, why, right? Well, I, uh, I had did a I, video on Polite. Other- Okay, turn up. <clears throat> I, I did a video on Polite on my uh, podcast channel a while ago. And then my, uh, since I'm on tour, my son uploaded it for me. He uploaded it a little late, but I put that video out and uh, and they got back to him. And they don't like it. You know what I'm saying? Of course not, because I was mentioning the fact that Polite came from Sonata. Just rubbing it in their face. And uh, they don't like that, you know. Uh, <laughs> and it's, I mean, his reputation is shot. I'm talking about Sarnetta. His reputation is shot. So what they got to do now is scramble for something, you know, to try to hurry up and, <laughs> and take things to a next level for them because they lose the views, they lose the support because they supporting a possible, you know, pedo guy, you know. It depends on the situation. We'll find out on the 7th. Right, right. But, Let uh, me ask you this here, though, man, like, um, because... I remember, say, let's go back like ten years ago. For as like consciousness, it was so it was so big back then. Like even here in Houston, like the events used to be crazy. I remember I went to a Umar Johnson event in twenty fifteen here in Houston. When I said it had the colleges out there, everything it was packed wild to wild. Uh, but now, like, it's, it's not. It's, it don't even have the same feel, the same energy now. With this polite situation. Uh, we didn't see young Pharaoh spiral out of control. Goddamn, bless his heart. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tariq, I remember last year Tariq was super big. I know because I was out there fighting with them boys. So this year, uh, he kind of you know lost a little momentum to that a lot. Fuck a little, a lot. So with this polite situation, what does this do for countries or the country community? It it closes the door on them. It really does. It closes the door on the conscious community, man. Um, like, I mean, they, they already, I'm going to be honest with you, they already died a long time ago. That's why they were trying to cling on to a bunch of other things to try to uh, get their weight up. But it just wasn't going to work. I mean, when you do wrong, it's going to come back to you. Karma works in both ways. Both ways. <coughs> Excuse me. But, um. Yeah, and he's been doing wrong for quite a while, apparently. You know, um, a lot of those people signed up to a bunch of uh, Freemasonry. Uh, some of them don't want to follow the rules, so they do, you know, things and like polite, this. Pol- we know Polite, man. We seen him. It's pictures he's a Freemason. Right. He said Malachi or Z York brother or something like that, I think, had got him. Um, uh, he said Malachi wanted him to be a, 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 a Mason or something like that told him that it, it ain't how you look at it or something and i remember back in the game he took sarnetta and they was gonna he wanted to do a show and had and use the venue of the freemason hall back in the game 
Yeah, all of them are Freemasons. Every single one of them are. This is the reason why it's a constant attack from them towards us. Uh, si, they see, I don't know. I ain't never seen Sai in like, no apron and no shit like that. Oh, no, no. He's he's big time Freemason. I pointed this out years ago. This should These videos still should be floating around online. Pip said, um, yeah, Sai Mason. Damn, man. All of them that. are. I would have never thought that. Oh, every single one of them are. This is the reason why I do what I do. I charge them if they want to waste my time. Uh, a, a couple times, a couple times I didn't hit their channel a couple times because they were, uh, doing defamation. Then I sent over a couple of things to them to stop them, to let them know, Hey, look, I will take you to court. So they had since calmed down. But the reason why I brought it back up, uh, the reason why they bringing it back up is because of what's going on with polite. They trying to take that. They trying to take that heat off of them <laughs> and trying to throw it elsewhere. But I know their moves. I mean, this is all Freemasonry work. I know their moves, so and of course, they still gonna have to pay me. So watch this here. What's your um? So what's your thoughts? Do you do uh chess move right? Uh, do do we hold out until after the seventh? Um, Absolutely, we not don't yeah, know. Yeah, they yeah, know yeah, better yeah, than yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh hell no! Look, we don't give no shine. No, yeah, they, they not. Engage, don't even engage with them right yeah. now. Don't help them with nothing. Let the Titanic sink. I'm definitely not going over there right now. They gonna have yeah, to yeah, yeah, see. Yeah, the block, I'm not. The laws are out the face. Yeah. Now we gonna focus. Don't tie me up with that. Yeah, y'all block too hot right now, man. We gonna let that let y'all block come. Yeah, see, like, that's what they I'm trying to do. Man. They trying to simmer that block down by you know bringing up my name, and bringing up your more name, attention, bring this new yeah. energy in, and now the distraction, attention. Now, now we gonna leave that over there yeah. like it is. It's too hot over there. What's up? I don't care if they pay me fifty grand. I'm not coming right now. You are gonna have to wait till that's over with. And when it's over with, it depends on what it look like. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> we might let them suffer a little longer. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yeah, we might we might let them suffer a little longer. Ooh, cause it's gonna be a lot of heat. The yeah, it's a lot of heat for them time. right now. Man. It's a lot of heat directed their way right now, man. They, they know a better civil than that. War going on over there. Absolutely, uh, they falling apart. Uh, AP told me that um that uh what's his name um Garfield Garfield man. yeah man. was um and see he mad. I'm pretty sure he trying to lead the so called conscious community now. Well, yeah, he said he not in the in the conscious community no more. He said yeah. Garfield came out his mouth. It's crashing and burning. He said he he getting into films and shit like that. So yeah, he, he better said, do something else because it's not over with. Be doing live streams that much, uh, you know things like that. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna make this real quick, but we got one of the haters right here. What's up, white boy? This is baby Jabari right here. This is this is the guy who's been riding Jabari nuts, trying to get on, trying to get some shine. Oh, <laughs> I see. I, I see. You, I thought you. I see you throwing insults. I see you throwing. I see you throwing insults my way, way just because you can't answer any questions about this these Kosati people that you claim to be Brother, from. Brother, you know nothing. I was just down there this weekend. You, you. you what that mean? Follow my Instagram page. You saw me down there. What that so mean? Just because you were down there. So, so watch this here. I'm no, what I'm you. asking you is, what does that mean? Because you were down there. Okay, let me show you, brother Chris. Please do. Go back to your. Can you go back to your nations? Uh, where is your what yes what are you from? yes it's on the west coast of africa i trace back with the e1b1a haplo group i trace no, back no, to the no, europe no, no, of people no, brother what what nation of people brother i take i can tell you i trace back to the yoruba people hey dang I you just probably never you. heard of this guy because he's a small fry but he's another guy that always running around with that he people. had been that you have been trying to debate now that you see that i know your information you is trash you're running you. We're, no, I you, know you're you not going to debate. About, you just lost your last debate, brother. Respect Son, you. that debate said I won sixty-seven percent. Brother, sixty-seven percent of that debate said that I won. Stop. Sixty-seven percent of the people so said I won. Do. Stop. You, Stop you, it. You, do, brother? you still it's, lying. We know you lost. It's okay. So look, uh, why you be having my nigga Dane name in your in your, in your mouth, bro? Um, because I think his information is trash. Hold on. And you don't even because, know what type of African you are. Because I know his information is garbage too. <laughs> he another lost soul. That's why he don't ever get no primary sources for anything that he researches. So why he have a following and you don't? <laughs> I got a following myself. Nigga side nether, them side nether uh, people over there. 
Why was you over there? People over there? You was over there. I was hollering out Jabari, Jabari, begging to bait Jabari. What are you talking about? I beat up, yeah, I beat up your master. You ain't never beat up Jabari. Right. You made a fool of I yourself in that Jab debate. I beat up your master teacher. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you didn't. My homeboy Dan Calloway name in his mouth. Go so ahead. you dick Ryan Dan Calloway on no, here? Was, I'll debate him too and, no, and chew no, him up. He don't know what he's talking about no, either. What happened. <laughs> I was there. So, nigga, you not finna talk about no Indian if, while I'm standing right here. So I took my shirt off and I. So you call yourself. That's what happened. So you call yourself out a colonizer's name? Your master teach up. You got a picture that says and indigenous. Hey, look, look, watch this. You don't even call name. yourself by your uh, hey, by your tribal name. Hey, you Chris. don't even know the language, the, the ritual. You don't know anything. Brother Chris, hey, yesterday your master <laughs> teacher got caught out there by teaching plagiarized work. Your no. master teacher got caught no. out there teaching the barracuda. You misrepresented that source by Emma Langdon Roche. You don't even know what you're talking about. Brother, I taught you. You don't even know what you're talking about. I taught Stop. you. I taught you. That. No, you didn't. You screenshot. Emma Langdon Roche, questions. she interviewed Cujo Lewis, and he clearly said that he was an that African. Was, listen, that white lady. And then you're trying to talk about that's a plagiarized source. That doesn't. Chris, Chris, understand something. Cujo Lewis never lived. The white lady made it up. <laughs> Dane Calloway. Dane Calloway. I already went debunked to that. Town. Yeah. <laughs> Dane Calloway. Stop, stop muting me. Stop muting me. You talking Chris, real fast. Dane Africa Calloway ain't, ain't, ain't did that. Hey, have oh, you okay. Been yeah, you ain't debunked that. You ain't have you right. been to Africa town, Chris. Stop. <laughs> stop. No, I ain't. Dane, now watch this here. Now, Dane, have you been to Africa town? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> they got it on video. <laughs> so, so, so. What uh -huh, and what did they say there? there? Hold on. What did they say there, Mister Callaway? What did Don't they look say? Look at the video. Don't waste my time. Uh, I look thought at the video. you would say that. I thought look, you say yeah. that. Yeah, of course you know yeah. I would say that. Yeah, shut Since up, Since you a chump, why don't you go read up on me so you can find out? Hey, yeah. hey, yo, I'm talking look at him. Look, he a chump. He mad. <laughs> He's standing in his mother's hallway right now because he can't scream and yell in his own house because he on the fourth one. He look can't at afford him. one. Look, actually, I do. I'm an engineer. Hey, hey, wow, I make more you're than an you. engineer. Hey, okay. Yes, I make more money than you. Oh, okay. You make more money than me. Congratulations. Yes, why you on here? Hey, Chris, we not if you make more money than me, why you on here? We gonna stick. You supposed to, the to be busy right now. <laughs> we gonna stick to the information, Chris. All right. Clowns. Now, 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 Chris. Uh, yesterday. Your master teacher put out the barracoon, which we find out is a plagiarized book. All right, so we got the fact that he said Africa Town. Hold on, hold on, bro. Your teacher teach this. Get your ass up out of here, white boy. He ran, y'all. <laughs> he ran. I swear to God, I ain't kick him out. Oh my life, I ain't kick him out. He better get his ass up out of here. Let them hate. Let them goofies the hate, man. <laughs> Let them yeah, goofies hate. Yeah, I and I don't, I don't want the stragglers. I don't want the low people. Right, I right, want the right, top right, guys. Right. But since he came, I just wanted to kick him in his ass, you know, so he could go back and let him know that, hey, man, they ain't them over there on the block, bro. They ain't, they ain't on yeah. the block for real. Yeah, I saw him today. They jumped me. Yeah, took off on me. Yeah, yeah man, look. Right, boy. <laughs> man, they don't want no smoke with me. They don't even be watching my videos, man. Talking about something I don't carry primary sources. When I'm at the main source, right? That, Location, well, that, that, that boots Africa on the ground. <laughs> that Africa huh? town killed him because he wanted to talk about Africa town, and he and there was no be. such thing as Africa town. <laughs> it was no such thing. It never went through. I showed them that record too. Primary source, Congress.gov, never went through. The ship. What about the ship? Because they bring up the ship. They say the ship burnt, and then they turn around and say they found the ship. So. <laughs> The they found the bits and pieces sick. of wood and said that's the Clotilda. When when he found them bits and pieces of wood in the shipwreck graveyard, it could have been any ship. They just took a complete guess, and everybody fell for it. <laughs> oh man, that and then on top of that, they shoot themselves in the foot by saying that they found it in the shipwreck shipwreck graveyard. Correct. Correct. Man, I don't hear that. That. And, and how much money funding did they put into this? Oh man, there was a lot of money involved in that. It, it was at least like I think it was like two million. They put a lot of money into that. <laughs> and now they have the people down there arguing in the town about who's gonna tell the story of Africa Town. So they had these, these uh private investment groups down there. They're trying to get the contracts so they can create this this uh utopia down there. They said yeah, if you want to get married, come to Alabama. Yeah, you're gonna come to Africa Town. And I 
So they trying to make it a historical stable down there. So they've they been trying to make it that way. Don't get the contract on it right now. All yeah, it's a, fake. It's, it's a fake. Ball, they here put out the movie that Jabari told me, go watch The Descendants. Bro, that shit fake. We know that shit fake. <laughs> What Descendants? What? They didn't went and found some fake Descendants talking about they kin to the people that came off the Clotilde ship. Like, Man, we don't, don't know that they come from a fictional book, historical sketches of the South. That Without they came out 90-something years book. later. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She wrote that book, and it was published 90-something years later. I forgot the exact number. I don't have it in oh, front it of me. 80, it was 80. Now, you close. It was 80 years later, and that was because they tried to say that the literature was the, the words that he was using and the way that he was talking the slang and shit. But really, what happened was they knew the book was fake. <laughs> there never was no cool joke and we only brought up friends boaz in the situation well she had another handler which was a female i'm not gonna say her name right now but she was more involved in the project and overseeing that project of the barracoon and she also is a known colonizer so uh they ain't they ain't even really pulled the shit out on from the back on the ass but yeah <laughs> i just wanted to punch on yeah i am holding a lot of stuff back for a reason right but now, um Look, I, I tell you, he he uh he offered four thousand dollars. Who? Chinetta. I say, man, if you uh hold on, man, you said who? Chinetta. He offered he four thousand. Four thousand. So why he going cheaper than what he was five years ago? Let me see if I can get get to he the, bluffing uh, right spot. And I think he'll do it uh now because he need it. But we ain't going right now. Like we like we said, we ain't engaging. We wait. He bluffing here. still. Like, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. If he talking about doing it online, he gonna have to come up a little bit. But if he talking about me coming out there, he gonna have nah, to go up way more than that. Make, make him come out here. Yeah, he. I'm talking about. He definitely gonna have to. Come. If he want me to come out there, he gonna have to come way up. <laughs> That's not even paying for yeah, my traveling gonna have, fee. We gonna go out there deep in the motherfucker. Then we gonna get all the Indians out there, man. Every Indian, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. You two, we get every ending out there. This the conversation, and uh, cause she's older than me, so she would have more. Uh -oh. uh, he was always, I'd be the top on your side, but can you get through? Dame? He getting old, man. Because it is Dame Callaway supposed to be the toughest opponent when it comes to this Aboriginal stuff. Well, Dame Callaway, he does have the largest platform. That's my my guy. Uh, I actually talked to him, and he is open to debate. Oh, absolutely. You got contact with him? Absolutely. Yeah. Direct number. Everybody know, man, if you if you're gonna be around me, bro, you gotta fight. You gotta swing this wood. So, brother, can, so, you, yeah, can you can you get in touch with him? Give him my number and we can negotiate some things. I, I told him yeah, I could give him I could give him guys, you know, dang, you messed with dang. I'm gonna tell you what he told me. He gonna want to be paid. So, I, that's you know, what I'm talking about. I'm saying, yeah. get him on the phone. I ain't got ten thousand, but goddamn it, I know for three hours I could give you four thousand. For three hours? <laughs> Come on, bro! Like, see, right he, he 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 be trying to see them. See, some of them New York guys be trying to hustle, man. Like stuff like that for three hours. You gonna have to. You know, you gonna have to pay me more than four grand. He know better than that. He know better than that. Tell me something he want to uh, negotiate. Come on, boy. I know how much you make on your channel per video. On, want me to show you how much I make per video? Because that's going to raise the price up even higher. Don't try to lowball me like that. Who you think I am? You too old for me on top of that. Then you're going to have to get somebody else to debate me. And I'm pretty sure they probably going to cough up, what, two, three grand just for those people? I've come with a crowd. You're going to have to pay for my crowd. On top of me, <laughs> if it's especially if you try and do it online, be be real, man. Do real business. Three hours for four grand. Come on, bro. That's somebody that don't got no money. They'll accept that. <laughs> They'll accept that. That's what them New Yorkers do. They'll try to hustle, but that's not going to work for me. Like right now, this is the reason why I got a booking agent. Right now, booking agent, road manager. I'm on the road right now. This stuff costs bread. It's seven grand just for me to leave my house. You gotta come up, man. You know you got to come up. He he told me some he ain't got 10 grand, but I'm pretty sure he made more than that last month or videos alone. So when I come up in there and them views skyrocket over 50, 60, yeah, you may fit. You made you made your money back at some. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. 
You're going to have to cough that up up front. I want all that up front, not no half and half, unless you want me to come out there. If you want me to come out there, that's 25000 up front, and then I want another twenty five when I get there. That's my price. And it's been five years because you owed me five grand six years ago. You said you was going, and he know that. We, we spoke over the phone. I sent you my invoice. You never sent me that bread, so I know you be bluffing. So I, what, am I supposed to take you serious right now? And then you deduct a whole nother grand off of that five years ago, bro. No, that price is up at five. Every single time a year go by <laughs> y'all, y'all fools not on my level. And I know you got the money because somebody else is funding you anyway. You better ask your little handlers, your pan handlers for that bread. Come on, man. Stop playing with me. And then you could pick whoever you want. I chew anybody up on there. Anybody pull light on down. It don't matter who you pick. When I come, I come swinging and it's connecting chin, face. <laughs> I'm connecting headshot. Come on, man. Put your money where your mouth is and stop doing all that trash talking. You got my name in the title. You trying you, you, <laughs> you suffering for views right now. So I know you are, you know, what's going on with polite, your best friend, you know, what's going on. You know, he going to have to do jail time behind that. And your reputation is scarred. It's trash. It's out the window. Pan-Africanism been dead for years and you still trying to hold on for dead life because your old ass can't find a nine to five. You're going to have to cough that up, homeboy. Do real business. Stop being trying being a hustle, man. This ain't Harlem, nigga. Where you at, man? This ain't. Come on. Be for real. <laughs> Y'all talk fast. I talk faster. I'm from D.C. I know what time it is. I'm not about to be doing shit for free. You got me fucked up. Put that bread up, son. And everybody else that's scary, he oh, he's scared to debate. No, these niggas scared to put that money up. That's what's going on. I'm not doing nothing for free. <laughs> ever. I won't ever do nothing for free. Not for these fuck ass clowns. You got me fucked up. I'm not doing that. Hell no. Nah, these niggas gotta put that money up, son. I'm not I'm not no low bald guy. I'm not no I'm a top guy, just like how he said it. I'm the top guy. If you want the top guy, you're going to have to put up top guy money and four grand ain't it. That's not even how much it costs for me to walk through something, bro. Come on. Stop playing with me. You hit up Christy. Christy is sending you back my numbers and my invoice. Nigga, I got a whole team for real. And all of them I pay on salary, nigga. You're going to have to cough that up. You want me to come out there 25 grand up front before we even step foot out my house. Stop playing. I'm in a hotel now. That's probably why my mic sound horrible too, y'all. Matter of fact, I'm going to just let y'all know. I apologize. But I'm on the road. I'm in Mississippi right now documenting what I got to do. I'm handling my business. These clowns over here trying to struggle. You know what I'm saying? They they struggling right here trying to reach out for certain things, you know, try to keep their, their, little, <laughs> their little reputation afloat. But it's, it's gone. It's shot. This You battling me ain't going to save you from what's happening with... uh polite and on top of that we ain't doing nothing until after this situation we polite is over with and it depends on what that look like because according to all seven of his charges got something to do with him and that little girl unfortunately that's what's going on and that that's looking bad on him and that's definitely looking bad on you so i would not want to put my name attached to you at all no man my name is a brand i own my businesses you know do you or you got somebody handling you, puppeteering you, got strings on your hands and your feet and your head. I ain't that type of guy. You gonna have to come at me correct, Freemasons, and stop playing games. Cause I ain't got time to be playing with them. They know what time it is. They heard me five, six years ago. They heard me. They saw what type of time I was on then. I'm on that same time right now. Ain't shit changed. Don't play. You could talk about he could debunk this, he could debunk that. Put your money where your mouth is, Slim. You want me to come out there 50K? I, I might work with you five, 10 grand if it's going to be on some online and I'm on camera, but not for no, you talking about 4K for three hours? You're going to have to come up. You know you're going to have to come up. And you're going to have to come up a couple more grand than that, especially if it's online. And then you're going to have to wait. Whatever Polite doing, whatever, that situation, hey, look, I'm going to tell you right now, if that if he going to jail, you out of there, Sonetta. You out of there. In fact, I'm gonna make sure you can't use my name on your channel at all. 
I don't want my name attached to none of your shit, nigga. I don't care what y'all talking about. I will shut it down real quick. That's that's some nasty ass shit you allowing over there. And you know what's going on. You real close to that nigga. That's trash. That's trash. Little kid. She 14 years old. The hell is your problem? Man, wait till wait till y'all see. No, hold on, y'all. Wait a minute. Well, we could clearly see the seven charges that he got to plead guilty to, man. Even if he is copping a plea, he got to cop a plea to one of them felonies. Not the one misdemeanor. Come on, bro. You playing games. I Ain't really nobody dealing with that. Nah, that shit trash, bro. But at the same time, you're going to have to cough that money up. I'm going to let you know that right now, Slim. You ain't about to play no games with me. All right, let cough me, that let me, money up. I'm, I'm going to play a little bit more of it. But they ain't okay, the top. Nah, I definitely ran it by him. I, I definitely, definitely ran it by him. But yeah. the last time I talked to him probably was a week ago. Um, and it was about, you know, he said he'll, he'll fight the boy. He ain't scared of the boy. All right. He said if the, business, yeah. if the business right, he'll knock the boy out. Right? And I'm Man, real quick. Listen. Real quick. Him, get on the phone with me and we can have that discussion. All right. I'll end it right there. Yeah, man. We'll we'll see once again. It's up to what we have a situation polite going through right now. Let's see what happened after that. Let's see what happened after that. Everything straight, we'll go with it. But it ain't gonna be no three hours for four grand. You definitely gonna have to straighten that out. Um, that's number one. Number two, if that if he going to jail, it's over with, Slim. Don't contact me. Don't put my name in the title. Don't do none of that. Cause it looked like he gonna have to go to jail, one way or another. And all your pe everybody over there crashing and burning, bro. The whole conscious community is over with. I told y'all years ago, don't attach me to y'all. I'm not like y'all. I'm not no drunk old crackhead sitting on the corner trying to educate people. A whole rack of people walking past looking at y'all crazy. This ain't that. I'm actually putting up the research on the screen. Actually traveling to the places, putting it on screen. I'm not doing what y'all doing. Buying books and barely opening it. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Y'all got 50, 60 million books and behind y'all and then one of y'all picked up one of them and read the first page fresh books that you ain't even open come on bro i you take a peep at my life and take a peep at my library it's books on the floor books on the table <laughs> books everywhere i'm reading them on top of doing my records primary sources i know what's going on y'all street hustlers ain't gonna be able to out hustle me <laughs> not like how you think you doing but it ain't hey, gonna work like that. Hey, you want to cough that bread up. They say Big Bubba waiting on polite. In, uh, in jail. With a case like that, polite is definitely gonna have. Something. Oh, polite gonna get hurt in jail. They definitely gonna and see where he at in Florida. Florida. They, he gonna get hurt. He and Dade County. He gonna get hurt. Yeah, he he, he, he gonna he, get hurt with that type ooh, of pff, man. Say, but you going there, man? And then his case all on the news. Everywhere, so, yep. So it, yeah, they ain't they, no they hiding don't that. Go in the jail, hide. They watch the news every day in the period. Ain't no One hiding that. Gonna be on the news for sure. And uh, yeah, they they gonna already know he coming. That's what's so cold. And by him having a name or whatever, people gonna want them stripes off of him. So uh, man, that's 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 that's, that's a real fucked up situation right there. But uh, it is man, and he the and Sinetta the one that put Polite on. We ain't know nothing about Polite if it wasn't for Sarnetta. So they going hand in hand. So, yes, you are going to get your reputation scarred hey, you know by the situation. I, I remember I was on uh, Clubhouse. I probably still had a tape. And uh, Dr. York uh, uh, kids came in there one time, and they was going in on Polite. And uh, one of the, the brothers had, uh, one of the guys, he had brought up some information on Polite. And the sister was like, uh, hey, now nah, don't say that. You know what I'm saying? And she kind of like told him to chill out. But uh, yeah, they mm. they they uh polite used to live with them. I think polite went with their sister or something like that. Uh but yeah, that's that's around the time when they first had, you know, that they, they their first came out. So I ain't no I getting know, out of this. It, nah, it's not, man, and it, and it look fucked up because we seen Dr. York. What's crazy, man, we seen a lot of people out of consciousness be yep. accused of the same... The same thing. And, I, and I'm trying to figure out, like, what's what, what, what what's going on with it? Is it, like, some ritual shit, or 
You understand me? Like, uh, uh, yeah. It, I don't a lot know of them Freemasons do a lot of, you know, funny stuff, man. Because we got the Pope and them. You had a church and these, these cardinals getting caught with these little Boy Scouts yep. and these kids and all of that. And then you come over here and these niggas, is they into that type of shit? The same type of Illuminati mm -hmm. shit going on with them or some shit? Like, it's absolutely going on with them. They just a lower entity. You know, but it looked like I'm going to tell you right now, it looked like um, because the reason why I'm going to tell you right now, Polite got offered by the same people that came to me, got offered the same deal. He took it. I did not. Them people are called Freemasons. OK, they are the Illuminati. They offer him a big ass house in California. Keep in mind, he was living in California uh, at first for uh, rent free. He got that. Now, that was not from no money from no sign that you can already tell because you're trying to lowball me. It's not for no him making money off of books that nobody ever seen. It's not for him scamming. It's straight up because some Jews got to him and was like, look, we going to pay you. You know, this is what we want you to do. There was something. There was an obligation that he had to fulfill. And when you don't fulfill that obligation or you go against the grain, they're going to come at you like this and scarner your reputation, destroy your character. This is this is the payback right here. And uh, regardless, even if he do four to five years, he always going to have that actress beside his name. He always going to have that moniker beside his name. That's 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 for life. It's over with for him. It's over. You know, and see, this is the reason why I'm not about to sell my soul. for I mean, nothing. I don't care how much you put up. But I got offered that same deal. Millions of dollars, big ass house in California. No, thank you. I'm not. And that's why they were coming at me hard around that time. They would come. See, that's what they do. They were coming at. They would try to assassinate your character until you throw up the white flag and give up. That's how they recruit you. That's how they recruit you. Especially when you giving them, um, you know, some uh, some backlash like, nah, then I start exposing all of them. That's why all of them started shutting up for like some years. When I start exposing the real deal, why are they doing that? Because everybody was trying to figure it out back then. Like, why are they coming at you like that? I'm like, well, here's why. Let me show y'all how the enemy can look just like you and I. Regardless if they from Africa, European, it doesn't matter. They, they all, that's worldwide. <laughs> that's worldwide. And once they attach to those type of people, it's over with. There ain't no coming back from that. And yeah, I didn't want to sell my soul and I didn't want to sell my people out. That's not what it's about. I'm not here for money. I'm not here for monetary gain. I'm not here for that. Like, I don't know what type of person they thought I was, but they will come after the people that they feel as though are, uh, are intelligent enough, you know, and have a strong enough following. They, they look at you and critique you and see if you can be able to carry the torch, you know, for their little secret agenda, which is their little sacred, you know, that they try to hide up under the hand right up in the jar if you know what i'm talking about you know what i mean like, i'm not for that hey you know you know what something that, that 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 just made me think of i remember man probably about like two years ago uh these guys got in, in touch with me and they were like uh you know they were aboriginals but uh they were from like the moor side and they were saying like they had like a deal or it's like a network deal or something like that i can't remember but i i, I had a voice recorded or whatever and so uh, I'm like, man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm just getting started. You know what I'm saying? I don't really have a following. He was like, do you know Dane Calloway? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know Dane. You know, at that time, I think we had just did the, the cowboy movie or something like that video. Mm -hmm. So uh, he was like, hey, can you get in touch with him? You know, uh, I've been sending the messages and emails and all this. Shit. Yeah, like, man. Yeah, it was, it, and so he sent me their website or whatever, and I checked it out, but... Uh, yeah, I never heard from them again, but uh, yeah, man, they contacted me. Somebody get in touch with Dane Calloway. We wanted to try to get him on, uh, like a. But it, I don't know. It ain't. It ain't sound right. Not to say it, that it was. It, 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 was it probably so wasn't right. It, you know, but nah, I, you felt it. You, you, yeah. your intuition. You felt it. You, you knew something was wrong with that. But that's what happens. They, they come at me through email. All of a sudden, they got my cell phone number, my real cell phone number, calling me. They'll pop up. You know, and, and it's multiple like it happened multiple times already. And I always turn them down. This is the reason why I got to move the way I move. You understand what I'm saying? Because it's not when you when you telling the truth and there's people out there that don't want you to tell the truth, they will do any and everything to try to shut you down. 
Remember, everybody was trying to claim that when I was being sued, I was being sued uh, for plagiarism and I was being sued for copyright. That is a lie. <laughs> that is a lie. Nobody is trying to read off what the case number is. I mean, whatever that thing is, the uh, code 42 USC 1983. That is the Ku Klux Klan Act. These people are trying to say that I'm discriminating against them by way of my videos and my books. You see how big this is? This is not a game. So when I, when I say I'm on the front line, I'm on the front line, but they must have thought that I didn't have all my T's crossed on all my dies out it. I mean, you know, all my I's dotted. That's what I meant to say. You know, they must have thought I ain't had no legal team. See, I hop right on that. They thought they was about to get on, you know, went off default. No, 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 no. I will fight you tooth and nail and all the way to trial. I bet you don't want to go to trial. I bet you don't. Because where, where the discrimination at? Where is that? See? See, I'm not, see, this is my thing, man. I don't have no, re I don't got, no, I, I'm using my real name. I ain't got nothing to hide. These fools was trying to do a whole bunch of stuff to me to try to get me to stop. They were trying to threaten my life. I told you that they put up my, uh, the house that I sold before I had this house, before I bought this house. They put that whole house up, up front to back my the wraparound yard everything they had every angle of that house i was already gone i already moved into this house and was selling that one they put up the price of that house and everything seven hundred thousand was like dang live right there y'all i was like nigga really <laughs> really this, this is what y'all doing you student this low and that's why i was telling you and everybody else in the community when you come up to see this, regardless, this comes with the, I'm not going to say a consequence, cancel that. It's not a consequence. When you are on the forefront and you have a um, strong enough following, what I mean by that is it's not necessarily the large numbers, but it's more so about strong following it where, you're, where the people that watch you or view you constantly share it everywhere. People going to start looking at you like, what type of person are you? And if they don't like you, they would do any and everything, regardless if they see, say, for instance, they even got the same money as me. It don't matter. They would still do it either because they're not in my position or they just don't want that position to be in the forefront that I'm in, that we're all in. And that's the reason why I've been giving constant warnings to you and other people that's in the, you know, Aboriginal American Indian community. Hey, this is not a hey, game. Hold on, Dane. I don't mean to cut you out, but look, they they have a misunderstanding in the chat. I want to see if you can clear it up. Or yeah. as they're saying you are asking for fifty thousand dollars. No, that's if he want me to come out there. If he want me to come out there and be on camera, twenty five thousand up front, twenty five thousand when I get there. As far as it being online, that's something different. Like, but the four grand for three hours, he's gonna have to come up a little bit. He definitely gonna have to come up a little bit for three hours. Like, keep in mind that's three hours out of my time. So he's gonna have to pay for that. He's gonna have to pay for my time. And it's four grand is low. That's too low. Uh, you know, yeah, I, I they, these to... people online don't make the prices. I make the prices. You know, yeah, it doesn't to... matter that you know what they feel as though it should be. It's what I feel as though it should be. Okay, you know that that'll, that'll be in titles all over the internet. People be going off. Um, no, 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 no. I'm not. Hey, hey, look, Sinetta calling me right now. Yeah, they probably watching. You wanna holler at him? It doesn't matter. Tell him get on. Hey, what's up, sir? <laughs> All right, turn up, turn up. Come come through. <laughs> yeah, they, they holding on for dear life. <laughs> you got to come say correct, me, man. I say I'm here. I'm at the door. The link in the chat. Hey, that's just down there for Sarnetta, y'all. Yeah, he got to hurry up, man. Sarnetta in the building, man. Five years ago, five or six years ago, you said five grand, right? Be yeah, honest. Yeah. Be yeah. honest. I'm, I'm first, hold up, Dame Calloway. Peace to you. Peace to everybody that's here. And I want to first say this. I, I don't support child pedophilia. I don't okay. support rapists. 
I don't support so polite and that shit I have never did. So I want to say that before anything else, because everybody keep running with that narrative. The reason why they doing that is because you was you associated with him. Yes, I did. Big time. We only know about polite because of you. Right. And and y'all know about Umar because of me. Y'all know about them and everybody. Basically. Right. But this look real bad on the conscious community, the so-called conscious community. I agree with you 100 That's why they're coming at you, sir. Yeah, I got you. And I understand that. I understand that. But they coming at me as though I was holding the damn girl down while Polite was doing something. I do not support that. Well, shit. no, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. And I hope you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's not. And on mm -mm. the of that time, if this nigga's found guilty, you will hear. So I never. I'm not making no statement until I see the paperwork. Okay. I got to be responsible. Now, everybody can jump out the window. I don't give a damn about them banging on them. Go ahead and do what y'all do. But don't try to make me jump with you. I'm going to wait until I see the hammer come down, the final nail with the judge say, that's what I'm going by. I'm not okay. going to YouTube lawyers. You know, I'm not but going to. keep in mind, sir, he got to he, he, he plead out to one of these seven charges and only six of them are felonies. Yes, I agree to and all And you know he's not going to be, you know they're not going to go for misdemeanor only. Yes, I'm with all that. I'm with all okay. that. So but sorry, like once this is over with, me and you could talk business, and you gotta be for real with me, brother. Don't if you're gonna be for real, you gotta be for real because you know what type of crowd I bring, you know what type of numbers I bring ever since you've known of me. You gotta be for real about these numbers, man. Yes, but you know, I've been trying to have a conversation with you for years. You always duck my conversation. I don't I don't never duck your conversation. You had my number ever since I gave it to you. I called you live <laughs> on your channel. You remember that time, right? And you press mute, and we had a conversation. You came back, was like, hey, man, that's a good guy. He actually taking care of his business. Yes. And okay. I, and I never had. I that. never received a phone call from you after that. When you said you was going to accept my invo invoice for that five grand, that was it. I ain't never, nothing, no contact from you. My number hasn't, well, no, it's changed now. But I'll give you my new number. You'll, you'll be able to get it through Topcat. Okay. But I'm serious. If you serious. I'm sir. Do you want me to come out there or are you trying to do this online? You saying 50K? Come on. Yes, sir. If you want me to come out there, that's 25 up front, 25 when I get there. Well, check this out. What do the challenger get? What do he get? If I, you that's up to you. See, see, I because you about to make cash money off of me coming there. You get the views. Dang, you I get the views and you get money off of those views. You know how much that is. Negotiate that. But I think you are um, doing this because. I think you running from Jabari. No, 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 no. You don't try to out hustle it. It's because of how much I'm worth. I know how much I'm worth, brother. I'm not no young cat. I am, but I'm not young in a mindset. I know how to do business. I've so been doing this for a long time. You got to oh. come correct, sir. Come on. Be what a real you? man about this. Right. But what are you If you, you want me to shut down anybody on your panel, it doesn't matter who you pick. You're going to have to pay me. That's all it is. It doesn't. It, I'm not running. I'm telling you what it is. I'm right here, letting you know you're gonna have to pay. Right. I feel oh, that's you. it. I feel you. You got everything okay. right what you are worth. Absolutely. Absolutely, sir. You know why? Because I put in the work. You the have. reason why you know of me is because of what? I put in the work. Put this the ain't work. no joke. Yeah, no doubt. Okay. Because so I gotta get paid to how much I'm worth, sir. You gotta be for real. Be a real man about it. I you got you. the money. I know you got the money. You be clean. Y'all oh, niggas in Harlem. I know how the Harlem niggas go. Hold on for Come minute. on now. Let me say this, right? Quick. Okay. That's why I need your contact so we can talk okay. business. On All right. Me and you, we need to talk business. Okay. So you willing to do it online? Like if we was to do it like- If we, we do it online, we could work another price out. If we okay. do it online, we could work a different price out. Okay. I think that's what we need to do first. Okay. And then probably do a joint where we go live. You know what I'm saying? And- come out and bring everybody out i would like to get it done yeah that way. that's that's why that's so high because if i'm bringing somebody else like i'm bringing a crowd that's why my price is high because i bring a crowd oh man okay i see yeah you. oh i don't play no games so i've been doing this for too long all right so um uh cut top cat can we talk later on the day and we can figure out what it is for yeah but you but so up front we gotta wait till after this this situation with polite okay yeah, that's up cool. front. Okay. Yeah. And you got to be for real, sir. Like, if you authentic, like how you just told me as far as your stance on polite. Yeah. This, I'm telling you, if you don't be like that, brother, this going to hurt you, bro. No. I, Big bro, time. I already know what it is. I'm with okay. you. Okay. Yes, I'm with you. Okay. I'm, 
Now nah, no. I vouch now. Side, side half said that you know he said that before. Uh, yeah, he and said you said, it, said it on your channel, channel sir. On, no, on no, his no, channel no. and multiple channels. He I said it on I on Waffle Channel, on, on Star Channel. Shit, I didn't hear the shit. Life is found guilty. The motherfucker need to be set in front of a firing squad. Or he need to be locked under the jail with Dr. York. I've said it all the time. Over okay. The, I've made that statement. But see, you know what? When people playing clips, they don't want to hear that. So they got to paint the narrative different. Notice you never heard in Top Cat, you never heard nobody playing that clip. Why is that? Because you should be saying it more than once, huh? I know you're not trying to, but you should. Okay. The reason why is because they're going to try to control the narrative. But you I should do, say it more than once. I tell you, I do say it more than once. Okay. I do. I say it every chance I now get. I for him on that. I, I heard so I said on Star. He didn't been on multiple platforms. He, he damn near been on a tour. Because uh, he been on multiple <laughs> platforms because yeah, he got to go defend his name because, yeah. you know, that a lot of people are saying it. But he have been consistent on what he's been saying. And, you know, so I, I respect it. Yeah, I'm not with none of that, man. I ain't with none. I got to. Nah, gotta... but I said it too, though. So I said, man, so I went in Florida with that nigga, man. He said, I in New York, bro. No, so... what happened was, me and C, people always change up the narrative. Me and my wife went on a goddamn uh, vacation. We went to Florida. Polite was in Florida. I bumped into him when I got out off the plane, right? And so when I bump into him off the plane, automatically, I'm looking for some of the money you done got from me, nigga. I'm like, yo, you, what's up, man? You got something for me? After that, I never seen him again until I'm about to leave, because that's when he said he was going to hit me off. When I'm going to leave... Yeah, he gave you some money on camera or something yeah. like that. Huh? He gave me some money. I ain't going to say all of it, but he gave me something that he owed me. And that was it. It wasn't like I went there to hang out with no fucking polite, but people are trying to paint that picture. And yeah, I, yeah, you know, we see you at the beach I'm, and all I'm, of it. Transparent. I put my goddamn camera on. I let niggas see this shit. Then let them see. I'm not hiding from nobody, yo. You see what mm. I'm saying? And I put the camera on, like you said. Me and my wife. And we having a good time. For seven goddamn days in Miami, going to the beach, going shopping in Miami, buying certain things, going out to dinner. Every night, we went to dinner. Every night, we went out to dinner, get a couple of drinks, and that was it. It wasn't no we hanging out with no damn polite every day. No, brother. Nah, that's that ain't happened. That didn't happen. Come to find out, I told my wife this. Check this shit out. I told my wife this shit last week. I said, yo, babe, you know what? The day that we touched down in Miami, that was the time polite went to the goddamn court. And we ain't know nothing about that. She said, what? I said, yes. Polite hid that from us. He ain't tell us nothing about that. We didn't know about that until we got home. Till we got home from Miami. We figured all this. We found it out because we seen the internet going crazy. Mm. That's when we found that shit out. When we seen the internet going crazy. And believe me, I wish that I could. I knew where that sister was at because I know her. I met her. She been to my hotel room like twice we met her. When I say my hotel room, meaning when Polite come into town, he would come up and we would do an interview like that. They would come. They would do an interview. They would sit in my house and then break out. Who we, you was talking, like, we never you talking about the girl that's in the case? You met yeah, her before? Yeah, I'm talking about her. Yeah, I met oh, her. So she been around, so that wasn't like nobody. I met her at the hotel. I met her when we went to Brooklyn when we were with Ian Solomon. We was with Ian Solomon doing an interview. And the only time I be with Polite is when he would say, yo, brother, I'm coming into town. I said, all right, cool. Let's get an interview in. We do our interview. He go about his business. Simple as that. Now, I'm not trying to say, oh, Polite was not my man and we ain't fucking. No, Polite was, was, <coughs> Polite was one of my top scholars. Yes, he was. You know? But when all this shit go down, nah, we not with none of that. We not with none of that at all. We don't support none of that. At all, we, me and you, me and you gonna have to talk after the situation, sir. And look, yeah, good. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's looking bad. It's, it's looking okay. bad based it's off awful. of the research I did on this situation. You know, this is gonna fall right on you. It's looking bad on who? It's looking bad on him. Yeah, but it's gonna fall right back on you. Um, 
The only know. reason why is because of you put him on. We don't know nothing about him. If it wasn't for you, if it wasn't for you. This is the only reason why I'm saying that. So, so you, I, yeah, I suggest that you definitely get ready because you know you, what's about to happen. You know what's about to happen. So are you saying I'm accountable for everybody that? I know. I'm not saying that, sir. I oh. said for they gonna get they gonna everybody on the internet gonna come at you because of what happened, and they gonna feel like you knew him long enough to know his behaviors, how he went about you know his everyday life. They are gonna put it on you regardless okay. if you if you don't. They regardless gonna, if you don't. I don't know nothing about him messing with the little girls. I don't know nothing about none of that. So they can say what they want. I stand through the fire. Are Shit. you still going to be interviewing him? No. As far as once. All right. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. When his record come down and he's guilty, no, I don't need to interview him. There's no need for an interview. But if if it comes down and they saying, oh, they throwing out this charge, they threw out this charge, he's not taking a plea to nothing that got to do with that baby. Yes, I will interview him and ask him all of this. But if it comes down and he's taking a plea that involved the child and you done did something to the child, no, I'm not going to interview him. Okay. I'm glad you made that clear. Yeah, I don't they need They needed that. to hear that. Yeah. They need to hear that. But at the same time, mm, wow. I'm, I'm going to just keep it like that. Wow. But we're going to talk after that. So we yeah. talking about what? July? The top. I don't care. Because this okay. Because you know why? All if that once that nigga go to jail, if this shit is over with and he's going to jail, people are people are banged for a couple of um a couple of months. I don't care. But once yeah. that's over with, everybody views go back to where it's at. People get tired of hearing the same shit. We heard the story. I don't want none of them niggas running back to me. I don't want none of them niggas coming to me. I get a whole group of new niggas. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, Sai, si, uh, si, you say you looking for a whole new squad now. Huh? <laughs> so you try to wipe the plate si clean. I say, si say them niggas yep. old and rusty. He looking for some, some young hitters now. I don't want no <laughs> that flip on you because when the shit get hot, niggas want to flip and cross. Nah, they did that when it first came out. When Polite Situation first came out, all them niggas was gone. They mm. ran cover. Left me by myself. And I and I withstood that fucking tsunami. I withstood that thunder. And I stood up. And like I said, I'm still up. And and you know the best thing about it is that I don't run from nowhere. Anybody would like for me to come on, I'm transparent. I'll come on the channel. I'll talk about it. Put me in the hot seat, nigga. I'm, I can handle that shit because I'm going to only keep it a buck. I'm only going to keep it a hundred. I'm going to tell the truth. I got nothing to hide from. From nobody. All right. I mean, hey, we I mean we already know what's about to happen. You know what I mean? It's yeah. I got a I got a good feeling in my heart too, because I'm like, damn, is this did this nigga do that shit? Is he gonna cop out to this type of shit? The last thing I know, he told me he would never cop out to anything that got to do with any of these these children or the girl. But you gotta understand the situation that he in. They got evidence. He better not let them go to trial because it's gonna be worse. Then he's gonna have to be spending more time in jail. He gotta cop out to one of these. Yeah, he got be, to. You know. They and they already reduced the uh the felonies down to these felonies that we see right now. They already reduced them, so and ain't no more reducing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I was yeah, keeping you know, up with it because I thought he had a way out, but no, nah, I was looking at it like the, mm, the DNA, when they this said is the true. DNA it, yeah, that DNA played, part hurt him. They played that interview with Polite talking to to the uh to the victim of uh uh York, and he's saying, you know, even if they find them guilty, DNA evidence, all the things that we that I DNA that part, part hurt was, him. Yeah, that that, looked that good, hurt like him. That. That's what let me know this was real. When it went and when they had to put that restraining order on him, I was like, oh man, this ain't. I, at first, at but first, when people, I first heard it, I was like, nah. And then when I seen that part, I was like, whoa, okay. Um, hey, but they say he's not going to get a lot of time, though. Some nah, he only going to get four for, for, for one of these. Four years for one of these. Get that much time, though. But so, four to five years. This is what I'm thinking about. If you're only getting four to two years, why would they do that if they got DNA? To, because they is what, what happened is, is that the charge has already been reduced down. So it's going to be four. But... It's to tarnish his name. You know the situation. Even it's to tarnish his name. They, the this is to this is to stop him. 
But what he told me that he said, "Saw, they threw all that shit out." They did. Oh, At oh. first, they did, but they brung it. They brung the charges down. That's what he meant by throwing them out. They brought them down. They reduced them down. He doesn't have the same charges as it was at first. Now, but these, the all seven of them are totally different. But six of them are felonies, one of them misdemeanor. Yeah, but if he's not copping out to anything that got to do with the child. Yes, uh, every single one. Sir, you want me to send you the paperwork? Every single one of them got to do with the child. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Oh, every it. single one of them, but it's just not as bad as the first ones were. I'm going to just say it that way. That's why it's only four years. But keep in mind, even if he do four years, it's still going to carry with him the rest of his life. He, that's going to tarnish his name. That's that's if they make him sign up. You understand what I'm saying? If they make him sign up, it's over. And uh, I mean, regardless, it's over. Regardless, and I mean, yeah, if sign out to be real with me, be, be real with me. We don't got to say too much, but you know, I know a lot. And I mean that I mean that by saying I don't know enough. But hit me out on this. And if you can, give me a code if you can. Hit me out. Was he trying to get up out of there? When you say, was he trying to get up out of there? I don't mm -hmm. know. The people, okay, the people that were surrounding him. And I mean those people that were surrounding him. Was he trying to leave? And they say, all right, if you try to go, we're going to do this to you? I have no idea, brother. Okay. No, really man. Honestly. Okay. Because this I'm came out the blue. Like I said, I'm not helping this nigga out on none of that. So no, I, no, hold on. No, no, no. Don't take this the wrong way. I'm not saying that, brother. Hit me out. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to talk in cold. Right. Because them same people that remember when you got on him years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. How can I say this? You got on him years ago about certain situations. Then he went to a certain group of people and got his situation better. I mean, financially. Mm -hmm. Did he piss these people off? I don't know, man. Okay. Because that's who I'm talking about. Because I'm like, when this came out the blue like this, yeah, I wasn't something happened. Like dealing with none of his business or none of that. He's far away from me. I don't know. Okay. That, yeah. yeah. All right. Now, you so, know what I'm talking about, though. Like, I'm yeah. talking about them people. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I would, I would never. I'm not capping for him when it comes to this. Nope. Okay. That's off the rack. When, no, that's, that's done. You on your own on that shit. Okay. Fuck with no no child molester, none of that shit. So but that's why I was like, hmm, why? In order for me to be right about what I'm doing, where I know I can't get sued by nobody, I gotta wait for paperwork. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Anybody can leap out, that's on them. Yeah. But me being a journalist, no, I got to wait and I want to gonna ride it till the wheels fall off. I understand because yeah. you were there. It's only and it's only about being loyal for the you know, I know what you're saying. I yeah. know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Are you are you walking out? What you gonna do? You what you because you see what's happening. Are you gonna walk out? When you say you don't, out, what do you, you mean? You don't need them. You when, don't need them. You said me I, and you gonna have to talk. I, I no no no. Me and you gonna have to talk. You gotta talk, man. Hey, yo, yeah. Make sure you give me that number. Um, legendary top cat, and um, we can have a nice build. I'll talk to you. Yeah. What's up? I got you. Yeah. Besides, like, hit me out. Yeah. I mean, Frank, let me say Frank. Be for real. Leave them niggas, man. Oh, hell Leave yeah. them. Oh, oh, that's what you mean. You damn right. I'm leaving them niggas. Hey, even, uh, look, even if they offer you more money to stay, leave them. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah, I can't fuck with these clowns. For real. They they hurting you. They And you see how they, look, yeah. you see it. You be under the bus. You want to keep doing that? Yeah, hell no. These niggas want to throw me under the bus. I agree. Sai, you you over sixty, man. How long? How and long? Now, si, you've been through a lot of shit. You you when you going through it too much, man. Like they you they going. You've been standing on business for a long, long time. They going to try to bring you down along with them, and that's that's not that's what they do. That's what they do to our people. Yep. The yep. only way you going to stand up and say that's enough is if you stand up and say that's enough. Yeah, indeed. I'm so. for real. Yep. That man. I understand some of that money do look good. I understand. Don't get me wrong, but you when know you what I'm saying? Say, like, is say, it worth it? When you say money, they they could try to they could try to shut you up with the hush money. No, but they don't give me shit. None of them niggas give me no money. I give them niggas money. That's see, that's what y'all wrong at. I give them niggas money. No, I did say that you gave them money. I'm not I'm not referring to okay. See, this is the reason why we got to talk. We, me and you got to talk because I'm, I'm talking about a whole different group of people. 
Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I say, okay. that, yeah, we all have to talk then. A whole different group of people because they 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 watching y'all. Yeah, they watching y'all, and I hope they are. That's why I was like, hey, let me let me let this situation die down, and then we could we could do what we do. Yeah, as they watching us, I'm they gonna be like, yeah, so I ain't with that shit. So I hope they are watching us. For real, they are, absolutely are. <laughs> Yeah. Absolutely, y'all. You yeah, if yeah. you was watching, they watching. <laughs> like, what you mean? They so, following me. They following you. I'm happy they fucking watching. Trust me, because they gonna say, see. They gonna say, yeah, this nigga nah. We ain't got nothing on him. He's straight. This nigga straight. He real. He legit. Yeah. As long as you saying that same thing over and over and over again, what they gonna do? Damn right. Yep. Yeah, man. But I mean, Frank, I'm been the same way since day one, man. I'm here. Yeah, You'll no. be able to get my number from Topcast so we can handle that BI, man. But definitely, sorry, I'm not playing. We got to wait until after this situation, bro. I'm with you, I'm with you on that. All right. Yeah. All right, All that's right. a bad. I'm, uh, I am I hit you up, yeah. uh, si, and, uh and I'm going to give you uh dang number. And y'all, All right. Y'all can, um, peace, Dave Calloway, and uh, peace, legendary. Peace to y'all. For Absolutely. Sure. Why don't? Bug, man. Don't let them bring you down, man. Yeah, man, you got to stay up. You, this is going to be tough. I'm gonna ride. I'm gonna ride it through. All right, for sure. Hey, man. Right. Uh, well, damn, man. We didn't got to to come through. That's good, man. Y'all be able to negotiate however it's gonna go. Yeah. Uh, all the naysayers out there who say Dane's Callaway scared to get in the ring and this and that. He running and ducking and all of that. Well, y'all heard it here first. We gonna wait till this situation go by. Everybody, we gonna see the atmosphere. And then you know y'all y'all might be hearing some big news for the summer. You you feel me? Block might it summer. depends on the situation. Right, 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 right. <laughs> like if that head. situation bad, I don't want nothing to do with that. It depends. Like right. you know, what I'm saying like I'm not about to be inserting myself right at that time when all that stuff. No, <laughs> no, I don't want my name on that. That's we gotta wait on that. But I mean. You know, as long as he's staying true to his word and keeping that up, that's gonna help him out. Yeah, I think he's gonna do it because he understand, you know, uh see, he understand, man, what's up against him. He didn't just lost his whole crew that was around him. So Yeah, they you know, tell his whole crew know, telling him what's up. Yeah, he you know, so he, he he gonna be ready for it, man. But uh I think he gonna stand on it though. Uh yeah, I think he's gonna stand on it. It's just gonna be a, that shit they're gonna break the internet and put Polite steady showing up driving Rolls Royces, going hitting the malls and you know, wearing bulletproof vests and, and shotguns and shit. He got into a wag 100. You seen that shit? Yeah, uh AP was telling me about that. That's the last thing he need right now. This is the reason why he not in Cali, too. You shit. know, because he was in Cali first. And, and you know, I, I, uh, nah. you know, Sinetta, <laughs> I should have I should have brought that up. Sinetta, the one who called Wack for polite. I should have oh, brought that up. Damn, yeah. Oh, uh, so I never called Wack for polite, and that's how he got on. on that's the last thing he need on his plate right now. Is beef with somebody? If he beef with somebody, how, bro? Like how? How? It, it's not. Well, he, he was mad because uh somebody made a post or whatever, and Wack one hundred uh re uh reposted it. And so that's when all the other blog sites know. Oh, and then Polite and the, came at whack. And right, so that so oh. Polite contacted so I know the, the holiday whack. Okay, okay, yeah, all right, all right. To try to I get mean to like take it down type of shit. Polite man, you just got look, look, Michael, Mike, you gotta worry about you, Mike. <laughs> you going through all that other stuff, man. It's no need, bro. You you gotta worry about you, man. <laughs> like. You know, mm. in a situation like this here, or uh, I don't know, like it's a lot of people like going there and like Wack told him, like, man, at a time like this, you, you know, jumping out of uh, Rolls Royces and all of that, and uh, you know, that shit look look crazy. <laughs> but like, yeah, like, I wouldn't yeah. agree with him doing that right now, but at the same time, if if he wanna still get some money, that's the only way I guess he could get some. I don't know, man. I don't well, know. He's still hustling because he got his credit class still going. So he's still grinding uh to the shot clock running out. He still got his credit thing going on. I mean, he got uh, to the seventh. He, he he got a couple. Wait, what what listen? Anyway, <laughs> I'm just saying, man. 
that yeah. I ain't gonna lie, that was uncalled for. You going through all that, and you hopping out the Royals race and people watching you. Man, you you pissing out street niggas, and you know whack whack a motherfucker, man, whack trying to. Yeah, he you know what I'm saying? <laughs> whack and if I'm not mistaken, to... AP told me that uh, which I'm gonna call it a crip. Um, I don't know how I don't know if he is or not. You know what I'm saying? But polite. yeah. Yeah, yeah, polite crip. I remember one time back in the game, see Sinetta jumped out. We should have been talking about this himself, you know, because he, he, uh, they got, he got into it with somebody. I can't remember who he got into it at the time, but he had some crips and shit in the video. Sinetta recorded it and shit. Yeah, man. Uh, oh. Yeah, he had some crips out there. I think his name was like Cavity or some shit like that, he said. Uh, yeah, that was his crip name, Cavity or some shit like that, so. Uh, uh, whack, whack told him, Ain't you a crip, nigga? I'm a well, I'm nigga, I'm a pyro. <laughs> yeah, whack banged on it. <laughs> yeah, they gonna, you know, what I'm saying they gonna, I mean, mm. see, I mean, that that's that's bad timing for him to be doing something like that. I'm talking yeah. about what well, Mike, Mike just need to worry about him right now, man. He going through what he going through, you know, what I'm saying they making it, they dressing it up to make it look like he was trying to start up a little ring, if you know what I mean. And that part right there is deep. That's ooh, that man. Ooh, man. That don't look good at all. That don't look good at all, man. But uh, so that's why I'm like, we're gonna have to wait for some time before we even. I mean, you know, he'll it will be able to exchange numbers and stuff like that. In fact, I'ma talk to you on the back end of talking about which number. And um, because yeah, you know what I'm saying for certain situations, for my protection, I'm we gonna have to talk about which number, you know what I'm saying before right you start. On. Did you did you do it already? Nah, nah, nah. Okay, nah. yeah, because it's gonna have to be a different number. But um, yeah, man, because I don't, mm -mm. <laughs> nah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Especially, I mean, online, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I guess we could we could work something out. We'll see. But uh, but definitely not right now. We gonna have to wait. <laughs> we gonna have to wait. That's crazy. And all that stuff coming back on him. Mm. All that stuff coming back on him, man. They, I, I mean, think, that's like, crashing Sade and burning know, right there, man. I think Sade, Sade know, like, once his, one, he, like he said, he said, it's going to be it's for a few months. He's going to have to storm the weather. You know, Absolutely. Take that case with him. But, man, I ain't going to lie. Uh, I seen a lot of niggas like uh, Tariq Nasheed. They kind of like what happened to him because. It was like once he made himself like available and started like hanging with them, them other people and bringing them in, they started bringing them down. So you too, dang, like you, you kind of got it good because you, you kind of do your own thing. Like I done took a few cases and L's and shit, man, from things that people around me done done, you know. And so like I know, I know you had a uh, percent group over there. Uh, but you know, you 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 you're running it right because so you don't get attached to none nothing that somebody else. Right, because they tried to do that to me early. I learned my lesson early. They tried oh, to do that shit. to me early, real early when I when when I first started. So it was uh, I learned my lesson then. Like, let me tighten everything up. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I know what you're saying. I I definitely still watch everything, make sure everything. <laughs> Man, people do some crazy stuff, man. Especially when you're trying to do the right thing, people do some cra some crazy stuff, yeah, and they don't try to attach know, it to your name. There huh? be so many people you can't see everybody, man. And you know exactly. You, you just never know, man. So uh, that's why I, I felt you when you said like y'all about to do y'all events and y'all gonna keep it like private. You know? It's definitely gonna be private. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, we we keep our shit real tight. We had security there and everything type of shit. Absolutely. Yeah, goes out. yeah man. We, but, uh, yeah, this, this and that stuff caused. That stuff. I mean, the body guys I had, the security I got caused. Like, that stuff not, that's not cheap at all. In fact, that four grand don't even pay for them. <laughs> you know, and it's not. And especially when I come to a different state, man, that, that price ain't, that price is not negotiable. We can't bring that down. I got other stuff to pay for. But uh yeah, but which one of them? So I guess he ain't got no scholars over there, but your boy. You know? I mean, I, I don't care who he got. I'm gonna tell yeah, you that right now. I don't care who got, he put up. It don't only, matter as long as I'm getting paid. It's only Jabari. Um uh I I'm Jabari not um uh, you know who people think all them is. all to me, all them easy. All all of them easy, like every single one of them. I, the only person I said I'd do it for free, uh 
was Umar Johnson, but Umar Johnson came out and said, he, "I'm not going to debate Dane Calloway." That's the one. That's the now. That's way better than a debate. That sounds way better than a yeah. Du Bois. Because you know me, me and Umar could definitely bring a crowd. It would be that have to be in person. That we, we yeah, that absolutely. Is, what is, that should not be online. That should definitely be on person. Nah, that's that's, we that's could be, the motherfucker right there, man. Umar, like that's what I said. All we gotta do is get on the phone. Me and Umar could talk. The prince and, uh, is paying African man. I, whoo, that oh my. Bad. That's a good scout, man. I almost had him one day, bro, on Clubhouse, man. He had Doctor Gordon's and all the Pan African. They was like, "That's him right there. That's that's the main one." Umar ducked the fade and, and pulled uh, up the girl and fought a girl that night, man. And she was still scratching the shit out of his ass. But yeah, he fought a girl. He told. Nigga ain't want to. They like that's him. They keep stopping him. Guess him right there. That's mm. top cat. He the main one. Get him. That nigga fought a girl that night. Then he came. Then he made YouTube videos about it. All type of shit. <laughs> y'all think y'all gonna run me off Clubhouse? Y'all couldn't run me off YouTube. Couldn't run me <laughs> off Instagram. That's why he started saying this shit. But oh uh, yeah, man. Oh my, that'll be a mega, mega motherfucker. Man. Big time, big time. But you know, he. Right, man, we'll see. Well, they we'll gonna see. be out there in that red, black, and green. They gonna have he gonna have he gonna rally the <laughs> troops. Yeah, who gonna come ready for war too? He gonna rally the troops. They gonna be out there. With, he gonna have everybody in red, black, and green. With I will have head. a lot of people too. <laughs> yeah, they gonna oh now nah, them in is out man. We, right yo, now, we ain't be deep. deep in us, bro. We we super. We, <laughs> we gonna be deep. <laughs> We, we gonna be massive. deep in person. They yes, in person too. Oh, yeah, man, we gonna be we deep. Are massive. We are massive, man. <laughs> we are taking over America. With we we're taking America by storm. They conversations over that. Do you know Jabari admitted to having American Indian lineage? Mm mm. Man. Mm mm. Jabari, I, you know yeah. I don't watch them. Oh yeah, no. Nah, but what? What? Well, well, to to I'm gonna tell you then. I didn't know neither. But somebody asked him. I forgot this was recently, and he admitted to having. And I'm like, what the hell is going on now? So now <laughs> the narrative is we have at, uh, uh, American Indian admixture. So now it's we're African and American Indian now. That's the new narrative that they're trying to hold on to save face with now. Man. So they didn't create a whole new one now. Now they want to be joined up with us. They are because every pan african over there is saying they have an indian uh, indian family member or they've oh, been told man. these stories i guess they try and transition i, I mean i don't know i don't know <laughs> i i haven't been watching them but it, it, it'll be hilarious like i'm telling you jabari not ready for no real debate with me all he do is talk you know what i'm saying like that's all he do and pull up two three articles no so yeah he ain't, he ain't got, got no sources, sources. man you yeah. can't trick nobody that's really sitting out here working bro it, that's yeah, not a source what you're doing, Jabari. You talking, you're preaching. He came in there yesterday preaching. And I asked him, I say, was that book plagiarized? He said, no. And I sent them straight to the source. And mm. he didn't even know. He quick Googled on his thing like he always do now. He look, quick Google. Look, look, key word, quick and Google. <laughs> yeah, he, he he real good at that. He'll do some shit on the fly. And he 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 uh, uh speed read through it and, and then tried to say, well, it wasn't all the way and this and that. It still was Africa town. <laughs> nah, y'all, nah, you you lost on that one. Oh, and man. the pa came up there and she been taught this by by the boy. And so he looked at crazy because his students out there trying to fight with the information he teaching in class. And then he had to come up there and damn, the mm. teacher don't even know no better. I, I say. I, I think and I know you you smacked the crap out of him because he's not a debater. Like I think the real debaters would have been uh Umar and Polite. Umar and Polite. Like somebody that can actually debate like with sense, like you know, and actually actually pull stuff up. Not no yeah, I okay, here's an article, polite. here's a book. You know, I'm not talking about that. Like that stuff is too easy, but you know. That's what I said. I mean, sign that to know for a fact. That if it's gonna be Jabari, he better have two, three more people with him. But if it's not, no, no, no. I think I'm going to ruin his reputation. He gonna he gonna keep it respectful and he gonna make it. A, he gonna he ain't gonna make sure nobody come on and all of that. I think see Jabari get away with that. Remember back when LeBron used to be flopping all the time and shit. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, them referees, Kobe, you can't get past them niggas on the ref. They're gonna get their call. Jabari do people like that over there on home on, on Sarnetta. Referee got his back. If you there, he I, he gonna have he, he gonna keep it straight, mate. Cause I ain't gonna lie, even at debate when I fought Jabari, he 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 made Jabari go straight, mate. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. So he, he did give me that line that day. He Jabari talking and now he's like, hey bro, your time started. You know, yeah, nigga, you if you wanna, you know, you wanna do this or waste time. So he did make him go straight, mate. So I, I think it will it'll be cool, but you'll walk through the board though. It'll be too easy. I, talk about I like, already know his tactics. He running around here still talking about the Stone Old Rev, uh, uh, Revolt was Africans. Uh, like it wasn't a people called Stone Old. Like it's not an area on the old maps in South Carolina called Stone Old. It's a whole nation of Stone Old Indians. And he out here teaching that. This is what he teaches his class. You know, so man, nah, Jabari, nah. I, I not, but see, Jabari, Jabari is only used to going to... Uh, Kemet. He he only used to go into Kemet. That's it. He don't know nothing about they American been history. Away from Kemet because they've been ten. They've been after actually. Garfield and them was trying to get a fade on the board about this Kemet shit. Even Reggie was helping. Mm. Yeah, Reggie didn't left the Kemet shit. Reggie left the Pan African shit. Uh, see, you know Reggie sh shooting jazz. We know Reggie helped. Oh, uh, Nasha Yashavel against Seti back in the game. So Reggie been a traitor. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, Reggie. that's that guy that lied and said I had to have a Native American attorney. Yeah, that I was like, that what? Him. Like yeah. the, the the Native American attorneys are white. Like, <laughs> what are you talk? The Native American tribes attorneys are white. Everybody dealing with Jews. Like, what are you talking about, bro? And that's supposed to prove my lineage. That says a lot about my lineage. Like, what are you saying? <laughs> if that's the case, it's proven. Look, if that's the case, it's mis uh, it's disapproving her lineage. Because why a civilian going to be in a courtroom that's public? Uh-oh. If they supposed to be sovereign <laughs> with a tribe that's supposed to be sovereign, what you doing as a civilian representing a civilian tribe <laughs> in a courtroom? With a with a white attorney that's a Jew, come on, bro. Like that was too easy. <laughs> and then they gonna lie and say I had a black attorney. No, 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 no. He was right and said I got the top attorneys in New York, but ain't there one of them black, so called black? Every single one of them a Jew. Come hey, on, bro. Hey, I got a uh, man. I got a lecture coming up this weekend, man. I got seven hundred and sixty slides right now. Damn. Man, I want to send you a link, man, to come through. If you ain't, well, I know you're traveling right now. Yeah, I'm on a. Uh, oh, yeah. If I'm if I'm back at the hotel right now, you know what I'm saying. Uh, if I'm, you know, it depends Saturday. on the situation. I probably right, be in. I right, right. probably be in Georgia. You talking about this weekend right here? Yeah, Saturday. Yeah. I probably be in Georgia because we we leaving here tomorrow, and then uh, yeah, once I leave here, yeah, I think we hitting the road. I think we hitting one more. I think I'm hitting Alabama one more time, and then we hitting Georgia. But uh, I'm I'm basically gathering up my stuff that I need for my books that's coming up. Like my the third book that's coming up, all this stuff getting inserted in there that I'm doing right now. Yeah. But uh, that first one. But I ain't got no problem with that. Yeah, especially if I'm back in the uh, text me, text me and let me know. You know what I'm saying? So I could uh, rearrange. Yeah, that yeah. I see what I see what you. I text you and see what you got going. I just yeah. see you tell you just in case. Yeah, you can pop in or whatever. But uh, I ain't got no yeah, problem with that. Seven hundred and sixty slides, man. I'm feeling the goddamn. Go Josh Gibson. I'm trying to knock this bitch to the parking lot, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and man, uh, you know, uh, damn, you on tour now, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a private tour. Yeah. When I come back, then I'm going public. This is a private tour. Yeah. And then uh, uh, I know a few people wanted to join me on tour. Um, And I told them, you know, in the 13% community server, we'll set it up. You know what I'm saying? We'll set it up and they'll be able to join me depending on where we going and they can make it. If they can make it, you know what I'm saying? They can. We'll pull up because I'm I'm with my whole team with me every time I every time I step out. So, yeah, we good. Uh, but next year, man, I want we're going to look to uh want to do something in Houston, man. We're going to at that little outdoor theater that I was telling you about that mound. They got a mound down here in Houston. You said next year? Yeah, like next year or something. 
I mean, yeah, because if it's in Texas, you know, they come in, they come into Texas with 103 degrees today, 105. Man, it, yeah, they were down here in Galveston. <laughs> Everybody was complaining. That heat. They said, man, they take yeah. you. had people come out of Nevada talking about where's 117. They Woo. said, nah, this hit, hit different down here. Yeah, that, that sun burnt their ass up. I'm used to it, man. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, yeah, I mean, see, so you Texas, Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm used to <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you you Texas Texas. Yeah, I know you here. used to it. Here, man. It gets super hot. But yeah, next next year we going to uh um we going to look to go to uh, go big, man, and all. Uh, I wouldn't mind pull up. We are going to try to get mind. Mardi Gras Indians out there and everything come perform and all that. Speaking of Mardi Gras, we going to Louisiana too. We we going out there too cuz I'm I'm you know, I'm eyeing that Mississippi. You know they doing some they doing some more work. On the Mississippi, trying to redirect it again, and I'm I'm capturing all this footage. Hey, yeah, what's all that? What's all that about? I've been hearing about that. They saying it's drying mm -hmm. up, but I didn't hear a few things. They, about the yeah, because they purposely trying to redirect it. The Louisiana Department of Transportation and Development is trying to redirect it. Uh, again, they trying to create a brand new route, man, and that's why I'm I'm trying to show them what it looked like before. You know, what I'm saying all this stuff go go into the fact, man, but. I couldn't. We got up here in Mississippi, and I tried to go to the uh, what's the name of the joint? The um, uh, Mini Ha Ha Trail, uh, Mini Ha Ha Falls, but they they got it closed up till September first. Talking about some reconstruction, man. I was pissed. We wasted money coming down here, man. But um, I'm basically I'm I, all I'm doing is like trying to document everything. You know, what I'm saying to hurry up, throw my drone, trying to get everything because the information I already got linking up with the footage I'm gonna have. That that third book gonna come with a documentary with with some what they gonna be able to get that for free. It's gonna they're gonna be able to see some stuff too <laughs> at the same time. It's gonna be like a a movie and a book at the same time. What you but gonna put thing, like a little like a barcode in the back of the book or something like that? that yeah, they're gonna have that. All they gotta do is yeah. take a picture of it and boop, they got it on their phone. That's exactly what's happening. Yep. Yeah. And they'll be able to download it. They'll be able to download it directly off the website. But yeah, man, I'm trying to hurry up and grab this stuff now, man, because they making moves as we speak. They making moves as we speak and trying to redirect everything. But yeah, they trying to lie and say it's dried up so they can redirect it. That's all. What are they trying all to that direct weather. it to? See, that's what we don't know. You know what I'm saying? That's another thing. I don't know where they directing this to. The new routes are still in play right now. They still trying to stop everything, like redirecting by building like these so-called dams and redirecting it. I'm not sure where it's ending that. I'm going to figure it out, though. It's going to take a second, but I'm going to figure it out because it's happening as we speak. I just don't know where it's ending up at. But that's why I'm going. I'm going to hit Alabama one more time, and then we're going to – I know I'm going to hit Georgia, and I'm going to go down Louisiana and really get what's going on. I'm going to start talking to some people, and hopefully I can talk to some people that know uh, what, what their direction is because there's mainly Louisiana officials trying to get that done. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, that's lower Mississippi, so we're going to have to see, man. Right. We're going to have to see. I mean, I hope, I hope that this don't go through, but they got the funds. They got the funds. I'm just trying to show people how the Mississippi was the tree, letting everybody be able to go everywhere in America. This is why we know they ain't come up with no, uh, what, what's the name of that, the Pacific or the Atlantic? This is how we know. We, we know they traveled the Mississippi. Here's why. Here, look at this. And, um. But yeah, that's why they're stopping certain travels right now in the Mississippi. They're trying to redirect the line, a trade line. That's exactly what they were utilizing. That's how they got here. I gave them that Life on the Mississippi River. I mean, Mississippi, Life on the Mississippi book on um by Mark Twain. I gave them that. But I mean, you know, I hope people catching it, you know what I'm saying, before they start changing that, because I remember when I first put that out, Break people were saying, down. hey, they changing that already. Huh? Break that down. Life on the Mississippi by Mark Twain was telling people inside of that book, Mark Twain, Mark Twain was officially telling people that, yes, the majority of those foreigners that were coming over here were utilizing the Mississippi in order to travel to certain areas in the United States, not not the Atlantic, not the Pacific, in order to travel throughout the United States. I mean, because think about it. We did have docks on the South. We did. I mean, you know, I'm not I'm not denying that, but just think about it. Why would the majority come over there and then travel all the way around America? How are they going to do that? How? Like, think about it. Like if it was like if they couldn't get no horses, it wasn't no cars back then. It was some trains. But at the same time, how were thousands of people being able to travel in 
uh, inhabit a certain area by way, you know, of them. Uh, what is it called? They 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 squatting, you know, because they wasn't living there for real. They was just trying to find a place to lay their head because they wasn't there for real. Like indigenously, they weren't there. But how? The only way that they could do that to get to these higher ups, like as far as the mountains or the mounds or they, you know, that that word that they were utilizing back then was Atlas. Uh, how were they able to travel to those areas? Well, they actually traveled to those areas a lot closer than we think. They literally hopped off the Mississippi River and was right there. The majority of or the majority of those people that travel here were very, were very close to the Mississippi River. Uh, as far as their inhabitants, like where they came and they tried to say, you know, they built colonies later on, but it took them a long ass time to get that done. You know, because of, four, of course, our people were fighting back like, hey, right. there go some. Hey, who are these people? And they coming down there and rating. That's why a lot of them didn't survive and they didn't have food to feed themselves. So they were dying. You know, they didn't know how to take care of themselves. They was coming down here, hoping it was a way, a new brand new way of life. Um, some of them that were coming through Ellis Island and all the rest of them, they were, those were the criminals. So they had a way to get through, you know, not them. I'm talking about the people that were really leaving, trying to escape the, you know, runaway slaves, the official ones. <laughs> they were coming through the Mississippi. And that's what Mark Twain was talking about. Uh, life on the Mississippi, how that went down, you know, how people were, how they were trying to survive, how a lot of people died. I mentioned some of that inside of my book as well, um, called the, um, it was told in reverse. Uh, the untold truth of the transatlantic slave trade. All that stuff is inside of my book. And I was giving them this, especially for chapter one, two, and three. I was giving them, giving them everything. Um, and then they got the bibliography in the book. Me and my wife got the bibliography in the book so they can know oh, where all that stuff came from so it won't go nowhere. But yeah, they've been trying to mix up the life on the Mississippi River. they trying to mix up that book a bunch of times. The original book was like $12,000. I mean, $1,200. I don't know how much it is now. But I had the original. I mean, I'm talking about like it's falling to pieces. Like it's still I got it in a glass case. But um, I was utilizing that, you know, and it, it seemed like as soon as I started talking about that book, that's when they started changing it up and republishing it, taking stuff out, putting stuff in. I was trying, but they were switching a lot of stuff up, man. But that was that was a good one. So they can know what's going on with these white folk, and how they were surviving out here or trying to survive, how they were living. And yeah, they were coming by way of the Mississippi River, which a lot of them did because that was the trade line in general. That's how we traded amongst everybody right. else. Right. We're utilizing the Mississippi River, man. Yeah, ancient trade routes, too. That's uh, the ancient trade route. They've been there. Uh, ten, Memphis, Tennessee. Um, Tennessee ended up, that was one of the major ports on there, too. That's why uh, I'm here. I'm here in Mississippi right now. But yeah. they changing it. But they changing hey, it know, right, I, I right before my very eyes. Out of Natchez, Mississippi, too. And you know, they went through a big slave trade. They uh they sent them down. We were talking about that last uh last night. Um Natchez went through a, a big slave trade down there too. You talking about and putting them down in what? South Carolina? Uh some went through South Carolina uh from the Chickasaw mm -hmm. and some went to um um Haiti, Santo Domingo. Man, yeah. see, me, I, I just want to capture this to let them know what's up, man, because these folks, they, they trying to hide this thing, man. And they got them, they got all our people thinking that these foreigners that came over here were us and them. But they never told them about how they got here. They only told them about how we got here. And that's not, right. we were already here. And right. if that's the case, well, how did they get here, Dane? And I'm telling you how they got here. <laughs> wow. If they, if you, if they can't take the Atlantic, to go from Africa to here straight across anyway because of the ocean gyres, then of course they took the Mississippi. That's the easiest hey, you route know possible. What's cold too. So they had this, this room on um on the zap and shout out to my homie Omar Slim out of Atlanta. Omar and them and Shrugs and them been holding the dine over there. But they been calling um the 23 and me people. They've been calling ancestry. They've been talking to geneticists. They called uh, a commander, uh, a ship commander. I forgot his rank. I think it was commander, the top dude. And uh, I, 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 I recorded it. And uh, mm -hmm. they basically was asking them about, you know, taking the voyage from the east coast of America going to West Africa. 
And uh, so he was speaking. To, uh, the commander said it'd be impossible because you would have to rehydrate. So you would need water. So now he, he spoke about the technology they have on the boats that the filtering systems and how it go through yeah. eight different uh, systems to clean the water so it can be uh, consumable for humans. And so the salt, because it's salt water. Yep. Back then they wouldn't have had that technology. Yep. They would have had to load the boat and already have the hydration. Jugs full of water. Huh? Correct. So they they didn't even add that in the slave pictures or none of that. So how are they hydrating? You know what I'm saying? He said it would be impossible. And so, yeah, they asked him a 400-man crew, 300-man crew on the boat. And he was like, we would definitely have to rehydrate uh, more than a couple times. So that means they would have to be making stops Absolutely. along the way to yep. rehydrate. That means get everybody off the boat and get them a cup of water and some water and hydrate them and out. And come on, I showed uh during my live stream, I showed them this particular website that you could book cargo ships right now to take you to Africa. And it takes them three to four months just to get there. And three to four months just to get back because of the routes that they gotta take and how many stops they gotta make. And you know what's called? and that's right that now. <laughs> that commander said that they still use the same routes that they use. Exactly. I said that. I said that as well. They're using the same routes. Because they got to hug the coast. They won't ever go outside in the middle of the ocean like how they was trying to claim because they're going to get lost at sea. Them ocean gyres, the ocean gyres, I'm sorry. Well, it, it's like the Bermuda Triangle when they were saying, you know, you'll get trapped up in like this little tornado wave of water. It's true. That's exactly what that's about. That's exactly what that's about. A lot of people don't make that. Ain't no way in the world you're going to survive that. That's why when you go take, I remember that same video I was saying, when you go take a, um, a cruise ship, the cruise ship, you, uh, you won't ever catch that cruise ship too far away from the coast because if, if there's a problem with that boat, they got to hurry up and go to the coast <coughs> or they're in trouble. Everybody on that, on, on that boat is going to be gone. Everybody. They will always stay close. Same thing with the cargo ships. They're taking them same routes right now that you could book online right now. That you could book online right now, man. That's it's the same thing. It didn't and change he at spoke all. About those too, he said. Um, the commander he said those have a filtering system on place and it's running consistently the whole time because you have to have clean water. You have to wash dishes. You have to, um, you know, people have cook. to shower. You have to cook. Correct. You you need uh drinking water like. You have to mop. It's all it's these game. things coming into play. So you have to have this filtering system, the technology, in order to clean clean the uh the salt water. And that's and modern cargo come. ships. And and and, that, and he said it's on uh military. That's on like you said, carnival cruise ships. All these type of ships have this technology on it now. Yeah. And so that's how they're able to hold that large of uh people and, and go the distance that they go because they have a hydration process and like he said for us because he put it in context we're talking about the transatlantic slave trade because man these niggas so cold they've been calling around talking to these people saying that they're doing a project a research project yeah they can get so people to talk they, get, now, they, <laughs> they to get people to talk saying that man they didn't call everybody they didn't call dna uh people man these dna people saying that people don't know people a lot of people were unhappy with the test because they the tests are expensive and after they pay their money it doesn't really tell them anything more about themselves than they didn't already know and so that they they were complaining about how the how the, the sales been going down and kind of getting out of the business because the uh you know the shit they have to deal with afterwards motherfuckers mad they want to know this here and those answers are just not there so and you know what people could thank us for that people could thank us for that and I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm me personally, I'm not really looking for a thanks. It was just more so, but look, I told you so. I told you. I call it a gift certificate. That's what they hand in people, gift certificates. That's what it looked like to me. Gift certificates. But, um, yeah, man, I, I'm glad that's happened. I'm glad people are doing that, man. Yeah, that, that, that right there, that's, that's next level. Man, they calling these tribes. They're calling embassies. They talking to these African people, bro. They're asking them, uh, what have y'all heard about the slave trade and 
man, they call it historical societies and shit. And man, these niggas, they they took this shit to a whole nother level. They've been live 40 days, 40, 41 days straight. They've been live. No hmm. break. 40, 41 days straight. And them niggas ain't playing no game. <laughs> <laughs> man, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah. That's I what's did, up. I, when I dip through, I'm like, man, I just some of them I come through and record, but I ain't get all the good ones. But yeah, nah, they they, they definitely doing the work. Shout out to Omar and, and Shrugs and over there. But yeah, man, I ain't gonna hold you too long, Dan. I know you're on tour, man. Yeah. I want to appreciate you coming through. That was absolutely, good brother. Absolutely. And uh, I chop it up with you before uh, you know, I shoot shot the number, or whatever. And, uh, we yeah. figure out how that's gonna go. You feel me? But uh, man, appreciate y'all always coming through, showing love. You know, you know what it is. And uh, Saturday, man, I send you the link if you if you free, just pop in. Please so. do send it to the number. You know, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna send you a different number. You know what I'm saying for them, and we we could work that out. But I appreciate you having me, brother. Absolutely. For sure, appreciate you, man. Dane Callaway, man, appreciate the work. You got last words for the for the uh, family. I love y'all. Y'all take care. You know what I mean. Um. I'm out here doing work, man. We both are actually support the real. That's what we do. Y'all take care. I love y'all. In a real way, D. Dane Callaway, man. Appreciate you, homie. What up, brother? In a real way. Hey, talk. <laughs> what's up with it? Hey, what's up, my nigga? Hey, you notice how that nigga Dane put that nigga Sarnet in the blender when he was asking him about uh is some people contacting you and all Sarnet was on a whole I ain't gonna place. lie, man. I had I had went in the highs for a little minute. I just was letting them build, no, you know. No, check check it out. I peeped it, right? So Sarnetta was I mean uh uh Dane was talking to him. He was like, Hey, so what you gonna do after this polite shit? You gonna get away from them people? Sarnetta thought he was talking about niggas like the Kimmin niggas, you know what I'm saying? That's why he's like, them niggas don't give me no money. Yeah, see, I, I missed it. See, I nah, can't nigga, make they, it. Hey, they, I can't they make talked it about them boys. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, I, I fucked around and walked in the house because I just felt like, you know, the conversation was going. They, it was respectable, and so I, I felt like I, you know, I can put it on autopilot. So I just let them do their thing, you know. Uh, right. I ended up walking in the house. I came back on the end. Lex Vortex, brother Lex Vortex, what I told you next time I see you, he said, Dane stay in very safe places where it's not talented. Oh, brother Lex Vortex, you know we want all the smoke over here. So why why would you make that statement? Hey, he over here, man, come on, man. You know, it's lions, tigers, and bears, and jaguars over here, boy. You got, you got jaguars roaming over here, man. Hey, Top. You ain't Yo. got to explain that. Check this out, my nigga. Today, your shit was legendary, bro. I'm going to tell you why. A, you had you had that nigga on here. B, I have a whole new respect for him because yesterday, you see how they was trying to paint the narrative that he was he was using money as an excuse. You feel what I'm saying? But when you really listen to Dane, Dane is that nigga, bro. You know what I'm saying? And he ain't trying to help them niggas out because he already know where they're going. You feel what I'm saying? And, and you... You're like the you're like a younger generation of Dane, bro. That's how I found you. I found you, Dane, and uh, bro Sanchez. That's all I fuck with on YouTube, bro. I just want to let you know that, fam. Yeah. My hey, name. hey, whoever this this uh you not whatever guy in the back, uh, turn your camera on, bro. If you want to get on the panel, they don't want that smoke. <laughs> Hey, you heard what Will said. You don't want no smoke. Turn your camera on, brother. Uh, look like a troll. <laughs> hey, y'all, if y'all have not got y'all tickets for the lecture coming up, man, it's this dope ass that nigga, man. Oh, uh, man, this nigga want a nickel piece. Man, this nigga got $3. Tell him I give him a nickel piece. Hey, Tom, he, you be on man, go on, man. You be on that nigga Chris here. Oh, white boy Chris. Yeah. That nigga hate me, boy. That nigga hate me. I that think nigga, that's how I saw another phone. I think Chris went and uh, run the Batman along. You know what I'm saying? I think Chris went and got him. Oh, of course he did. That's why I brought him up. I said, we finna punch him down real quick. You want to yeah, come man. through? <laughs> I love what y'all niggas doing, bro. That shit, this shit is entertainment like a motherfucker, bro. I love it, bro. And, and it's... And, and and slowly but surely, man, everybody got their own wave of, of waking people up a certain way. And sometimes people just stop at a certain point, bro. It's like I'll be talking to Kim and niggas, bro. They be like them Pan-African dudes. And they just 
they just it's like they scared bro it's like they scared us yeah but we are right. pan african though with the kimmy too we are pan african yeah no. pan, pan africans don't fuck with kimmy no more nigga. oh oh i oh, mean yeah. Yeah, y'all niggas don't they don't fuck with nigga. Oh, did you hear them trying to go with go with them comedic dudes, bro? I mean, you know, like look, we ain't like pyramid crazy, like that's old school, right? And they kind of birthed y'all Lex, a little hold bit. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Hey, Lex Vortex, get on the panel, bro. All that typing. I know your hand hurt. I know last see my hand was hurt last time I punched you down. You got up here talking about oh, I ain't ready for you today. I'm gonna have to come back and yeah, nigga literally sat here in front of everybody and said, nah, I ain't prepared today. I ain't ready for you today. I said, oh, so man. About, yeah, make that nigga there about on, man. Hey, you ain't got that smoke for Lex, bro. You couldn't yeah, handle what's old boy. You seen what's old, what's old boy on side of the channel that was uh getting at you uh was that yesterday the day before? Oh man, what's his hair? Brother, we Chris just Harris, bro. Oh, brother, brother Cash, we just played the video. Of, of hey, Chris brother, Harris came Harris with that info. Chris came with some info, brother. Hell, bro. Hell. Listen, check it out, bro. Chris ran into so many shots in that, bro. We just played the clip back. I don't know what hey. you was looking at. We just hey, ran top, back. hey, top. They were trying to pack you out too. No, nah, I went. I went even. I wouldn't say that, man. I don't know. I went. I wouldn't say that because. Now, for us, see, I'm on the phone, so I don't even know who on the panel. I'm not looking at the screen and none of this shit. So mm -hmm. I'm on the phone. If I never move away from the phone or some shit, then they can't hit me. If he's doing it on purpose or not, you know what I'm saying? So, but uh, for us, Chris Harris, Chris Harris, he didn't, he don't even, he didn't know the information he was talking about, bro. That nigga ain't know. Bro, he came thing. with receipts, bro. That's what we got to see. Did he bring? What receipt did he bring? Chris Harris came with receipts, bro. I see. What receipt man. did he, he bring? He he broke down. What's that? Casada, <laughs> them Casada Indians you were talking about? Right. Oh, he broke that shit all the way down, bro. All right. Well, let's see something real quick. <laughs> man, bro, we just went through the tape. Of this hey, they think the ball hard too. too. That shit funny as hell to me, bro. <laughs> Be clear, I didn't catch you off when you was. Okay. Now, did the Kausadi did they participate in slavery, buying slaves? Is it, what part? What part? No, sir, not to? my family. What part you want me to go to, bro? We just watched this whole clip. What part you want me to go to? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> shit. You go to all. I mean, you watch the whole clip. Everybody know <laughs> what part. You know, if if, 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 if y'all don't think I caught pieces of, it, but if y'all don't think you caught that, pieces of it, well then, what? Well, hold on, hold on. Are mosquito speaking speak people. They don't have anything to do with anything. Society have their own language. It falls in the Muscogee branch, but they have their own language, brother. So, again, Chris don't... Listen, why in the hell is he going to uh, have a conversation with me? He don't know. A Negro, African-American, um, which is at all. And he has not given us proof that he's of the Kausadi tribes. Now, the Kausadi participated in slavery as early as the 17th century when African slaves ran into their territories. Oh. Later on, he yeah. also got the date wrong with the um, the Kausadi uh, Confederacy. That took place in the 16th century, true, but that had nothing to do with you because they did not begin to participate in slavery yet. At, um, participate in slavery yet. After the Kausadi signed and joined up with the five civilized tribes, then they began to sell and they began the institution of slavery. But after brother, so if I fast forward like 20 seconds before that. I just told this nigga an uh, answer that he just came back. So how is he killing me, bro? He don't know what he's talking about. He said, the I mean, he sounded like reading. it to me, bro. He sound like it to you. So right now mm -hmm. he's reading, right? So sure. the, car, the, 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 uh, he said they didn't have nothing to do with slavery until they signed up to the five civilized tribes. Do you know so, how so they traded was? black slaves, right? So what, brother? This was they didn't sign up to the uh, Kasadi. I mean, to them until after slavery was over with, bro. They didn't sign up under the creek until late in the eighteen hundreds, bro. We got I gotta see that. I gotta see that. What nigga? You don't know shit. Get him. Yeah, you talking about? I gotta see that and so and so so yeah, man. You, you this nigga don't know what he talking about. He read. How the hell are you ready for? So let me see my. After the Civil War, and freedmen, Muskegon freedmen, and Creek freedmen, 
promise. Watch oh, this. Let me go to my part. Choctaw Creek Indians. They all, excuse me, the Choctaw Look, Indians. Go, I all of them came right up with here. that one drop rule on the dolls rolls. Anything else you're saying is I trying to right transform here. it into some Native American legacy by not first accepting what the African did. This African is why he Native always did. mentions he's part of the Kausadi. He thinks we don't have a history of that. Many African slaves ran to these territories Name and they one. became a Magdalene. Nigga, mm -hmm. Indians came down there. We're known for the Underground Railroad, nigga, in Indian territory, nigga. Down here. You're talking about the Rebellion. Yeah, after the the no, down. nigga, ain't no stone. No, that's me. South Carolina. Nigga. After the you. Civil War, so let me Choctaw Creek Indians said, you are not I'm close from. to me, brother. Here's your story. That's why we do genealogy. You can't find your family through a DNA test if they were on the dogs or, or if y'all were old something or received something from the 1866. I had a question for the father. Cut me off. It's it you the one that's supposed to... Excuse me. I'm answering it directly because I'm speaking directly to you. You're using that out of context. Don't get nervous Ooh. about it. No, it's nothing to get nervous about. Okay, so he just took... Once again, he went to the Civil War. Now he's talking about DNA... He's talking about um, how you can prove yourself. But yet, this dude don't even, excuse me, excuse me. You should have used your time wisely. He sat there, and he doesn't even believe in DNA or genetic evidence. And he's speaking on See, y'all like niggas to preach to y'all. I think that because I'm looking for the bars. Where is this nigga? That boy Chris Harris, damn. This nigga sound like he, he preaching to y'all, bro. Where are where's the information? What I mean, he's presenting it. he's presenting the information now. No, no, brother, brother, brother. <laughs> On DNA now. This is ridiculous. Right. Now this the is cow Indians, the cow shotted Indians were aligned with the um the Alabama Cherokee. But the Alabama Cherokee as early as the seventh, excuse me, so he excuse me, can I finish? He can't hear me. Is it okay if I talk? Because you're doing a lot of gish galloping. Nigga ain't no motherfucking Alabama. Nigga, we <laughs> like the Alabama chair. That nigga making this shit up, bro. <laughs> In this school, that nigga sitting there talking about this nigga is dropping balls. Hell no. Hey, it's because of, it's, it's of the way they it's, talk, bro. They, they impress me. It's called getting beat up. All right, now, the Alabama Coast shots of people aligned themselves with the Cherokee Nation. The Cherokee Nation also had what you call Cherokee mm -hmm. freedmen. These freedmen were African slaves who remained on these reservations after the Civil War. That's where we're at with this. And you're trying to Shout out to the freedmen. Because your understanding of history is horrible. All right, now, the entire Southeast region of the United States, slaves were trying to escape there. Because they accepted Indians and win. Oh, their southeastern tribes, both the Alabama. Oh, 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 let this nigga oh. read the whole article. So I know the audience not that smart, bro. You know so they gonna retain this nigga reading the whole article. If you don't have the information, brother, let the nigga who wrote the article speak. If you gonna sit here and read this nigga whole motherfucking work, you ain't you could have. He, he read it, bro. No, no. What he's saying? What he's saying? Look. The first thing they do is they ask cop. They always ask us. They always ask people, where's your sources? But all they do is read, bro. You don't get what he's saying, bro. <laughs> you know yeah, but he's citing a source. He's citing a source. That's he what he's doing. Ain't no, ever Wikipedia, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Wikipedia don't get their information from sources, bro? No, Even no, I'm not, no. I don't think that's Wikipedia, but. Okay, well, well, well. It wasn't well, a book. Know. He don't get you don't so you're saying, so you're arguing that a third party. Let me tell you uh, don't even qualify. No, thank I thought so. Once again, Soto and his men devastated. Thank you. We appreciate that Wikipedia source that you just read to the audience. <laughs> Actually, I pulled this from the Alabama Calcutta history. Right, um, the Alabama Calcutta history. I pulled it from right there. Okay, you no so you told a lie. Yeah, let him speak, Chris. Hey, hey, a real Go quick. Ahead. First, Top Cat, you hear me? 20 minutes ago when they asked him what his language was. He said he didn't know because Why of their contact. With... Why would I say I don't know? My language is the same name of the tribe. Why would I say I don't know? The English, and especially as I just read, but you can't speak it, can you? 
These niggas act like they. But you can't speak any of it, can you? Damn, Damn. That's not true, As a matter of fact, if we you can't speak it, speak something. Uh, speak to me. Say hello, Chris, in your language. <laughs> hey, you should have said, nigga, you <laughs> speaking it. The question. I thought so. Once no, again. No, no, no. And so history has destroyed our entire. Excuse me. Slavery has destroyed our history. And they feel as if they asked us that question. Okay, y'all, hold on, y'all. We finna get a bedtime story from the Pan African. This is why the nigga said the nigga was spitting bars. So don't tell them, Chris, what happened. Matter who they were. They conquered us. That's what they did to us. And slavery destroys. You hear That's- this nigga? I hear talking about the white man conquered us and destroyed us. And all this type of shit. You hear this shit? These Pan Africans out here kicking y'all niggas. <laughs> they got y'all niggas on some victim shit. Y'all niggas hooked on this shit. Y'all. I mean, truth is true, bro. Truth is true, bro. That's not the truth, it. though, homie. Prove it, bro. Nah, prove y'all, it. y'all over here saying now. y'all Indians, bro. Who's y'all over here saying y'all Indians. Master, this bro. Is y'all the result of that. Because you are taking the African legacy of the Cherokee African, the African legacy of the Chickasaw Freeman, the African legacy of the Muscogee. Freeman, you are Sounds taking like it and you are thing. reversing the history. And that is very dangerous to do. That's why you're saying that I ain't on your level. You got that right because you ain't on this one. Nigga, please. That's Ooh. why you first off. Oh, the Indian. Hold on. When you're doing all this mixed nut bag scholarship you throwing around. Miss so nut bag. Well, you like a, but when a, a you freak. get in front of me, I can Yeah, you sound that real easy. freaky. That's nigga, that nigga talking for always told me you were a fan of me. That, that nigga on here talking freaky, talking about that. <laughs> man. Hey, that's so why you afraid to take the ball? So the proof. I have. I said I can call my grandma. Let me just screen share. Hold that. on. All right. So look, for us, the freeman. I was looking for the part in there that I told him. It is called the Indian Removal Act. So he brought the dogs road, and they steady running around here with this freeman, freeman, freeman shit. But brother, do you know that Indian Removal Act? These people that's that's tied to this freeman comes from what is called the Indian Removal Act. In the 1866 Indian Treaty. So, yeah, man, uh, those are the people that are attached to the Dawes Road. Those are the people. The territory that they lived in up until 1907 was called Indian Territory. So where's the African shit? So, uh, but I did break that part down there. And, that, and um, Hey, Lex Vortex, where you went, bro? Lex Vortex. All right, turn up who we got on the panel. Top star, what's up with it? Hey look, hey, 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 look, top, hey, hey, look, top cast. I wanted to ask you this: what, what's your thoughts on uh, the Washington top, bro? Uh, which one, the Washington top Murs? Yeah, the Washington top Murs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's Malachi York tribe. I didn't know they still <laughs> was in existence. I thought they went extinct. <laughs> <laughs> that's Malachi York. Everybody tried to pin polite on us. Hey, bro, but chill that's out. Malachi hey, York. I'm not talking to you, bro. Chill out. You know what? You, you get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, geez. get the fuck out of here. So, yeah, I, uh, I, I just want to get your uh, your uh, you know your thoughts on that. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been you looking at that, brother. You say what? Are you Washington? No, no, no. You know, you know. I uh, we was building them last night. You know, I came up on the heat. Bro, bro. I was sleepy, man. Y'all had me out of there last night. Why you asked about the Washington title? No, because because uh, I was just looking at this book uh by uh, Umar Bay, and uh, I just wanted to get your you know see yeah, see right your, uh, your your no, thoughts. I, I, thought on. This, I thought they was an extinct tribe or something. Okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> them niggas got the chicken pox and when it stink. Top star, you got your mic together, bro? Yes, sir. Where you calling from? From Texas, from Dallas, Texas. 214 the though, man. Uh, what's good with it? Uh, what's your position, brother? Oh, man, I'm just listening. I, man, it's my first time ever even seeing you, seeing you. So I I followed Dan Calloway and, and you know your your stuff popped up on my on my feed so I just decided to check you out man I like this stuff man. yeah I'm, I'm I'm out of Texas man we put it down for the Texas in there we got a lot of big shit that coming for Texas though so Texas gonna be big in this industry because 
Yeah, we we going we got it. we can put a lot of people together down here. Yeah, I, I listen. I listen to uh, Dane. I'm gonna check you out too. Uh, I listen to Bro Sanchez. Uh, there's a couple other people I listen to. Right on, right on. What's up with it, A one? Peace, man. Peace to God. Peace to goddesses, man. Peace to the Aboriginal, North South Central, and the conjoining islands, man. Peace, brother. Peace, 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 peace. Peace, um, peace, 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 brother. No, I, I just want to um, clarify something because it seemed like a lot of people had jokes with that situation that happened with me on side, another TV or whatever. Um, and I just don't want people to get caught up. The mission, the goal is not Sarnetta. The goal is Indians not taxed. The goal is not to be sitting on Sarnetta teaching these niggas anything. The goal is always Indians not taxed. Now, as far as some of these African, pan-African so-called heavy hitters, yeah, I want to shout at some of these niggas. And like I said, I ain't done with Unc. Unc will see me again. But I just fuck Sarnetta. I won't ever go on Sarnetta channel. Fuck that nigga. The house of degenerates. I would never go in there. I wouldn't support no nigga who support a nigga who down who who who, who allow niggas on that panel who fuck with uh, underage women or underage little girls. Cause I got daughters, so I don't even respect none of them niggas. Period. Facts. So understand that. And then, like I said, them niggas knew polite was fucking with young women. Because the girl that he was hanging with, Sarnetta was like, oh, don't let me air you out. So he knew what was going on already. Yeah. So I don't want to hear none of that shit. Like, fuck the house of degenerates, nigga. And, and like I said, as far as, as, here today. as far as on. You hear me? I'm sorry, say that again? I say Sarnetta came. He was over here earlier today. Yeah, we'll say that again. Sarnetta came. He came over fuck here earlier today. I'm, matter of fact, I'm... You, 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 you know, I was on one, two, five, you, you, um, Saturday. You heard me? I was on one, two, five, Saturday. Yeah, you, you, you know what it is, top. You know what, what it is? Not, not to cut what, that brother? brother wisdom. You know what it is? That nigga scared right now. That nigga scared because they're yeah. motherfucking, they're motherfucking put a Rico case on your ass, nigga. That's what these niggas, they don't understand that shit. You know, that shit ain't no game, bro. When you fucking with little girls and all that shit. They'll put a fucking Rico case on your ass. Yeah, bro, I got a 14-year-old daughter, man. So I, I came I, through earlier and, and said, you know, he don't support this shit. Uh, yeah. He got on the panel and told the panel, man. So yeah. they gonna hold him to it, man. He said, put the nigga in front of a firing squad, burn him on fire or some shit, lock him up, sell his with Dr. York. So he, he did... Cause man, we been going, man. We had him and Dan Calloway on here. They, you know, possibly gonna set something up with a, a big fight for them over there. So that's what uh been going on. Um, I ain't really heard nothing about Unc and them ever since they broke up with Side Nutter. So really ain't heard nothing from this side over there. I don't know what they doing. Yeah, man, it's a bunch of degenerate shit over there, bro. But as far as us trying to reach the other individuals that are listening, that's my main goal. My main goal, fuck some Pan-Africans, because them niggas is all, they are who they are at this point in time. If you don't know that Negroes been in America before 1492 at this point in time, then that means you, you, either, you even don't want to know or you don't give a fuck. So at the end of the day, we know exactly where we've been at and who we are. So that's all that matters. And like I said, the main goal, the main goal, find out who your people is and go ahead and get that paperwork straight with the government so you can get exactly what they supposed to give you. That's the main goal. That's the only goal. The only goal. We ain't doing this shit just for this, you know, as far as YouTube and as far as like these platforms, these platforms is to reach people. These platforms ain't about um, no fucking Pan-Africans. These Pan-Africans jump on these platforms, disrespectful, nigga King Cass, all these other clowns and shit. Like, all these, these niggas think it's a fucking game. This I is our answer. that nigga ass up out of here. That As you should have. And then we been kicking that nigga out. That nigga can't go on that. Hey, not look, you I, know, this is what we said, too. Like, 
we ain't, you know, even fucking with that side and tell us the case. They trying to put it all on side nether, but it's really on all of their ass. All the pan Africans take their case. You know what oh. I'm saying? So yeah, we ain't fucking with none of y'all because y'all need a lifeguard to try to get some other conversations going to get the the uh heat off that shit. You know what I'm saying? To, to sweep yep. that under the rug. So we just gonna fall back and do us, and we gonna wait to the sale on they motherfucking ass. Yeah, talk to us after the sale, nigga. And so yeah, while they drown the country's community going in the flame, leave them niggas ass over there, let them burn. You feel me? Hey, that shit that happened with polite, that's a real situation. You understand what I'm saying? That's a real shit. Like Nick Polite need hands and feet put on him, bro. Man, they gonna you know fuck that nigga up in the, in the joint. Man, oh yeah. Hey, that type of shit, bro. That's a yeah. no. Yo. That's a no go. And, and I don't fuck nigga. You go in that bitch trying to pay off some some help or what, nigga. You gonna have to pay somebody or <laughs> you ain't going, yeah. nigga. You gonna get your ass because the nigga that they paying, niggas gonna jump on him. Nigga, the nigga that's protecting him gonna get his ass beat. So it it, it, it ain't no way out of it unless that nigga go on PC. Hey, yo, so big. Might throw you want to say on call it an accident? Hold on, <laughs> somebody might know the nigga in there too. Like his shit been on the news down there in Florida, so it's just hey, a lot of people know lot. polite. Huh? You know that a lot of people know polite. Polite is known. That's why they had the nigga on the news because he a um, social media personality. You know what I'm saying? He got millions of views. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Especially on sign letters, so people know who he is. But that shit that like you gonna take the the bitch that allowed her daughter to go to a club with that motherfucking degenerate knee her ass beat too. How the fuck you gonna let you gonna let your daughter, nigga? I'm not letting hey, my, nah, my daughter. You know what Sa said master. today? But watch this here. Sa said yeah. he he said one of the reasons why he gonna be fucked up about it is because he met the little girl before. That's in the case. So I said that breaking news today. He said he met her a couple of times when it, they came to Brooklyn and he, he did an interview with Polite. So so I, the girl been around. So, so I, yeah, that nigga, he said he, he met her before, like, not on no, like, no type of shit, but he, she, he seen her with her. So he said he, gonna, he really going to be fucked up about it because, like, nigga, I, I, I met her. Like, it, it hit a little different. So. That was some cold shit I thought that was to be highlighted. Like, damn, nigga, so you, you, this not just like it because, yeah. you know, people don't know who, who, you know, right now it's just a 14 year old, but it, I don't know it's different. Like, damn, when I done seen the, like, damn, that's some cold shit, bro. That shit, they'll yeah. get a nigga fucked yeah. out, yeah. man. I swear to God. I don't know. Especially the way it read. The way it read is like, my dude. Weirdo. I just, it's weird. It's, Listen, look, his wife, bro, but but dude, but, but, you, but nice. you know you know what that shit is that that that's that New York City shit, man. That's that New York City trying to nah hustle. nah nah don't nah. put that nah. Don't put that nah, 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 nah. He ain't polite. That, ain't from New York. Polite is an immigrant, and and what I noticed too is too right. Oh, a lot of base. brothers, a, a lot of brothers from down south talk that up north shit. My people from the south, brother. I just happen to live nah, in the we north. We don't know where this brother from, man. We don't know. We we just met him, man. We don't know that nigga, yeah. man. Don't put that on. Oh, the niggas. Well, pol polite are African, bro. Polite is a fucking African. Don't get it wrong. Yeah, it's some degenerates every motherfucking way. It's degenerates and niggas families who do fuck shit. So it ain't like it, it's, right, it's right, it, it, it right. ain't just a state. It ain't just ain't a state thing. You got niggas and niggas families who do fuck Ooh, shit. Got dying now. Nah, that's right. Real. real talk. Let's keep it a buck. You know what right. I'm saying? It ain't well, like, I think look, that's what makes it worse because he he's that's like his lady or his girl and her daughter. It's like yeah, that's some real predator type. Well, like, yeah. I ain't even looking at your mom. I really trying to catch. You know, it's like. I don't know. And nah, then the bro, way that I, 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 shit that happen. I know a situation I love you, real life that happened like that, bro. Oh, I know a situation in real life that happened like that. Bro, King look, I'm 47. Sorry, go ahead. Please, calling from uh, Illinois about an hour outside of Chicago. Okay, okay. What you got for us, brother? How you find the channel? <laughs> hey, your microphone. Hey. Hey. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, okay. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Like, I, just, I just look, look, look. I just left out the gym repping four or five on the I incline, told you, not the she, flat bitch, not, not not the flat bitch on four or five on the incline. I just got and I just got finished doing um eighteen. Wait, 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 wait. How many times? How many times you push that shit up? I'm, what, four, five, how many times yeah, you push that shit up? Three times. And look, 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 look. Let me explain something to you. Look, look. And I do a drop set. So I did it four <laughs> times, strip it down to 315, did 315 for six reps, dropped it down to 225 for 10 reps, and did did 135. Oh, Chris did did, all this. You must did, did one. Nah, that gay ass nigga better stay the fuck away from me. <laughs> that freak booty ass. Everybody know freak Chris. Freak booty ass me. nigga. <laughs> nah, you put hey, that, that shit out there and it started making sense. But nah, look, look, and my dude, but on top of that, and I just did five sets, pull-ups, push-ups, and dips, and I just hit the bag. For 18 minutes, the water bag. So it's like, you know, and I got some 18 ounce gloves. So I ain't, listen, I ain't trying to fuck all that tough shit. This is about our people. I ain't, I ain't trying they to fight. I'm own... trying to advertise to the ladies. Let them know. Nah, I ain't good. trying to like, look, my dude, I'm looking for a wife. I don't even want to be dealing yeah, with these bras out here. Well, I'm still it's, like, <laughs> it's fucked up out here, nigga. It's fucked up, man. Shout out that to Kevin Sanders, girl. man. <laughs> Shout out to Kevin Samuels, Shout out to man. Kevin Samuels, the government. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up out here, nigga. Look, look. Hey, Ty, it's fucked up out here, nigga. These hey, bras, I told man. Niggas, fuck when up. Kevin Samuels, yeah, I came in here and cried on the pounder, man, because I knew it was going to be fucked up. Boy, that nigga ruled with an iron fist, boy. That yes. nigga had dads and lying. Everybody's oh. relationship points went up and the value yep. of a nigga went up. Well, you, oh, you said heaven, you boy. said the value of a nigga yeah, went up. The value of a nigga, <laughs> nigga went up, man. Now they out here. Now nigga oh, back to buying purses. Yeah, 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 yeah nigga just fell off. Hey, you know what it is? That pussy. Hey, yeah, they right back to that other shit. <laughs> hey, my nigga, <laughs> we need to start replaying some of that nigga old video. Yo, you, you crazy to the motherfucker? Hey, Tom, I'm just back out here, man. Yeah, nigga, value didn't drop. Yeah, like the US dollar. Top, you know what it is? These <laughs> niggas out here, they think swinging they shit, man, and doing you know all that other shit. They think that's keeping the keeping the female, bro. You know what I'm saying? And and these these females is playing chess out here, my nigga. Real talk, bro. They some man. This shit is crazy. Hey, really? Here. Where you from, family? I'm from Arizona, my nigga. South Phoenix. Oh no, shit, man. We we came to Phoenix last year. I, I'm about to move to uh, Vegas though with uh Michael Sheed though, the entrepreneur cat. They be doing all those seminars. That's my that's my best friend, man. We partners. We got some business out there, man. Oh, you said yeah. Mike Rasheed. You said Mike yeah. Rasheed, my man. Him and that's, that's my number, that's my, go look at my go look at my old rap videos. He and all my videos. I used to be signed to uh, Def That's Jam. my he, man. He, I fuck with Rock Mike Rasheed. I've been fucking with Mike Rasheed for like almost ten years now. Yeah, when he was ten Q. But you know who you know Mike Rasheed fuck with Red Pill and Blue Pill too. Yeah, no, this I, no, this this is my Brody when he had another name, bro. From eighteen years old. Them them, them some other fake ass niggas. Fake hey, fake oh, ass hey, niggas. Hey, my dude. Bro, nah. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Well, but a bunch of fake something. ass niggas, bro, man. Hey, one. One. Fake, hey, one. fake hey, ass one. niggas, man. Hey, hey one. Time, bro. Yeah. Chill out, hey, bro. You, you ever, can't. Uh, shout out hey, to one, Red Pill, man. Red Pill just gave me a shout out yesterday, day before yesterday, or something, bro. I can't let you get down on my people, now, bro. I fuck with Blue Pill. Me and KT, the artist degree, we just took a picture together. Last yeah, I just day. saying that flick y'all had. Yeah, that's my. Hey, look. Hey, you know, I'm a hey, nasty hey, look, look. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Top, 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 top. You hear, you hear me? Look, you hear me? Cherokee Bill, man. Cherokee Bill, Money Brown, St. Louis in this bitch, man. The real Cherokee Bill, man. Hey, hey, chop, chop. Fake you? ass nigga. Man. That's all I'm going to tell you. Hey, hey, you That's ever all met them? Tell you. Hey, you ever met them, Shot Time? That's all I'm going to tell you. Fake. Have you ever met them? Fake. Have fake as hell. Any, anytime. Let, let, let me explain something to you. Anytime you got a man that's going to tell you, I'm going to sell you some water. I'm going to sell you some water. And it, it, it's going to heal you. There's a bunch of fake ass hey, niggas, nigga. Hey, you ever sold drugs? <laughs> well, I, I don't want to put my hey, information hey, you out there. Sold dope, nigga. You sold crack rock before. I don't want to put my information out here right, on, so, on the so, phone. So, 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 man, whatever nigga hustle is, bro, you was ruining somebody's life when you was doing that. You ain't had no remorse for that. If a nigga come sell a nigga a glass of water and he buy it, nigga, how the hell is that hurting him? 
You sell niggas crack. You sell niggas mama crack. Do do uh, do 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 you yeah, have man, common you sense? Told a nigga mama crack rock. Nigga. Do 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 you have common sense? Do you have common sense? I have common sense, brother. If a nigga selling a glass of water and a nigga selling a crack rock, how in the hell you better than a nigga selling a cup of water? I, I, I know you drank bottled water before, so it's cool to buy it from somebody else. They wouldn't fake ass niggas, fake ass. Yeah, company, nigga, you but... drink water every day. <laughs> nigga just bought a water out the store. Nigga, a case of water out the store. Nigga, but this nigga's a hoe. Cause nigga, yeah, yeah come on, you don't man. know the science of water. <laughs> Nigga just baby just made him buy two cases of water at the motherfucking shop. Y'all nigga throw that man. Y'all nigga throw that. Hey, uh, shout out to Unscramble Mind Queens in the building. Uh, they shot of them was over here. They master teachers. They got a lot of Pan Africans out there. Ain't nobody hit the link. Some of you niggas can't come up here though. I swear to God, you niggas out there, little crew, daughters of the sea. Oh, shout out to uh, Sakina Ra, even though y'all be mean to me and unfair. You feel me? Oh, what that other one that I saw her in here earlier too. Oh, she the main one. Oh yeah, turn up though. Um, all right, flow open, man. What's up, first star chief of hey, the building? Turn- Nisha, motherfucking ass, with a mean ass. <laughs> chief of Chief, turn up. <laughs> How you doing, man? <laughs> hey, Top. Up? I'm going to go run and get a haircut, man. It was a pleasure talking to you again, brother. For sure, for sure. Come through anytime. We are, man. Time, uh, we're going to be out there in Vegas next year, man, because we, we're going down to the Grand Canyon. But we're going to be based in Vegas, man. So. Hey, uh, hey, be careful in that Grand Canyon, bro. <laughs> why you say that? Uh, why you say nah, that? They don't report a lot of them niggas be falling and shit all the time, bro. Oh, nah, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I didn't see it, nigga. I didn't been through work. I just fucked my feet up climbing the mountain. But hey, A1, get out of here. Nah, he, he right up under you. Hey, A1. You? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So, Mike, uh, just real quick before I got here, yeah, Mike, uh, I, used to, I was telling him yesterday, I used to uh, be signing a DTP Dev Jam, bro. They used to call me really North Pole. And if you watch my old videos, Mike is in all my old videos. You know, what Mike I'm from New York. Mike received from New yeah, York. Yeah, from New York. Yep, he, he moved to Arizona. Remember? Yeah. Yeah, when he's eighteen, that's my bro. Yeah, and he, like I said, he fucked with Red Pill, Blue Pill, um, nineteen keys, and all that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I ain't into that crowd, bro. I mean, I know that's his thing. He, Billy Carson and all that shit. You know, I'm, I fuck with bro Sanchez, Dan Holloway. I'm on that side of town. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, that's my brother. So it is what no, it is. No, no, that's a fact. That's a fact. Mike, we see your people, bro. Yeah. Definitely. You know, but, I did a lot, but, of, a lot of my workouts, a lot of, um, you know, the drop sets and all the stuff he be doing. Yeah. Like, I, I was I, on I his show. Uh, I was on his show, Transforming Willie, if you go watch it on his YouTube channel. I did eight episodes. Hold up, hold on, oh, oh, you the big brother. The one yeah. training. I'm the little brother. Yeah, I'm the little brother. <laughs> hold up, hold oh, on. Oh, oh. Now, you the one he was training. Yeah. The one he was doing this. Okay, yeah, I was wondering what happened to you. You the one you yeah, called right? That's me. I'm, I'm back in the studio, homie. I got a, uh, I got I got some artists and shit I'm working with. You know what I'm saying? And shit like that. So. <laughs> So, yeah. so you gonna help us push this Indian shit, then, huh? Man, so nigga, I am, did. nigga. I'm, bro. I'm happy. All right, then. All up. right, then. Goddamn, yeah, nigga. We want to turn up, nigga. We feel uh, like we happy. <laughs> so we got some, we got some Indians out there in Vegas. Like I say, man, we gonna have the West Coast car out there. Uh, um, Oregon, Nevada, uh, California. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, man. We are gonna have a lot of people come out there. Like I say, we be down there, man. In, in Phoenix, man. Uh. Oh, last year, man. That shit yeah, man, it's, it's my city, bro. Literally, bro. I'm from South Phoenix. But listen, I'm going to put my number in the chat for y'all, bro. A1. Yep. Yeah, have a good one, brother. All right, that's a bit. Appreciate you, homie. My nigga. Peace, peace. Freedom say drop the link. Freedom, you know we don't want no problem. We know you're an Indian, Freedom. What's up with the Chief of Chief? Turn up. Hey man, peace and power to you. Honors to the big chief, man. Uh peace and power to the panel. Peace, power, and love to the BCU fam. Everybody in the chat. Um shit, man. Just come and tap in, man. I ain't got too much uh going on, but I do want to say, man, you ain't gonna be able to get this 
this type put together, uh, bring us, these type niggas together, man. Uh, nowhere else, man. So hit the like button, share the video, man. He done had Dane on here, sign on here. And, and, and for any niggas from King Los on, on, on. So, yeah, I appreciate what you're doing, man. I'm, I'm just here to tap in, man. I ain't got shit going on. All right. Sister Freedom in the building. Peace. Hi. I came in. At first, I wasn't going to come in because it just seemed like there was some, I guess, some disturbing language concerning the HOK. Uh, somebody stating that we were degenerates, even if they knew what that even meant. Hi. I mean, everybody has their own opinion, but at the same time, Sai has a right to interview him. I don't know yeah, why. We don't, we don't have no. I don't know if you was here since the freedom. Did you see I over here today? I, I was over here earlier today. Yes, he was, and wasn't none of that the rudeness and all that. But right, you know. so 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 we heard right. Sai point, and we understand where he's coming from. So. Right. Yeah, right. we ain't we ain't on that. Now, now the brothers' opinions, you know, the views of the other people on the panel, that's their views, you know. But that's not the, the views of the host though. So I understand I that yes, but at the same time, to say that um, you know, to call names and all that, and people gonna kill him when he go there. What I just want to know what they're gonna kill him for. Ain't nobody oh, said you nobody talking about polite. What you talking about? You talking about polite? Hold on. They just talking about prison politics, straight, mama. I don't want they just talk about don't prison politics. Ain't nobody saying. Okay, well I know how. Wait a minute. I know how. If I'm wrong, to straighten myself out, beat him up. Okay. Is that a better word for you? No, ain't nobody going to do nothing. To nobody. Ain't nobody out here. No, you talking either. about polite? Uh, it, no, are you talking about polite, mom? Yes. Oh, oh yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We said it. Polite don't get fucked up when he get to jail. Yeah, That's but I'm, I'm asking, what would they be getting? What would he give? Them? What I'm asking. I'm well, we asking. talk. We talk mm -hmm. about prison politics, sister. sister. What you mean? Yeah, oh, so you? About the oh, oh, real, oh, real, oh, oh, real quick. You just came on and said the house is degenerate. So now you taking up for That's degenerate. not what I said. No. So and why are you even worry about polite? Why are you, why are you yelling? Can I hey, ask? Relax, okay. relax, relax, big bro. We good. We good. I need to ask. First of all. Yeah. Stop. It's not doing nothing for me. So stop. What I'm asking is when a person came on, I don't know who it was, they were saying everybody over there degenerates. That's incorrect. That's A1, a tauntiness one. That's a tauntiness uh -huh. one. Make sure you, 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 I don't it's know a tauntiness one. You call me A1. Call me a Hanu. You call me a Hanu L. Okay. That's what well, I don't I know said. what it is, but how whatever it is, I you know I'm not arguing with you or anything, but I just think that that's nice to meet you, sis. <laughs> nice to meet you as well. All but right. you know, you can't put everybody in the same category. It's just like you don't know everybody you think you know. You understand what I'm saying? People you know for years. If if Top knew me for years and we can know each other now, and something happened in my life, right? And he has the opportunity to interview me. I think Top Cat should have the right to do it. He comes on Unscramble Minds. Let me finish, please. He comes on Unscramble Minds. He's he's uh, um, uh, he's with the Unscramble Mind. He deal with us. So if something was going on that was serious, and I, he had the opportunity to interview me. He want to know. I know freedom. I want to know what's going down. He has the right to want to know what's going down. He's been knowing me. He's been talking to me. He wants to know. He, I mean, I don't see what the big difference is. I'm about what people think they know, they probably don't know. And no, I'm not taking up for anybody, but I am going to take up for Sinetta, and I am going to take up for HOK. But what I am saying, we don't know, so why can't we just wait until this man has is in the interview so we can see what's going on? We, you know, us as a people, you know, as we tell me our own worst enemy. Polite is an African. Polite is an African. Polite. Polite is an African. Polite is not my people. You seem to say what? We all are. No, we not. We not African. You may be an African or pretend to be an African. We not African, Switch this. Okay, before we get to that, though, I am. I am. I am a Carlton. Hey. Yes, Top Cat does know my family. Yes, I will probably be considered indigenous cities lands, but also African. I'm also Bro, African. we are African. Yeah, Since we're not, my say it one more time to you. No, if you no, want to be African, you be African. African. Stop telling us who we are. We're not Africans. I'm, well, let me, Sorry, let me say not. this. I said me. I don't know if you... 
I don't want to. Nah, nah, nah. I'll say this here. Uh, they, yeah. they, 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 they getting it to, uh, you know, they understand, I, you know. So she, like you say, she knows she have indigenous family. But she I, also I, believes that she has uh, African. So we'll just leave it at that. But no, I said I, I have also have African people right. in my family because we get our DNA, of course. Right. But what I'm saying is, it, it's what's in your heart that makes you who you are anyway. Okay? It's what's in your heart that makes you who you are. I'm just saying it's enough division between us than for us to just down each other. Yeah, but let me say this though, Sister Freedom. Um, yes. Y'all, y'all, do y'all, y'all be telling them Pan Africans that when they was trying to just get down on my boy the other day when he was on. on I was knowing that day because now, you know, I know, but you weren't there, and I know you're a moderator over there, and I know y'all ride for Sa. Um, no, for I, I yes, I do ride for so, Sa, and well, I do I say this here though when they try to I get also, down. I'm also fond of you as well. Which now, you I are, understand. I know. I know y'all the fam. Um, but I'm gonna say this here though. Uh, uh, but they tried to get down on my boy over there the other day. Ooh, y'all ain't tell know. them they no. all get along and none of that. I, you know? I would have definitely. But so who right now, know. right now, um, I mean, what's going on over there? We don't have anything to do with it. Exactly. You know? And That's so, true. and so, I think it's more so that conversation of getting along should go over there because we everyone. I mean, I right, but divided. I think we all should try to get along. But everyone. I think we should we should deal with the people who want to deal with us. So say like we understand so. your okay. position, unscramble my position. Well, I'm a mother. We okay I'm with mother. that, and we still we know we and, and we found a balance with it, a way that they can work. So we yeah. okay with that, and we open to that. But some people don't want to, you know, get along. So, well. so we but, have to be warriors, and, and and so you know that's when that's when the warrior come out. I understand. Well, shit. I don't know if that's warriors or just people that want to fight. I mean, you know. Well, yeah. We but no, what you it. said, my bad, brother. But what you said was important because that's why I came in with the introduction I did. Because anybody can come over here before it get to war. It's always peace. Besides yeah. the people who they coming for that. But yeah. the brother had Sinetter over here and Dane at the same yes, time. Yes, he did, and, and that was connecting. One. You know what I'm saying? Connecting the paradigm. So I, that's I do great. agree with with that with with that point and with what he's saying. The talk should be more of that when we go on that side of the of the line, you know what I'm saying? Because right. we lead with peace unless it's wartime. And right. I would, another thing, like people have stuff going on. Everybody entitled to their opinions. That's correct. The fact of the matter is, you know, Sinetter, he not the one with the case. That's it, right, baby. Guilty as far as association or whatever come out. But we gotta we gotta be righteous judges at the end of the day. But people are entitled to their opinions. And this I'm is, not saying uh, that people don't have so. they have right to their opinion. But I, right. I do think that you shouldn't come and call everybody that's over there in uh, you know bad names and things of that nature. Because I don't agree with a person, don't mean they have to be bad names. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what brings us away from each other. I don't yeah. think that we should do that to each other. If I got a problem or you got a problem with me, you know what I'm saying? You can say I, we can agree to disagree, but I don't got to call you out your name. You know what I'm saying? I, I just you. want us to find peace in this because too many people that's watching us that's still saying that we can't, we still acting like animals doing this and doing that and doing this and doing that. Well, I'm, I'm glad just, that you was able to find out, or not to cut you off, my bad, but you know, you, you claim you're African, but I, you understand that you I got did not say that, too. Please that's please. good. Yeah, I'm sorry. Let me um my phone. Sakina, I'm gonna hang you up a book because you on there anyway. But what I'm saying is um um I didn't what say daughters that. of the sea is. Was, what what time is it over here? Hey, daughters of the sea. She in the she on the um phone job too. Tell Not, her to come up she, here. Okay. Oh, you 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 know I'm the nice one. Yeah, you do know I'm the nice one. Yeah, yes, ma'am. You don't want none of that. Tell her I'm gonna be nice. Okay, but she probably can hear you. But um, what daughters of the sea? What's up? She get she I, you, you on the phone with them? I just hung Sakina up because it was it was okay, making okay. sense. Okay, uh, Kina could have came up and spoke. She up uh, they in they in the chat. Up, I see Instagram. all y'all little boyfriends. I see all y'all little Myra's coming in. <laughs> <laughs> and shit. I, I think Lex ran. Like, I think they Lex ran. That laugh is very familiar to me. I know that ain't who I think it is. Who who you think that is? With the it it this this bizzle this bizzle oh no. you know what 
You know what? Okay. So so you know this nigga, the nigga that was talking about nigga selling water. That's that's your homeboy. Who he beat him? That's my boy. Was that the nigga that was going out earlier? Somebody <laughs> So bad. Y'all be good. That's all I'm gonna say. I love to see my brothers getting along. I know. But look, but look, but look, 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 let me ask you. Let me ask you, Sister Freedom. Yeah. Can you tell the world mm-hmm. while we talking right now, right? Like we breaking down information. Can you tell the world when July seventh happened and polite get locked up? What What are you gonna say? Well, what I am going to say is that's really bad what he did. If he did something that's really bad, that's between him, the universe, and what he got to deal with when he get there. And you know consequences. And she walked with karma, walked with a switch. You already know that. For every action, there's a reaction. But, 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 but my, 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 thing, my thing is this. Why, why, why don't you say nothing right now? Why don't you say this right now? You, are you are you scared? You no, scared? Politics, though, bro. You know what I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let y'all be. Go ahead, go ahead, sister. I, I don't know which one said politics, but um, you know what I'm saying is, did you say I'm a Taurus? How am I scared? Like never. No, I'm just on. I'm, I'm on a panel with men. Okay, I gotta watch what I say and how I carry myself. And no, I'm not scared. No. What I am is Muslim. And what I am is not going to be disrespectful to the brothers and the kings and the men on this panel. But I when you're in the streets and you get charged with, with uh, uh, snitching or you locked up, the first thing, or you go in there, the first thing niggas do is check the paperwork. Yeah, but you know it's what? You can also no, I'm, I'm not going against you, sister. My bad. I'm just stating my opinion. I just don't I want to put words in my mouth or think it's no, coming No, right. I, I, I'm kind of agreeing. Truly, I'm not concerned about polite situation. Yeah, be. same. Me either. At the Brutal, end of the day, you know what I mean? well, he um, brought the question yeah. up, so I just wanted to say, yeah. at the end of the day, you know, like I say, people entitled to their opinion, bro. Right. The seventh is the seventh, and niggas will be able to stand on whatever they need to stand that's on. What I'm after talking that. About. If you see the paperwork, if it is what it is, I just don't like how you feel, that's cool. But that's somebody else did. Yeah, don't, don't nobody. Well, in my case, for sure, and I, I feel what you're saying. In my case, I'm not really trying to pick sides or speak on it too much right, right. until the, the facts is the facts, bro. Um, yeah, we just not me picking sides or nothing. That's me being a street 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 street. We still all going to be cool with, with Sinetta, so why talk down about him? You know what I'm saying? When we all going to be cool with him after all this is over with. Well, you don't, we don't know if everybody this. will, though. That's why I'm saying it's important. That's why I keep saying people entitled to their opinion because with, these, right. with this type, look, sister, with this type of shit, how heavy these charges is, and with somebody that was a pillar in the community, so-called country right. community, that is niggas. But people have the right to talk about that because that's something. I'm not saying that they don't. I you never said that they don't talk about them. Cuss them out. Talk about. I just don't like other people to be held accountable for what somebody else did. I hope that makes clear. I can dig that. Yeah, no, I can dig that. You know what I'm saying? I don't hold somebody else because you know all of us came into contact with each other I think because probably of a, a, a big portion of us because of Sonetta you know what I'm Man, saying where I come from bro if a nigga name ain't in that paperwork or on that paperwork you feel what I'm saying then that's not his case I know somebody this. snitching in the street or in there and his name on there and they did that that's what it's on now I know backlash gonna come back to the people that's around them but that's why I think, you know, most people wait until the seventh and, and shit like that. It is, it right. is something big in the community, bro. It is big. And right. that's one of the worst things that you can do is fucking with these kids, bro. So, right. in you know, some capacity, it's, it's just, because yeah. we know it wasn't rape, then some capacity, but we do know that he was not charged with rape, okay? Or a statutory rape or a molest. I don't know about the, the last part. No, but. no, no, so what no. About no. Wait, wait, wait. Mama, what about the DNA? Um, what he what if, what he nutted? What the fuck he got? What yeah, you can't wrong? get past that. Nigga, the well, nut. Well, from the papers, from what I'm seeing, from what the papers were saying, you did you see? I don't know if if the gentleman, if y'all all seen on um Garfield, I think had the papers, and it did show at the bottom he was not charged with rape. So well, they, lowered I, the case. Know, they lowered the charge because of a plea. 
I think that's what they not never, never ever, never, never. If you rape somebody, you're well, I say this here. Work. I say this here. Even if he, even if he didn't take it, he fucked. Yeah, Obviously, he right. fucked. He, he, right. he nutted. He bust. He had to overstand that. Even if I'm it was saying, consensual. Mm -hmm. I do understand that, but um, a child can't consent. That's right. I agree. I agree, and and that's in state law as well. If you are of a certain age, it don't matter. Even if it's consensual, they still gonna give you the R for it. Facts <laughs> and universal law, though. Top, you fucking right. A child can't consent, but I want to go ahead, Rob. I want you to finish this. No, I'm just saying, and just to let your brothers know, because I gotta let um my little sister speak, um. What I'm what I'm saying is tonight we are gonna have Jane Elliott. If y'all know about Jane Elliott, any everybody know about the blue eye, brown eye experiment that she did years ago. It was a wonderful experiment. I hope y'all come and join us, Top Cats. I think you and Beasley y'all know about it, but um come and join us tonight on Unscrambled Minds. It yeah, I know y'all gonna it. let me ask some questions. Absolutely. I want to ask her if she ever mind, she's too. 90, so we always oh, have Oh, okay. All right. So I, was ask, I, she ever <laughs> took a I was going to ask her if she ever took a BBC. Uh, she be riding for black people that much. I'm trying to figure out, yeah, hey, you what you got to hold to some of that black power or something before. I know what you're about. You, you better behave yourself. <laughs> I, I ain't going to ask you then. You're going to be good. Now. That's what I'm going to say. You I would ask her. I'm going to leave you I would ask her. I don't think I'm wrong with that. Don't you oh, ask her how she took that BBC? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I would find an, a creative way to ask her, but I would right, ask her. Right, right, right. Yeah, straight she up. She said straight up. She, she made a career been, out of being square uh, business and straight up. I might have to come. I might have to uh, put emphasis on it. Yeah, yeah just ask her straight up. Just find a decent way to ask her, but I would ask her. What you think? If Akina, you why would you make talk of this? No, that's not a, a wrong. Listen to me. One reason is because she. I got a couple of questions to ask, her and I've, I've I've searched her. We did some research on it, so it's not. It's a decent way to ask her, and it's nothing wrong with asking her. But you got to ask her decent. I remember I did comedy, so it's a, it's a way you can do everything. But it's a it's decent right, way to right. It ain't Absolutely. what you say; it's how you say it. That's why I think how you should ask her straight up, though, sister. And a nice low smooth tone. Excuse me, have you ever uh <laughs> you know, walk on the forward. black side? Have don't you ever walked on the black side? <laughs> no, no, don't do that. You hey, know what I mean. Hey, real hey, quick. Now hold on. You, hey, did I hear you say you was a uh a, a, a comic? Yeah, she's yeah. a professional comedian. Get out of here. Tell us a joke. Life. Okay. Life. <laughs> I got to laugh across the road. <laughs> hey yeah, sis, real quick, real you, quick. Hey daughters, no. hold on, y'all. Daughters of the city trying to come up here and oh. get next to Top Cat, get next to the big. Well, you better come school up. up. I believe the brother had a question. Y'all not giving him the opportunity, skull and bones, to speak. <laughs> I don't on, even know his name. Hey, what? She kind of close to you in Virginia. She ain't too far. Uh, he, you better watch out, Gordon, because he said he's looking for a wife. Stella oh, Bones, yeah. come on. Hey, hold on. First <laughs> off, we're going to let Daughters of the Sea come up. Uh, we got room for one more. So uh, let the sister come up. Uh, 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 so I dropped the link down there for her. So, but wait a minute. Okay, so he got a different little icon now. So can so he she don't have to tell a joke. Who? After okay, after you finish. Wait a minute, let me free. tell you one for. Right, right, right. After you finish okay. flirting with this, anyone, oh, tell she want to show he got she had uh, charisma. So tell him. She don't want to tell a joke unless she get paid. Look, she don't want to tell a joke unless she get paid. Listen, well, you know what? Honestly, I don't even write jokes. I just, I just go with the flow. So I, I'll figure out something. Don't worry about it. Oh, you just okay. like hiking, right? You, you just like hiking, right? I like hiking too, so you already know we we there we do it up. We've been hiking since Ooh, fucking kindergarten. Yeah. But now, nah, real Come quick on, though, bro. real on a, on another note, on another note though, as far okay. as what we was talking about, polite, right? Don't defend that man, because if I you would defend never him defend and that man come in, I made no, that I'm, clear. I'm, I'm, I'm not just sis, respectfully, respectfully. Yes. You my sister. Let me ask yes. you a question, right? Where where yes. your people from? Where your people well, from, sis? King William County, my people are from King William County, Virginia, and they're also from Richmond, Virginia. I'm a Quarles. Oh, 
So okay. So have you ever family. have you ever heard you had Indian in your family? Absolutely. I'm a quarrel. Have any? Okay. So so okay. You well, never I heard. Mean, any, you never hey, heard none on, of your Dash, ass. Come on, Dash. I'm waiting on you. My bad. They want Dash. Come on. No, you bring good. Your ass on here. You never. Yes, you never indeed, heard I none of your ancestors been. saying that y'all was from Africa, right? Um, honestly, honestly, I'm gonna be honest. Um, on, gra on grandma now, on grandma now, come on. My family, um, like I said, we have Nigerian um, descent as well. How do you know they got Nigerian? I just want to. He did the DNA. Oh, of oh we don't, we don't believe. We I don't understand that, but I can't. But I can't. I, I, do I, I do understand. Well, let's just say well, outside of that. DNA, sister, from your family. That's right. Well, my okay. genealogy, um, going back from you know da da da. No, I, I don't know where I would have you know, but I do believe it because of how I am. I was okay, always. You, let me keep you it believe real. What? Oh, you believe what? You're African or you're a crow? I can believe. Let me say this from how I am, like I never could understand why I was so so interested. Like, you don't, you've never seen my home, but I have a whole setup of, of what you would call I, I don't want to be disrespectful, but black Indians. Okay. And I know that, you know, I, I would be so interested that every time I would see a little black Indian die, I would get it and just started a whole collection. I mean, like a beautiful collection. Right. And but if you if you come in my house, it looks like you inviting hold on, are you inviting me to your house? Well, I mean you can well, I'll put my email in the back. I mean you invite you say if I come or I want to come, I'm gonna put my um, email in the back. Oh uh nah look at you like oh I can't uh -oh, do it. I'm a god. I'm a, I'm a god. I definitely can deal with a goddess. I know I can definitely deal with a goddess. Hey, how much you say you squatting, hey, what? I'm proud to be. Nah, no, he said I got a bad back. 405, nigga. Yeah, and I got a bad back. I don't do much later. I know that I have the back. <laughs> he don't do much later. Hey, daughters of the, 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 the sea. Can you tell your sister, daughters of the sea, to come, to get up here? She is hey, in there. Y'all hold up right quick, y'all. Let me let uh let the lady on get a room for the lady to come on. She been I trying to get say, up um, here. Um hey, how long y'all that just coming up? The link down there for daughters of the sea for dice. So I everybody pause that I look at us and don't I see I it's hard for me to see, you know, when I look at us, I never want to sound disrespectful. Because when I look at, have y'all ever been somewhere and you know that person's an African and you know that person's from Jamaica and you know that person's, you know what I'm saying? I know that and about you, Indians though, for sure, sis. That's why yeah, we yeah. just asked you what we asked you. I can look at your face and tell you ain't no African. You never been to Africa. No, you ain't got no African ancestors. I want to go though. I really would like to. Hey, look, and hey, I, A1, and she just said that she only found that out through DNA, not through her family. Respect. Let, hey, let me say hey, this respectfully. Now go go ahead, talk. Go ahead. Hey y'all, they coming. They coming to Mexico too with us uh, this year. So, Turn oh, up, homecoming. Oh. Okay, well let me ask a question right quick, and, Thanks and for being honest, though, you sister. can answer this. So, um, the the Mesopotamia is is honestly where Indianus Valley started, or in the Indianus people actually came from. Correct. Where that say? Where where I don't, you said? I, uh, <laughs> don't see it so I, I don't believe so. Um, and the reason why I can pull it up and show you that Thank they you, Dustin, recently found those sites in the in the 1930s. So mm -hmm. uh, those were considered uh, those sites in the 1930s. So I, I uh, no different than Israel in the 1940s. So a lot of these sites that they're saying these ancient places and the cradle civilization in the first. Well, they're just now finding these in the twentieth century. So, all recent, yep. Now, nah, I, I don't believe that. that hey, let, hey, let me let me say, hey, hey, sis, let me let me let me get say this right. I ain't gonna be long winded, right? And oh, no dis no disrespect to any Africans, right? But right. outside of Africa, the the best thing Africa has is the bone in the nose and the plate in the lips, and the fact that most of the people wow. lead there. Look, look, hold on, let, let me get finished. Look, look, and the fact that most of the people leave africa to learn the science of the americas 
See, the European took the inventions and the science that we had here and put them in curriculums and put them in universities. And now all of the people around the world go to these universities to learn about the American gods. There's nothing in Africa, bro. Your people invented the car, the refrigerator, the stove, the toilet, the helicopter, and it, the list goes on and on and on. Look Africa at one some things too, but let me no, ask but you. Af Africans is not the, the gods like we are. We the gods. Can I ask you a question? This is Go something ahead, that's been on my mind. I wanted to ask um, mm -hmm. um, Jabari. I've been wanting to ask Chris. I've been wanting to ask uh, this one question. How long do you have to be in America to be indigenous to these lands? Now, I'm going to tell you why I'm saying that. Because um, if, if, if my family goes back so far, right, that I don't know where in the beginning of them, you see what I'm saying? How long do you have, even if, even if somehow they're saying that you originated from Africa, how long do you have to be on these lands before you have to start, before you can say that I'm indigenous to these lands? If but we you will never be an American. You will always be a United States That's citizen. what I'm about to say. I think it's about the blood. You will never, right. so only only that. Americans are here. I now, let me just, I want to just clarify this when before you go into American. Most people, listen, the majority of people here are part of the United States. Thank you. None of them are Americans. To be an American, you yeah, have to be on. the aboriginals or copper color races found here. You can't come from nowhere else hey, to hey, claim one. no wheels. Hey, one, oh, hey, hey, one of her homegirls in the chat said, "Hey, what, you better watch out because her she got a she got a beautiful house and she fine. So you better watch uh, out. So everything yeah, go. It's a green life. Like, yeah, everything yeah, go. Yeah, them, that, them, that, they moderators in Sinead and all of the Pan African chats. All them niggas over there like them. Uh, yeah, so you better watch out. Don't tell me Aboriginal didn't warn on them. Yeah, they done been like, Ooh, the pan no, gonna be mad. The Hebrews just, gonna be mad. They want to have a yeah, 500 years, 600 people. years. I mean, how many years before you can say I'm no, original to these lands? You will never, you could be here for a thousand years and you could never be an American. To be an American, you have to be in a time time. See, most of these continents, right? Most of the continents, but hold where on, the, A1, what she's saying is she, she want to ask Jabari and them, like. Oh, I mean, oh, yeah, okay. you have to have, have, mean, how long do you have to be here before you are considered indigenous? Like, yeah, they don't, like, know, I mean, they really? don't have a connection with Africa. Like, they don't know. No, because what, everybody here is native. Like I said, if you're a native of Indian, then you're a native of uh, a native African. You're a native Mexican. You're you a mean, everybody like being native. born, like just being born here. No, because no, nobody I'm, in America is from America. Everybody we are. We from America. We are Chachas. That's a fallacy. That just means that you were first here. Nah, uh, nah, 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 nah. Nobody, nobody was in America. Nobody was here first. America. That, everybody that's who told? Who, wait, hold on, real, real quick, real quick, respectfully. Where did yeah, you get yeah. that from? Where did you get that from? Everybody that was no. Africa, where did you get that from? Tell me your source on where you got. You go ahead, go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. Trying go ahead. to tell you now. Go ahead, even go ahead. even through Europe, when it, when when the first European were the first indigenous people, I'm gonna say that way because even my mom had Indian in her. So even then, you came through Europe. You came through Turkey to mm. come to America. Yeah. Well, you was, know in the Middle East, do you uh, let me let me just tell you something because I heard you, you mention ahead, Mesopotamia, right? Okay, Mesopotamia yeah. is in America. The Sumerians was here. The Sumerians was in Peru in Kuga Key. Okay, now when you saying that now what well, well, listen look, 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 let me just say this. My name is the Atonchinist one. Atonchine is one who sprung from, from, from the, the soil. soil. So now look. Even if you came here, let, let's say you came from China, right? Your mother Chinese and your father Chinese. You will never be able to spring from the soil unless you have a child by Aboriginal person. So no matter how many years they was here, the minerals and the physical, I mean, the minerals and the composition within the elements of this land is what created us. So we've been here from time of existence. From China to here? No, not from China. No, 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 no. So are, is she saying that America was never populated until, or is that what you're saying? That the That's land of America like. had no people here? 
Right. The one right. part, if, no if one part this, this all was one piece until it separated. No, I don't believe in that no, neither. It's okay. water. See, we, we can't go on what you believe. I mean, they can't prove Everybody it. The water, the land still connected, sis. It's just water that exceeds the land. The land. Uh, if we if we were to suck all the water out of out of the oceans, we can walk to freaking Australia. So the lands are still connected. I don't know. Um, it don't, it just don't make no sense to me that me, every me, other real quick. I'm gonna let you go, sense. sister. My bad. I just it just don't make let no me sense. Get that, sense out of nonsense. We are not all the same, but yet all the same. Right now, let me. That, my bad, sister. I'm, I'm the reason why I'm no, you saying go ahead. that. The reason why I'm saying that is because there are different tribes all over the world. Now, I always right. tell my kids, Mama Nature just threw a bunch of seeds all over the world and we just sprouted out. Now, Sometimes exactly. At that point that you're making right there, at that point that you're making, how can every other place be populated with an indigenous people except America? Why do America have to be populated from I'm everything not, that's outside? That's exactly of what I'm saying as well. Right. right. America, okay. America, one, it's been proven that her waters and her land is the oldest, and and, and stories and in talk that science. shit, man. Talk that I motherfucking know. shit, and nigga. At the end of the oh, day, I didn't know that. people like the people also, which come to the lecture on Saturday. Top Cat having a lecture, of, uh, Bloodline of the Gods four, where he's going to connect all these flies. things. What is it? Seven hundred and sixty. Seven hundred and sixty flies. Seven hundred and sixty. Six hundred. It's seven hundred. You're right. That is and, nice. And, he, and he's going to connect. I, I, he's going to connect up the stuff all well, of no. this information is very very it must be because this has become the most popular talk here lately you well know because I mean? the truth because the truth the come truth got to come out what is that let's, let's talk fact. about mama what has become popular lately this this american indian shit this american aboriginal shit don't call it don't speak bad about it though this no is no not no i ain't speaking bad about it i'm an indian baby i'm an indian but it's not sh it's important it's yeah, really yeah, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma but people, I'm, yeah, I'm an Indian. Trying though. to figure out who we are and where we came from. That's what makes this very, very important. And that's why, exactly. since when you come over here, listen, that's why when you come over here, we are the experts on this information. So, right. what you heard over there from the Africans, that shit doesn't apply with us. But so, they, it, no, wait, 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 sis, 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 relax, relax. What I'm telling you is this, right? What I'm telling you is this. We are the experts when it comes to talking about what we're talking about. None of, none of them are the experts. So right now you're learning, but you're still fighting back. You need to get a pen, get a pad, and take notes. And be a stoop. Or be a scholar. Be a scholar. I'm, I'm not, sis, I'm not, I, hey, listen, hey, I'm, I'm hey, keeping hey, it a buck. They say she can cook too. She know how to smother it. Don't worry, I can cook. No, I mean, you already it. know, man. I cook oh, yeah, for all my ladies. Chef, well, I, I cook crazy, for all my ladies. Chef, so you can't, you can't even cook for him. He, he, he gonna cook for you. You all right, watch this here. A1. A1. Mm -hmm. Hold on, look at this real quick, sister. A little bit more gentle when you're talking to me, baby. Exactly. I'm, not, I'm, a, I'm a sad, I'm a fire sign. I'm sorry. Hold on, fire sign. First of all, one, we were excited about Sunday. That never happened because we were all going to be in talk attendance talk. for that talk class that with the 50, with the 50 uh, uh, PowerPoints. It and we were busy. all with it pen and paper and ready. It was so 490. The class didn't happen. So we were ready for that. And we right. had well, I was out of town. town. I was out of town. Yeah. So, and so um that, that part didn't happen. And so we were willing to learn and ready to learn. And so we well, were still, open still be that way. Thank you, Open the Knowledge, for that, that worry right here. Um, I hate to borrow your name like that, but I needed it. So we were open for the knowledge for that point. So we are here to learn. So um, we're not trying yeah, to but go there's other classes. If the class line. didn't happen Sunday, there's uh -huh. other lessons that this no, man has put out there. Lessons. Not we sister, want, sister, sister respectfully. Re sis, 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 respectfully. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not trying to talk over you. And okay. I'm, I'm trying to put my fire out. Oh, let me put my okay. fire out a little bit. Yeah, what I'm telling, really what I'm telling you, mm -hmm. what I'm telling you is this, right? You have no idea how important America is. Now, the whole reason why they teaching you this, what is the European story? When they came to America, the Indians here was too primitive to hold the land, so they took the land from them. That's a freaking lie. 
We had builders, we had pyramids, we had all types of te technology structures in America already. So they don't want y'all to know that. I, anything that's in Africa cannot uh, cannot compare to the Americas. More 80% of the food come from the Americas. I don't know what the percentage of the water that comes from Canada into the five different um rivers or um yeah the five different rivers that is the the largest water suppliers in the world and the so oldest you know, the one you talking about in Canada it's the oldest yeah place. you don't know nothing about the you thinking you you talking about some niggas talking about bones in the nose and plates in the lips and we talking about the gods we had look look, look we had social security. 3,000 years ago. We had disability 3,000 years ago. We was doing brain surgery with obsidian sculptures. sculptures. I mean, scapples. I'm sorry. Scapples <laughs> 3,000 years ago. And all of this is new to us because this just became part of our consciousness maybe a year ago or less. We the gods over here. Yeah, you that's the, the, that's the, the reason. That's the reason that they took all the guys. Yeah, you never no slave. Look, your people ain't come from no goddamn slaves. Okay, the white people. Wait, real quick, real, oh, real, real quick. The white man did not do what he told you he did, cause the white man was the slave here. And if you look in your genealogy, you'll find out that some of your ancestors owned them. And that's why we appreciate Top Cat and you guys for bringing this to our attention, and we're trying to learn from you guys. Right, 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 this is right. Uh, to nah, me. I, I always wanted to learn more of this. And and um, a on, let me start right here, Mama. Let me start let me right here. Yeah. She okay. brought out the Indus civilization. And I'm I'm gonna tell you this was this why I said I didn't agree with it. So right here, the Indus Valley. This the same place you was talking about, right? See? Yes. Okay. So they said um, now. They identified they first identified this in 1921. So mm -hmm. that was the problem because you taking me back to 2500 1700 BCE, but you ain't figured this shit out until 1921. What happened in the 1700s, the 1800s, the 1600s? Well, if this the oldest place in civilization known to man, how did how did you lose contact with it? And and you know, so um 19th what's the date on that? Oh, what's the date for that being the largest um or the oldest civilization? Um, they have <clears> twenty five. <throat> this civilization appeared by twenty five hundred to seventeen hundred BCE. All right, so B so all right, so seventeen hundred BCE, right? That will go what? That will go all the way up until seventeen hundred two thousand twenty three. So that's what thirty thirty seven hundred and like. A little left over. That's like thirty seven hundred years, right? Yeah, that, that damn near four thousand plus. But yeah, right. the chinchilla mummies, the chinchilla mummies that got locks all the way down to their feet that was found in Peru go back over eight thousand years. And we yeah, have right here at the other site right here, which they didn't I... discover until nineteen twenty two. Um. So this is why, and this is the 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 main one, the Rafa. This the uh, main one that they talked about. So that's why I don't. He go um, shots to that. Then we're going to Egypt, but we we'll, we'll get out of there. We'll, uh and that ain't got nothing to do with the slide that's coming. That uh, oh, let me let me ask you a question about the Hindu. The um it, those people were there, and they always say that they actually have the oldest way of life. Like the oldest religion, do y'all ever? Um, uh, they're considered Indians too. Uh, nah. Um, no. I, I deal with that. Um, um, damn, wait, this is the wrong one. Um, that didn't become. Go ahead, brother. Yep. Wait, that was the wrong one because I uh, see that was an old one. That one only had six hundred slides on them, motherfucker. My other one. I wanted to show them because they said they missed the class. So I wanted to show them that we really working. We got. No, I know you class. working. I oh, was just be there Saturday. I just want Saturday. Lucci Elagracci. <laughs> be there Saturday. Let me take the time down. down. I'm not hyped. I just need him to know. Look what the wind that blew in. 
Yes. Harlem. Harlem, New York. Is that my behavior? You know what? You know, you know what podcast I swear. But you yes, know, here I been talking about you guys. I wasn't going to say, but since A1 and all of them, they Call jumped. My name all in it. Like, you know, yeah, 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 girl, I'm here. Spy. You from Harlem. I, I'm here. here. All day. All day. You tough, right? Hi, y'all. How y'all doing? Peace to the chat. Peace to you. Peace to the chat. Peace to the goddess. Hey, can uh, I we had Harlem. We had uh, uh, Sarnetta on early, right before Harlem. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, yeah. so oh, wait a minute. Okay. Hey, are you a Moor? Because you got the last name L. Are you a Moor? Yeah, I'm a Moor. Okay. You mm -hmm. in the Moors? To me? Uh huh. Oh, definitely. My mom's oh, like Mexico. What, Mexico. What is a Moor, though? I mean, what, what's a Moor? Hey, let me say one thing on this Hindu Hindu thing she brought up, and then I'm going to fall back. All right, turn it, turn it. So we understand that Hindustan over there didn't become India until the 20th century. That's one thing. Okay. okay. And then two, if you look at the the serpents and the, the pyramids and things over there, uh, take this note, and you can go look it up. Um, they, oh. claim that, they claim that they people... It's a story that says that the Mayans and the people from Central and uh, parts of South America or Central America left here and went over there, and that's how they got the the Nagas and the the, the and all that type stuff. That they were civilized or colonized, however you want to say it, by the Mayans, as far as the the Hindu Hindu things over there. Now you can check into that. That's that's something that I ran across before, so I wanted to share that. But go thank ahead. you. Thank you. I'm learning. I'm telling you, I am really learning. I just don't like it when the brothers get to arguing with each other instead of learning from each other. And I believe Amor is an, a Muslim. Uh, El, so I don't know if you um, practice Islam at all, but yeah, that part. Oh, so you ain't a Muslim man. No, I didn't say that either. Okay. I, I, you said I you a Muslim though, ain't it? Yeah, I came up under Islam. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, but um, my mom is. Ah, the Dosi, Dosi says she bringing her traveling papers to Mexico. Dosi, we don't need you to go to jail. You need to come in there with your license, your social security card, and ID, and and uh, yeah, don't go in there. We ain't doing that I paperwork shit. They do man, people. they gonna keep. They gonna ice gonna come pick up. Nah, man, Dosi, you gonna fuck the trip up. Uh, no. Dots, you, yeah, coming, don't say that to my dots you coming out to Mexico? You coming to uh pyramid tour? You know when when are you guys going to that? November. Because I I lived in Mexico at one time. Um, yeah. You had a Mexican man. You in the Mexican guy? Listen, I'm, I I lived in Mexico when I was in um university, right? And I did my my study abroad for that semester. Um, yeah, in Mexico, Cuernavaca, Mexico. So I'm I'm kind. Con if you're talking we about, we might need you for uh, to help translate. Then it's a you know, but. Uh, the pyramid tour that you're talking about is, is that going to be in Mexico City? Now we're gonna go to uh to Cancun. We're gonna be stationed in Cancun, and we're gonna ride out to uh, Chichen Itza. Okay, got you, got you. Because the indie, the the real talk, I feel like. All right, let me just say this. Preface by saying, okay, that you already know. Like so, on unscrambled minds, right? There's different ladies up there that make up our sister group, but we all think quite differently. You know, and I know that sometimes it's very easy for us to to y'all, you all, y'all, you all, y'all, you know. And so when we are expressing our thoughts, well, let me see for me, when I'm expressing like my sentiments in the moment or what I believe or what have you, that represents only me. That does not, I'm not speaking for freedom. I'm not speaking for Dulcie. I'm not speaking for Sakina. I'm not speaking for Nisha, if that makes sense. Because yeah. I have, you know, and especially with this identity thing, I think a little bit differently, right? I said to you before that I think one of the best inheritance, inheritances that we can leave for our babies, for the next generation, is knowing who you are, is your identity, being able to be raised up in that with a very clear frame of mind. Because when you don't have that, that's in my, what leads to a lot of the confusion. So I've never personally been interested, and I'm still not, in trying to change another person's belief, right? Because I can't do that. It's something that someone believes in. OK. And so if I get stuck there, that's not my interest. Right. And I, if, if this is edifying your soul. Right. If you're really clear about your self-identity, who cares? Like, like rock out. That's amazing. 
But even if we're claiming indigenous, right, we know that that's still a very blanket term, right? There were several indigenous right. tribes, you gotta, several you have indigenous to know your nation. Right. 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 We can't, right. I, I can't just be coming and culture swagger jacking your shit. Right, I'm right. A, we, that's why we go by bloodline, mama. That's why right. our that's game right. is you can only be who your mother and father are. So that's mm-hmm. that's, that's the rules to how how we play. That's right. Because that's we right. want to it. get down to it. We don't. For years, we've been given identities by these doctrines or these master teachers mm-hmm. or these priests or these people that have come before us. Um, but really, in actuality, at, at home in our house, those are the people who know us. That's who we come from. Mm-hmm. So yep. how yep. in the hell they not gonna know who they are? So we've been tricked, either been society, either been through education system, or or we bought into revolutionary movements and different things like this. When the whole time at home, our, our parents or grandparents, or family family reunions, we driving out to the damn country and shit for mm-hmm. a certain event. Yeah, like we we know who we are, but we. Mm-hmm. Uh, lost it and adopted new uh, these ideas that were get given to us by these doctrines, to be honest. So mm-hmm. we're trying to get back. We didn't scrape everything off and went back home and said, we're just going to go by what's on our bloodline. And these bloodlines ties to nations of people. And so I agree with you. We need to know these things so we can know that we're coming up in our real culture. We're practicing our, our true ways. And like you said, the babies, get them a chance to do something that we didn't have a chance to do you know, and come up in a real culture, you know, fully knowledge itself so they can be as powerful they can be. So I agree. But no doubt. And to the other brother, I don't know which one it was that had mentioned about traveling or, or go- that is so important. Um, it just, it, it changes your, it just changes your whole mindset, your whole perspective, you know? And for me, every time that I travel, I always think to myself, it's a reminder. I get humbled that I'm in the greater scheme of things. I'm really not that important. And the greatest scheme of things for me to 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 be, quote unquote, in alignment means that I have to respect energy. I have to respect nature. Right. Uh, There's just certain unwritten laws, if that makes sense. Right. When you do have the opportunity to travel and connect. And I know I have not been to one place that I haven't met a friend. And that's the real truth. Right. And so for me. How this conversation started when we were talking about uh, on Scramble Minds, there was another guest that we had on, a brother that we had on, and he began to talk, pretty much go into how they're asking me, like, you know, so where are your people from? So when I had mentioned, like, Barbados, and he was saying to me that, you know, there were no Africans in Barbados, like, there was no Africans as slaves in Barbados. He was, you know, that, and I'm like, oh, oh, that's how this conversation started. So what, what, what I think... For me moving forward, again, in the same way that I am not ever going to uh, identify another person, don't identify myself. Don't identify me as well. I know at this stage of the game, I'm quite clear on the stories that pass down from generation to generation in my family. I'm clear on the fact that while there were um, indigenous, um, quote unquote, uh, I don't like using the word Indians, which I know what I mean, right? Uh, They were the Taino Kalingo is the name. That was the group of Native Americans. That was your family? You had Tahino in you? Well, wait, hold on. Okay. Before Africans were brought before Africans were brought over, um, and I'm using these terms for a reason, okay? Uh, yeah. I want to be clear. All right. Um, but yeah, that was the group, Taino Kalingos, right? They were indigenous to the area that we now call. Barbados. And what began to happen, which is quite similar, is that, you know, there was a lot of resistance on their part, right? There was a, They were not trying to become enslaved to anyone. So there was a lot of death, a lot of killing. They began to flee. They began to die a lot of the time because of the contact with the European and their nasty diseases, right? And they needed to a, a resupply, right? And so that history that I know that I can trace back literally to 1805, okay? That is a fact about where I, about where majority of my bloodline in terms of my you know my maternal side. Oh, so you you, you you got you got a little Barbado in you. All that. Come on. Come, can you I didn't imagine? Know that. I didn't yes. Know that. Yes. I didn't yes. Know yes. That. And that is an island. Also, that 
actually it's the only island to this day, but the first island, right, to literally no longer um, be a commonwealth to England, right? Because even well, after you know, the, it was one of the first in 1627. James Carlisle he got that from um, Charles the first, um, and they set up there. So the first people that they were sending there, yeah, they enslaved the indigenous people, but they brought mm -hmm. up the Scottish people uh, and as indentured servants and also Irish. Now they paid more for the Scottish because they had more skill at that time. Mm -hmm. But um, they left there and went into Jamaica after Penn and Barnabas. They met up with the Jews that came out of Brazil and they was running the rum trade and the sugar and shit. So they went into Jamaica and developed the colony there. They also had the colony here in South Carolina because Charles mm -hmm. was named after King Charles II. His daddy gave the, the charter for for uh, 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 Barbados, the first one. But his son, mm -hmm. Charles II, got charged in South Carolina in 1670. And so mm -hmm. it became, it was from Barbados to South Carolina, that's their connection, and to uh, Jamaica. And then you had the, the connection with the colony in um, Nova Scotia and also Sierra Leone that they created after 1777, their colony there. So all of those go go hand in hand together. But mm -hmm. the South Carolina Barbados, you also had the Barbados and the uh, the the Algonquin tribe of North as well. They had a connection as well. So mm -hmm. that's how. They, yeah, it's a lot of deep history. You how know tall I mean? are you? It's a lot, a lot of deep history. I'm five five, five six on a good day with heels. Okay, <laughs> what's that now? What's that now? Yeah, no doubt. But Pretty you know, I also. Heels. I also wanted to acknowledge, right? Because again, I don't like labels. I really don't, right? Like, oh, Pan African or oh, blah, blah, blah. no. But what I what I do know is that Native Native Americans and Africans have always had a very sim symbiotic but good relationship, right? Um, Native Amer uh, Native Americans when Africans would attempt to flee or run away, or even just up until this day, there was a lot of intermixing, intermarrying. They provided um, refuge, right, for a lot of the African um, brethren um, during that time. So I'm not surprised that, of course, when you have- Can I say together, something that's nice? I, yeah. um, honestly, that's the, the story that they gave us. And so we we don't, when we add the the real story up, it don't add up. Like like, let's take for instance the part. Let's just go with Barbados, okay. sixteen twenty seven. When they got there, they never mentioned that they poured them the half of Scotland and Ireland out after the the uh the civil wars. They had three wars there. They all of these the prisoners of these wars. They sent them to Barbados. These people. Mm -hmm. So we oh, have yeah. the, the manifest. And they have mm -hmm. the, the color of these people. They showing them that they brown people. Look at the names on there. These niggas sound like people that went to school with you in your class. The names, these these names, uh, same names as us. So they don't count these. They don't count the fact that they sent these black people out of Europe after the Civil Wars. They were the first people to go to Barbados and mix with the indigenous population there before the British even had a colony in Africa. Because one thing we have to remember in the story. The slave trade is not taking place until the British comes into place. So that's why uh, Virginia is not called a slave colony because they, uh, that's why the, the slave port is Charleston. So 1670 is when Charleston comes. So we have to even mark it after that. That's why they say the height of the slave trade is going to be in the mid 1700s. So we have to look, when we look at history from the mid 1700s, we're in Jamaica now. Penn and, and, and on Barnabas, they went in and got Jamaica for that. They gave William Penn Pennsylvania. He do his holy experience or whatever. So uh, the King Charles granted him that charter of the second. But I'm saying once we look at it in chronological order, we understand the ports, who's in control, what company. So it, at that time, it would have been the Royal African Company. They had uh, uh, the Port Royal Charleston, Port Royal Jamaica. In Port Roy, I mean, in Cape Coastal in West Africa. So at this time, these are the only routes that they're in control of. No one else is bringing slaves here. The Spanish ain't bringing up slaves here. The uh, none of these other people are bringing slaves here. It they're saying that it is the British, so they would have to come through Charleston, South Carolina. 
there's nowhere else for a slave to come through. Even the people that went in the upper colonies into Maryland, Pennsylvania, these areas, a lot of them were Scottish Irish, and they were going there because they had a lot of settlements there, as we know from the Scottish settlements, Philadelphia, and things like this. It was Wait, hold on. Can, can I ask? A, I wanted you to back. I'm sorry. Just real quickly, just to back up, because I uh, I don't want to forget what you, you just said. You were saying something in regards to well, I do know that the Spanish and the Portuguese were definitely um, had came to Barbados way before England, you know, right. England did. And right. we also know Spain and Spain, and up until England sort of got you know top heavy with colonizing half the damn world, you know. Uh, Portugal and Spain were a beast when it came to colonizing, right? You right. got the Dominican Republic, or back then, as we know, it wasn't called DR, but you know what I'm saying? That the, right. the, the and, Haiti, and we know the you got, that, you got right. Brazil, you have Brazil, right? And and this is a fact, they received the highest number in the Americas, North, South, Caribbean, they received the highest number um, of Africans to Brazil, right? That's a fact. That's, I think what gets <clears> dangerous, and this is what I'm saying about the confusion, is <clears> that if we are just telling, like, it's the story, how do we know it for fact, right? Because the stories is what allowed, you know, uh, indentured servitude, slavery, any type of ism, right? It, th those are all the reasons why you, the, the victorious one or the colonizer want to keep certain stories going. So you back it up with science in some way, shape, otherwise well, I say it just well, 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 Now, I was with, I'm, I'm with you on that, so you how know? do we come to a conclusion so they won't just be stories? Because I like to always say, one of my things is find yourself in the story. So mm -hmm. how we do that, we have to start with ourselves. From mm -hmm. ourselves, we start with our parents, and then we're going to walk back through our genealogy. We can't use so much science because even though a lot of people are taking the DNA, the DNA test is not filling in these these gaps or these migrations it's not telling you who your grandparents were did your grandparents own land what condition mm -hmm. were they in all these towns named after you do you have inheritance did your people fight in these wars which side of the wars were they on what did you have prominent people who made contributions to uh, america we don't find none of these things through the uh dna test through science so we have to do it the hard way which is the way why, which a lot of people don't want to do because it takes time and it is a journey. And we're going to walk ourselves back, starting with us, then we're going to go to our parents. We're going to find their parents. Then we're going to find their parents and siblings. And we're going to put this piece together through record keeping, through uh, uh, census records and, and all these uh, birth certificates, different things of this nature. We're going to track this back as far as we can get. And through these lines, it'll be able to tell the stories and we'll see where we're at on the map here in America. We'll find our migrations. We'll find mm -hmm. the experiences that our people then went through. That's, to, to, to me, that's the closest way we can get to it. Now, will we rule DNA all the way out? No, because you do have people who don't have those stories or connection to their family who maybe can take a test and find a common ancestor or, or someone close to them who have took it that's alive that may have the information that they can use. So I'm not opposed to that because you can't cross reference it with the, the, the genealogy. Before, as after you go back so far, it's not going to give you any names or help you in the what we're looking for, which is our story. And mm -hmm. we don't have to go by his story. We can now have our story. So, uh, yeah, that's where we're coming from on that. I don't want to hold Absolutely. Yeah. No, I, and, that, and that is, but see, and that is, but see, and that is where the ahas come in at, right? Those are the gems of the conversation when we're having a conversation to understand or to get a, deep, a, under, a better understanding about something. But sometimes, you know, and oftentimes what I, what I see is instead of like listening to understand, we're listening just to defend our point. So then what begins to happen is, you know, miscommunication is, is at a standstill and it changes nothing. That's why, I, I, listen, I only speak for me. And I respect all my brethren and my sister that are searching and seeking to know more. That's that is a beautiful thing. That is the best thing. That is the best thing that we all can leave behind, really and truly. And a lot of people don't know. And that's that's unfortunate, right? So here we are. And as a person don't know, has, so yes, as, we don't right, know. And as, a, as a person who I know has African ancestry, I still can be locked in step. Right, with my sisters and brothers who are self identifying as Aboriginal. 
I because two things can be true at the same time. Absolutely. So they mean, so they mean you all coming to Mexico? Because you, you don't like know, how you brother. slid. Out of you know what? I like how you slid out of that one. Um, I, I don't know. I have to see. Brother. What's wrong? He ain't gonna let you come. If if you come, you gotta I don't bring know. him. No, listen. If, I don't. If you come, I, you gotta bring him. Is it is it one of those kind of situations? Really. Not really, not really. Okay, but I'm thinking okay. the summer. We travel. I travel a whole lot. Um, and you know, it is the summer, so I try to get vacation in as much as possible. You know, with my family. Um, but I think but that's, we're not that's going to the summer though. We sure. going to November. Oh, November! It's gonna be cold. It's gonna be cold, cold in New York. Yeah, you need a reason to get away. Yeah, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Maybe uh -huh. I will. We'll yeah, see. You're from Barbados, so you like to be by the water. Yeah, uh, I love clean water, good coconut water, fresh sour stuff. Yes, don't worry about so we doing two tours. Yes, come oh, on. do that again. Come on, come on. <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> Listen, I have to go, y'all. I have to be somewhere. All right, all right. My sister, yeah, exactly. you know, much love. Do yes, that one. Love to you guys, yeah. really and truly, really and truly. Much love to all you guys, really and truly. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Peace out, y'all. Rest of your day. Okay. All right, sister. Get bit of something. She better watch it. <laughs> no, you I'm fucking with it. I just, I just be fucking with it because y'all was mean to me when I first met y'all. So. I was, I was, yeah, I was, I just mean always to got you. Back. You was never mean to him. He just, I just, I just always get guys back for being mean to me. Oh, and look right. at Nisha down there hating. <laughs> Nisha ain't nothing but a little hater. Don't mess with my Nisha. She the only one. <laughs> Nisha, you coming to Mexico, Nisha? So what's up? So 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 that she ain't coming. She don't tell her shit. Yeah, she ain't coming. That nigga, if she come, that nigga gotta come. So she ain't coming. Oh, uh, what what about you, the comedian? Tell me a joke. <laughs> it was too funny. Tell me a joke. <laughs> How long you been doing comedy? What made you want to do comedy? Look, I remember I was in the third grade. And uh, it was career day, and so they was going around the class or whatever, and they was like, "What you want to be? What you want to be?" So in my head, I had it, you know, I, I'm gonna say a comedian. I'm a comedian, and so right. it got to me, and they they called my name. I turned around, I said, "A comedy man." I forgot the damn word. Everybody bust out laughing, and awesome. the shit kind of worked out for me. But uh, I was like, "Damn," I was trying to say comedian, but. Yeah, uh, what 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 made you want to be a comedian? How did how the hell did that happen? Out of all the shit a nigga can be in the world, honestly, uh, undermines. Um, he had a, a open mic, and um, he asked me to um go in with him, just cause we used to just uh fuck off when we were young, get high and talk shit, right? And so that's how I did it, and so um. It just went from there. And then I went on a uh, a tour with some women. We called it, they called it the Pussycat Club at that Ooh, time. I would have bought them tickets. Right. And so, no, we were on tour. That's what the name of the group was anyway. And so okay. we went on tour or whatever for a while. And then I stopped, you know, because my children, my younger three were younger. And so I stopped and then I started back. Um, and I did it for a few years and then it got overwhelming and I was still married and it was just really a whole bunch of stuff going on with, my, you know, my husband was getting kicked out. My ex-husband was getting kicked out and he was intimidating everybody and, you know, and things. Country, nigga, one of them street niggas, you like them thugs. You want them little rough niggas. Yeah. Well, you know, that's, that's protection, you know, until yeah. you... Can't get protected on the inside. You got to run from inside, outside, everywhere. You know, so no. I, where are you right. from? Let the people know where you from. I know y'all hear the accent. Where, where you I'm from? I'm around the world, so no. Nah, what back I, I was down to, yonder, I, way back yonder? Where you from, way back yonder? I'm from Illinois. I was, I'm a Chicago baby, but I grew oh, up. Oh, damn, I ain't know that. Man, My family's from Virginia, but I'm from Atlantic City. See, oh. I ain't know that neither, shit. Yeah, I'm from Atlantic City. You up there by oh, A1. I live in Delaware now. Though. I live in Delaware now, but I was born and raised in AC. Oh, she right across the bridge, A1. You bullshit. Can you cook, when though? Delaware girl, I keep trying to told you. So can you uh, All can that yelling and stuff. A1 all that online. A1, A1 stop playing. A1 vegan, though. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. You say Chicago, Mississippi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working on that. A1, how long you been vegan? 
Well, hold on. Wait a minute now. First of all, don't talk your shit. My bad. It's the, co- it's the comedian. I'm from Chicago, but I don't know. I don't know nothing about Mississippi with Colson. Uh, and right now I'm in uh North Dakota. You so, in North Dakota right now? Yeah, I am. What type of missionary shit you on? What you the Mormon? When I did with the Mormons or something? I was a Mormon at one time. God and damn, that's how in the hell. How the hell I was, people? See what I'm saying? I was a Mormon at one time. I was a Pentecostal. I was Man, a Nazarite. Get the hell out of here, boy. Baptist. This can be the shit. Right. North she knows. Dakota. Yeah. Right, but you need more than a you need the hat or you need the scarf or you need the boots or, you know, you get up to seven feet of snow here. You Man, know, I, you know, I, I drove OTR, so I, I've been in North Dakota, I've been to Boise, uh, I've been to South Dakota before, so, yeah, I, I drove through there, but I never would have, uh, you know, imagined. Like, I met this Mormon dude, he was from up there, uh, he got adopted by a white family, though, but yeah, no, I mean, you know, you see black people in North Dakota, you'd be like, they gotta be a missionary. No, my daughter moved here for the for the money. They stopped doing LPN, so she moved here and now she finna finish off to be an RN. You know, they make more money here. Um it's uh Fargo is uh up up and running, up and coming. So, you know, we are off of Minnesota, between Minnesota and Canada. On one end, you know, on the other end, Detroit is on the other side of Canada. And uh, I don't know what is the other, uh, I think, uh, Ohio. Den- <laughs> Denver, Colorado, probably on the other side of Canada. So it depends on how you look at it. Right. So, crazy. right. It's a lot of. Um, did you import you? Uh, did you import you a nigga out there or did you like, like find a friend out there? No, I, I've only been here a year, so you ain't important nothing. In? Okay, you ain't been long enough. You ain't been that long enough then. Damn near about that time. Yeah, you might want to order you one out the box. And um, uh, yeah, you might want to order one you want out the box. But you want them country niggas to come up there. Oh, uh, what? So, 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 what's the population? This is like, uh, how's the dating scene? Let me ask that. In, in, in I don't know. Country. I don't know. I think that uh, somebody said something about. Uh, I think it's it's an internet kind of thing. I believe. I don't know. No, oh, nah. That's how they you get caught up in some polite shit. I don't, I don't. I don't really know because that's not I'm a whole bunch of stuff on the internet. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know what they do around here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That ain't long enough. I was out there with in Dubai. Them girls who said, "Man, it's been four years. I ain't been touched by a man." I said, "God damn." Cause they don't let them sneak the sex toys in there and they can't get porn sites on the internet out there. They cut it, they block you on the internet. They said, Man, I ain't been touched by a man in four years. I said, God damn. Yeah, oh, uh, oh, uh, so yeah, now I get I know it get real. Oh, uh, let me ask you this here. So Man, he is crazy. You know what? That is a damn shame. You better get that kale. You better get that kale and cornbread ready for A1 freedom. That's what you do. You get that kale and cornbread ready. A one, he won't kill alkaline kill. Um, I cook Jamaican food. Uh oh. Okay, I'm y'all not- have to talk about that. I what's Jamaican? Know. Hold on, hold on. What's Jamaican food? Jerk chicken? What? And what else? Goats and I'm just like- messing with you. I'm working on being vegan too. I've been most of Jamaicans I know they eat. Vegan. Mo- hey, look, most of Jamaicans I know eat soul Cabbage. food. Sure do. Man, I done been look. I done been to a, a person. Um, well, Guyanese. First, um, like a little cookout, and they done had like ZD macaroni and cheese, so they eat pretty much the same thing we do. They do, no, nah, real talk, they really do. They might have that little goat, curry goat, jerk chicken, but you know, it's pretty much you know, they pretty much eat what we eat. They sure do. I was okay. messing with just teasing. Nah, what's it? You was trying to, you was trying to, um, <laughs> hey, trying she's to trying to me. No, huh? she's kind of close to you. To, to, you what you say you at again? Oh, you I'm from Atlantic City? Delaware. Oh, she in Delaware. She hop. She right over the bridge. Where you at, Adrian? I'm in New Jersey. Oh, nigga, no, where you at? That's how it's, it's, it's going to sound. Hey, look, hey, hey, but check this out, right? Let me get. I'm, I'm gonna tell you a little, a little story, right? My friend, my friend, live in Maryland. You know, what I'm saying? Oh, wow. she mm. live in Maryland, right? So we used to meet each other at the Delaware Memorial Bridge. Oh, okay. 
And look, I, I haul, I haul there, cars. Yeah. Look, I haul cars. So I used to put her car on my trailer and bring her back to Jersey and then do the same thing Sunday. I used to do this for at least six months. So the Delaware Memorial Bridge ain't really. So, so basically, what exit you one. Is, do you know where the Delaware Bridge is? To me? <laughs> yeah. I live like five minutes from it. You yeah. five minutes was she is. Hey, man, that no man doubt. come down there, <laughs> put that goddamn me. truck, hook that truck on the back of that car. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a fact. Look, that's a fact. That's a fact. Definitely. That's how we doing it. Six months. No, it's yeah. so good. Oh. No, 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 no. Freedom don't be in that dually. Mm-hmm. I got blowing cold, it's no balls in there. I got a curl. Yeah. Keep it up. <laughs> I, yeah, that's who I'm gonna go get on you. Keep it up, freedom. I'm gonna go get out. But you know what though? Party. We are talking about having a party um soon. Ooh. So hopefully we can all get what together. What type of party? What y'all party? <laughs> they want like party. Oh, he said like party. party. <laughs> I like barbecue, stuff like that. I like big look, I ain't coming to no parties if y'all ain't doing electric slide or slide to the left. Hop now. Hop, hop. If like y'all ain't doing that type of shit, I can't come. My neck, my back party, so you better get some. <laughs> Ooh. 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 We try well, to be. Right. 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 Yeah, right. You gotta get some point. Oh, <laughs> freedom. Oh, don't get it fucked up. Nah, I can still deadlift like four or five. If you know, if need be. Scaragachi, you better be nice in the in the chat over there. Yeah. If need be. Hey, hey, sister freedom. Lolita yeah. said they went coming to uh uh Mexico. <laughs> freedom. Hey, listen. Hey, look. Hey, Lolita. Listen, listen. I heard Top Cat the last time. He said that the women going to have a Jaguar bikinis on. So That's you know I'm coming. So you know I'm coming. Oh my God. I got to represent. Yeah, got to represent. They would be in the Jaguar print. That oh my God. Print. Yes, yes. Custom yes, yes. made. Yeah. Yeah. That's a fact. Keena Rod, y'all send me outside. Uh, 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 Dosey, send me outside. We get y'all some, some Jaguar print uh, to come out there. <laughs> Tell we coordinate and look like we I'm all together. Off of here because I got to do something before we go on tonight. All right, all right. Yeah, y'all got they got a big show tonight at the Unscramble Mind. Let them know uh, who y'all gonna have on there tonight. Are we and covers or something? I think I'm just putting on white tonight. Yeah, I'm you going all white tonight. I, 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 you feeling yeah. godly? What? What we? No, white ain't got nothing to do with godly. I see white got something to do with God. White, white is ain't no, it's come it's on. Gotta stop this. It's all it is. It's it's right. Purity, it's right? It's it's right. Call it purity. Just playing Africans fucked yes. up mind though. We can't even like white no more. White t-shirts and that. White make you feel clean. It's That's pure. it. Pure. Yeah. Pure. African got to do with that. See, y'all women like white. Man, y'all will decorate y'all right homes. Right? Y'all will decorate with white. Y'all not be prejudiced against each other. Stop it. Come on, you might need each other one day. Cause guess we what? Got on, Stop, yo. We got each other. We don't need nobody else. That's it. Yeah. Okay, so right. yeah, nah, we not we ain't call we call out. Out. You know, we call out. Get... Now you gonna we're gonna have to get you out of the cold. You call out. You 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 I so, so are you keen to rob before y'all give y'all last words? Or are you coming to Mexico? I'm coming to Mexico like a happy. Woo. Don't forget the tag wall. Don't joint. forget that print. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, don't forget that note. Yeah, cover. Y'all can wear a cover. We get my nails, Jaguar, too. Yeah. Oh, 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 girl, I pay for them. Girl, you better stop it. I'll buy them motherfuckers. Bro, uh, <laughs> he is so crazy. I need my toes. Uh, I like that. My feet print. You want to do the Jaguar hey, print hey, on the hey, toes, hey, too? You call all the money. She said they caught all the money. She said she needs her toes done. What you say, Freedom? I do. I gotta get my feet and my nails done. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, 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 such pussy cats, you know Ooh. what I mean? Nah, we ain't, we we over here. We panthers and jaguars over here. We rolling we'll big, we big way. cats, huh? Uh We big cats I'm over here. We ain't no, we ain't no little felines. You know what I'm saying? 
Those are some awesome. Okay, uh, y'all let them know y'all got a show tonight. Where they can find y'all? Who gonna be on tonight? Y'all gonna have a good guest tonight. Unscrambled your mind. That's what we are gonna be. There we are. What's the conversation gonna be about? It's gonna be Jane Elliott. Jane okay. Elliott is oh. gonna be our guest. Oh, all right. Don't forget Top Cat, the BBC. You know. What right, you right, 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 right. Are you coming okay. over? Me? Boy, what you mean? Oh, all right. Are you drop the link. Hey, drop, look, 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 drop, drop, drop the link. Hey, you know. I have to do it, but are you yeah, Drop the link. Or oh, put your put your like, channel oh. in the back. Now put your channel in the back so we can get it. So definitely put it in the Wish private chat. Uh, 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 Gordis, and uh, he gonna he gonna make sure he's and, and hey, one, well, how many followers you got over there, goddamn? Twenty five. Okay, he got twenty five thousand followers too. We gonna try to get him to get some of them followers. Come over there and see y'all and Jane. Yeah, and he right. subscribe to our channel. Right, he right, right. We gonna to get y'all over a thousand, goddamn me. But y'all yeah, can't get over a thousand, then start making Aboriginal videos and shit like that. Yeah, you gonna know, like have to add, you gonna have to hashtag Black Indians and Aboriginal. <laughs> you gonna have to put that in your hashtag. And don't forget to let us know when you're gonna do that lesson. Okay, oh, yeah. so, uh, Saturday, uh, three o'clock, man. Um, seven hundred slides, man. A one, I send you a thing too. Man. That's a lot of work. Seven hundred slides. Pop cats, make sure you come over tonight and announce it, please. I'm coming through, mom. I'm gonna be over there, and I'm gonna ask Jane Elliott. Has she ever took nope. that BBC? Oh my God. Oh my Man, but Sakina told me it's cool. Yeah, yeah I said, yeah. right. Just clean it up a little bit. Right, right. I'll fix it up. I'll <laughs> 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 show it. Right. Y'all don't know. She might be a freak. Right. She might be a freak. Jump through the screen or some shit. I ain't say do that now. Nah. I said yeah, clean she, it up. She uh, made a living off being uh, straightforward with people. So, yeah, she might right. like it. She, she, old, she, old, old. Old. Yeah, she might get off on me and say, don't ask That's me. I'm saying she might have she might have a she might be an old freak. Yeah, she, she might be an old freak. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Me and Jane Elliott might get the only fans popping around this motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm coming through there, shoot my shot at Jane Elliott. Blonde hair, blue eyes tonight. Yeah. Oh, uh, going down. I hope we can get it too. Yeah, and I do we want to know what your new Bay? Who? Taj Tariq Bay. Yeah, we know Taj Tariq Bay. Um. I want to get him back on the channel just to get y'all to talk to him concerning it. What's that lady name that be running his channel over there? I think she's a nice lady. Oh, she Nyella. Knows. Okay, yeah, her. Yeah, I know she, she, she know how to get in touch with him. I know how to get in touch with oh, Todd. Okay, okay. My life. Oh, you were trying to show A1 you knew Todd. Oh, okay. I ain't trying okay. to show. I know everybody. Uh -oh. I've been in Delaware. That, 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 that's where the House of Reawakening is at in Delaware, right? Yeah, pretty much named yeah. it. <laughs> you named oh, she, she, hey, look, I, I'm, I've been trying to get in contact with Taj for years, and I um. Well, there you go, right there. You in freedom, freedom the plug. It's the beers, all of them. I know all of them. Somebody says way too many cats in one room don't smell fresh. You need to go wash your ass. Okay, that part. That's a troll right there. That's a that's a um yeah. fucking troll. That means she needs to go wash her chef. Those this is what I don't like about YouTube, how we just say such disrespectful things. That's what I'm saying. Hey, look, that come with the territory. You got to have tough skin yeah. on YouTube. I don't have that. Any, that's, 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 when you smell something, you, you before you smell somebody else, boo. So nah, you got random, look, you got random assholes oh, that honey, just post anything. So you already know, so you know. But they come, but look, look, you ain't give up, so you still in it. So obviously people need are, to grow you know, up. No, I like yeah. to repeat the chat so I can say something slick back. I, you know, I like respect. They're gonna respect this house, this top cat house. You don't come up people's house to disrespect them. We don't oh, go right. to disrespect you. Yeah, 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 what she yeah, said, man. she said was too much cat. Yeah, yeah, well, she gonna leave. She your already house. said she was an Indian. She already admitted she, she ain't got no Africa. Outside of spitting thing. the tube, you can't prove you from Africa, sis. But your grandmother said you was an Aboriginal. So I think y'all just remind us of like like kinfolk. You know what I'm saying? That's what we mm -hmm. mean when we like that. 
Now, That's a now, fact. Now, Freedom, she always say, you can tell when you're around. So she know what we saying. So we, we get it, man. We'll work out. We'll, we'll figure it out, man, while we on the beach. But y'all get y'all last words, and uh, we'll let y'all get ready for y'all show. Uh, what time is for? What time y'all going on? on and I'm about to go Shimon Hotel to all the kings and the queens. What time y'all go on? 8 o'clock. Peace, love, and freedom. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Eastern, Central. Come on. We I, got people from everywhere. Well, she it's Eastern, Eastern, so... She Eastern. Eastern time then. Yeah. So okay, that'll be seven for me. All right, that's a bit. It's four 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 right now for me. So oh four four four. Oh my god, I gotta go. My mom will be waiting for me. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, hey, you right. have a good one, Miss Delaware. You have a good one. All right. I'll be in contact with you. Okay. Yeah, I heard how she said that. Okay, you better watch her. You better she going after that bill phone. She under the old law. Yeah, Man, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, y'all, that's Dosey's fault. That's Dosey, <laughs> and she a more down there. She went set all this up. That them Dosey homegirls and brought the homegirls over here. Hey, man, I'm just saying, like I said, when people come over here who don't know the information, they're they're scholars. They have to be astute. You know, we don't we don't want to hear the Pan African um perception of the American Aborigines or Indians because they call us Native Americans and they very disrespectful so you know at the end of the day it is what it is see with them they um uh, you know they 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 building up their platform over there um they got a nice little setup I, they got good spirits you know I, I went to that rock with them a few times I met them through Dosey or whatever met her through uh this pseudo dude I noticed you don't hang around them no more, neither, Dosey. Uh, yeah, she swept a broom and gave a real nigga some room. Uh, hmm. yeah, yeah. So, uh, but now they 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 cool people, man. And they one thing about it is they open to the information. They like uh old school. You know how the country's community used to be back then, where you can have different, you know, people from different backgrounds around, and and, and it was, you know, it was just the environment, just the energy around. So, uh. You know that's what they, that's the little feel that they gave me. But they want to know, and they looking to know, and they trying to get to the bottom of it to figure out exactly who are we exactly. You know what I mean? So she, uh, you she know, just said it though. She gets that. Look, that's the only conversation people supposed to be having, as far as what your people told you you was, and then you go from there. That's the starting point. That's like the fucking the the race line before they shoot the gun off and you and you sprint. That's the starting point. And that's what gets you going to find out who your people are. And for once you find out who your people are, see, the, the, the whole thing about this is a lot of people don't want to admit that they purposely hid this shit from us. Real talk. The gig is up. They purposely hid all this information from us. Purposely. So once you come to that understanding, then you see, you, you see how devious... And demonic these people can be. So yes, you know, sometimes you meet people where they at and 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 like they willing to take the walk, you know. Um so no, that's a fact. That's a take, fact. Yeah, you know, it, it's certain things that happen inside of you, you know, while you're on this journey that's gonna trigger it. Maybe it'd be a conversation, maybe it'd be a you know, like uh sister was like she is. for some reason she she started collecting Indian dolls. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, didn't even know why type of shit. But, you know, when she spoke to us, it, it, it made more sense in the end, you know. So, it's just about meeting people where they get, man. And uh, especially, like, for the matriarchs or whatever. And, uh, you know, so so we'll see what happens. And they going to come down to the Mexico with us, too, man. So, it, it, it's up there, man. And it's stuck there, shit. I can't wait, man. Uh, yeah, I'm going to see what Dane is talking about, too, man. I'm trying to get everybody out there, bro. Uh, everybody that I can, man, that are listen. And um, I got some updates on it today, too, for is the whole, the the resorts and all of that type of shit. So we'll figure out that out, though, man, um, on ideas on where people should stay at, what side, who had the best beaches, what's the closest and all that shit, there, but. I definitely think we can make it happen. They've been a hell of a motherfucking live. I ain't see this one coming, man. Oh, uh, but but yeah, man. Um, on the flow open though. Hey, y'all, the link in the chat. If anybody want to come up, 
uh, Dosi say love connection, and she over there sitting over there. Dosi, what about the ones that trying to get you? What a, what about the ones trying to get you, Dosi? They say you gonna leave that nigga at home, Dosi. You know, fuck up, jump in the car hall, and Jane Elliott gonna be in there. Them niggas getting Jane Elliott on the <laughs> what they gonna be in that motherfucker talking about. Jane Elliott still going 90 years old, that man. Crazy. I hope I'm that damn cold nigga at 90 to still be talking shit as well as this shit, nigga. I said adrenal chrome. Hey. <laughs> Fully loaded, Ronnie. She said, hey. I'm a whole elder. Oh, your birthday Monday? Oh, yeah, we gonna see one of them niggas jump out the cake for you. Damn, you're a nineties baby. We gonna get what? Well, then again, nah, it ain't no nineties baby. Say what? 80, 88, 87? 89 type of shit, something like that. A uh, eighty nine would be thirty four. She like she gonna be thirty five. So I'm forty seven. I was born seventy five, and I'll be. Well, then again, yeah, she was born in eighty eight. So she going to be a whole elder. You got gray hair yet, Dosey? Judah Rise. Judah Rise, bro. I've been seeing you running around hating. Hit the link, bro. Hit these the niggas link, don't never hit the link. They, they, These niggas is keyboard war, warriors, man. That nigga been down there typing. That nigga been in here the whole time since we've been live. All he been doing is just... But he in this hoe. You know what I'm saying? Hit the link. <laughs> nigga, that adrenal crone is real, nigga. That's that shit. Look, look, when, when Farrell went down that motherfucking rabbit hole, that's that <laughs> shit that blew his mind. That's that shit hey, that man, blew young... Nigga come on here and fuck me up by Farrell, man. Show me these white people this nigga was fucking with and like, oh, these niggas being like these the space aliens and, and all this type of shit here, man. The nigga talking about he having sex with an alien wife and got kids by alien and shit, man. And the nigga was showing me Farrell was with these people and shit. Fuck me yeah. up, bro. Yeah, like, bro, that's that rap. Rap. Yeah, them nigga, that nigga. Listen, one a lot of this, man. Listen, man. Some of this information will blow your motherfucking mind, where you'll never be the same. And, and like when that COVID or that C thing was going on, Fire was going in hard. He was going in hard. He was talking yeah. about um Frazzle drip. Uh, um, had like twenty thousand motherfuckers in there yeah, listening. He was going in hard. He was talking about all of that shit, and that shit blew his mind. That shit That's blew what his. That's I think happened, bro. That's what I think happened. I think, Nigga, I mind think blow. <laughs> yeah, bro. This information will blow your mind. That's why you gotta take a step back from it sometime. And the type of shit that he was putting in them too, though, like that, mm -hmm. that alien shit, that outer space, that ghost shit, all this paranoia shit, the CIA, <laughs> the Illuminati, somebody yeah. after this shit. And then the nigga yep. gets started getting paranoid, schizophrenic. They probably they really a hey, real real talk. I'm real talk. When he dropped that frazzle drip shit, real talk about them cops. There was 12 of them that found this la this supposed laptop. And out of 12 of them, nine of them got deleted. So it's like once he started talking, maybe he did get visits from people we don't know about. I believe it. At that, at, at this point, at this level he's in, I believe, I believe he got that, visits. That, that dude that came up uh, that was speaking on that on, on on him, but that the white group, the dude and those couple girls. It all it did all start when that when they came around and they were some weirdos. They were some real weirdos. Yeah, I think had they had something to do with it. Like oh that. yeah, that dude. He said he had an alien mom and pregnant. Yeah, the nigga got a uh, wife uh, was alien, alien wife or uh, he Had a baby with her. Fucking the, yeah, man. Uh, and and then the, the white girl that was with him is the nigga yoga teacher and shit. And he and Pharaoh said she, she came over his house, spun a night, all that type of shit. I remember all that, but. I don't know, man. Them niggas into some blood sacrifice ritual type of shit. And uh yeah, that nigga let them people get him out there like that. That shit crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga blood mind is people. blown. Real hey, talk. you know, uh um, uh um, Nay Nay little ass took a saw that nigga in Target out here, man, and took a picture. What was cold? I had just told. I said, Man, I think you stay out there by Pharaoh. 
And uh, that was around the time he got robbed. She and Target took a picture of this nigga Faro and shit. That's, boy, they fucked up. They nigga catch the nigga ass at the self checkout. She just snapped the whole picture of this nigga Faro. He out there in Texas? Yeah, he, he live in Houston. Really? Hey, Juan, grab that link in the back. Check it out. Yeah, Faro ain't live in Houston. He don't be outside and no shit, though. You know hold on, wait, hold on. What's this link, nigga? I'm I, listen. I'm recovering from blowing my mind, so <laughs> I'm recovering, nigga. I just started listening to rap again, so <laughs> I'm coming back to the planet. I had to go back. I had to come back into the matrix once again. What is this, though? He said, "Don't let the head boy, lady bug you out." Shrugs. I don't want to open that shit and go back into the matrix, man. I'm trying to stay out of the matrix nah, right now. You got to check that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But now I'm going to check it out. I'm going I'm to definitely hit it, though. But I've been, I've been, you know, you already know, man, real talk. A lot of this information, depending on what, what rabbit hole you choose to go down, will blow your motherfucking mind, bro. You'll never look. Even from this aboriginal or black Indian or Indian information, you don't never look at the world the same. So some of this other shit, man, this should have, <laughs> this should have had you on Pluto, yeah, if yeah, Pluto yeah. exists. Real talk, man. I'm trying to come back, nigga. I just was jamming, listening, to Young Dolph. Rest in peace to God. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't been there. I've been, I ain't been in a long time, man. I've been, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I've been off the grid as far as like, you know, just trying to stay away from that information that Fire was talking about. Cause that should have had you out there. <laughs> that shit, I'm look, I'm dead ass. That know, shit blew bro. his mind. I can look at it. I can. You can look at the pupil of the nigga, nigga, nigga eye. Like Bobby Hammond and shit, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, nah, yeah. Nah, yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Like that type of shit, bro. That shit they'll fuck you up, man. But panic able to deal with it. Panic able. He bound. He he got a way to balance it. But other people, you can't. Like you said, Bobby Hammond, man. That you become his thoughts like a motherfucker. You be, your thoughts become a reality when niggas be saying that you create your own reality. You start these niggas really start seeing these ghosts and these spirits and demons. Kodak Black tripped out. He on there the other day sitting on the ground talking about they see demons and all this type of shit on there. Hot than the motherfucker on the live like that. Pharaoh come on live hot than the motherfucker. They got the I played that. What foul be take? I mean, what 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 he be smoking weed? I seen him oh, puffing Pharaoh, it. He, man, yeah, he wasn't know. smoking before. He wasn't smoking no That's weed. That's what I'm before. saying. He was on papers and shit. Once that nigga got out papers, and I felt like some niggas just by knowing some of my homies and shit, like everybody don't handle drugs the same. Like it may not affect you, but this person, some people can't handle this shit. And I feel like that Pharaoh, one of them niggas, certain drugs he couldn't, and he they was on some rock star shit. He graduated. He went from smoking moon rocks <laughs> to hell knows they what else he doing. In the chat, in the chat, they saying shrooms, but yeah, that should blow your he, mind. He said, he said, he, hey, he, he hey, 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 don't, 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 don't blame that on the plants. That nigga just cool. Nah, certain niggas that should have blow your mind. Check him out. Even the shrooms. That ain't no shrooms. That nigga had some toad. He had that toad poison and shit. He probably smoked that shit. Hey. Hey, look at this nigga on the screen. Check this nigga out. Yeah, that's the nigga that said the only porn you can watch on in his nation is gay porn. Yeah. He said that for real? Yeah, he said that on here. Man, that nigga out there, bro. He out there. And if he talking that type of nonsense, nigga. <laughs> yeah, the only porn you watching in uh our nation. Yeah, that nigga say, oh uh, nigga, they got a rule in our nation. No, you can't watch no porn. If you're gonna watch porn, it's gonna have to be man on man. Wow. Yeah, wow, <laughs> he out there. He done. He done, man. That nigga toasted. <laughs> nay, nay. That nigga <laughs> toasted. <laughs> that nigga <laughs> mind is fried. Nay, nay. That nigga say, hey, we got a new rule in our nation. Oh, uh, you can't watch porn. Porn is banned in our nation. It's banned. Only porn, only way. You can watch it if it's man on man. I say, man, this nigga. Yeah, that nigga, nigga been, he been, he been kudalini diving and shit. <laughs> and 
somebody somebody then, then fucked with him. You know what I'm saying? Because the only nigga say some shit like that a nigga who been tampered with. Yeah, that, that's trying to take his shit. Three little niggas in when he was locked up was trying to take his shit. He called Hillary Clinton. He called he called Hillary Clinton. <laughs> nah. oh, nah, he, did, uh, he did say when he was in the county down here, he was in uh in, in jail down in Houston. He was in there telling them niggas he had land in Costa Rica and all this shit. And one of them niggas told him shit his lying ass up. He talking about his blood nigga. That's why I don't fuck with blood now. He said his nigga told him shit his lying ass up. You know what I'm saying? He do none of that karate shit in there. Oh, nah, I, don't, I don't think Farrell gonna let him. I don't. I, now, I, Favreau, I want to... listen, now Farrell told the story. Yeah. He, Farrell said he left it alone. You know he about to go home, but he he came out saying the nigga pressed him in there. Farrell told that story. I see. Oh, they yeah, probably right. did. Yeah. I mean, anybody can I get it. Shit. It Farrell, we like one of the niggas that talk too much, but he's a jailhouse nigga though. So, yeah. and then Farrell went Still, to. The, I wouldn't take. I like wouldn't the, tell he, that story. He was over there where the niggas get the pills and shit, where they send you the medical and all that type of shit. You been there on the crazy bed line. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah. We don't fuck with niggas on when you down when you down state, nigga. Niggas on that mad line, nigga be nodding. Yeah, like, the look, 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 time look, I go to look at your uh, man over there. When when we was on the yard, only time I go to peel car, I go down there to go hustle. They call it dopey. When you dopey, you get you to fell out of place and they walk down there to the peel line, nigga. Cause I they be taking them Benadryl another building or something like that. Yeah, I never. I. I it was uh my, my partner, he out of uh Pyro nigga, man. He out of uh damn man, what's the name of this little country town of It'll come to me. But uh yeah, I, I had to get that nigga off that shit, man. Like you taking this shit, you don't know what the fuck they give you. And this nigga hit his hoe sleeping, he ain't the same, nigga ain't talking, nigga ain't knowing what dead he is, all type of shit, man. They gave that nigga some Thorzine, nigga. My they man, my man. You, they just he'll just slide that bitch in the cup. You got a donut. <laughs> yeah, you, you got to take. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a fact. Yeah, they got a <laughs> shit nigga get turned up. Man. That shit, they're crazy, man. Them niggas, them nigga yeah, being yeah. there taking them bitter drills, but then the, them niggas, some of them niggas is on that Thorzine, nigga, because some of them niggas be wilding out too much. That's so they, was, they put that motherfucker on that Thorzine, nigga. That nigga be running around. Looking like Bart Simpson's in the eyes. Shit, nigga, be eyes be all big. Like, Yo, my man, you all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are you sure? Need, you, need a super side? Like, you know. Hey, hey, hey y'all up. ever heard of that nigga name? Oh, the nigga off the boondocks, man. What's the nigga name, man? The booty bandy nigga. He just got out. Right. <laughs> Please Johnson. Please, Johnson, this nigga here been doing interviews, bro. Man, this nigga crazy than the motherfucker. Y'all ever heard of him, the, the booty bandy nigga on Bulldogs? He a real person. The nigga named Fleece Johnson, man. Y'all look this nigga up. He on there. He did 40 years locked up, man. This nigga here. Years. Man, nigga thug the fuck out, man. That nigga, that, that nigga man, thug out, man. Shit that nigga finna go viral, bro. That nigga finna be the biggest thing. If he get him, he gonna be bigger than Charles and White. This nigga is off the motherfucking chain. Hey, I, I got a quick question. A real, real quick question. So I remember it was a little while ago, completely off topic. I was trying to ask the difference or the distinction on why you say American Indian instead of Native American or Black Indian or American uh, Indian. What, what's the... What's the reasoning or the language or the, the root word that makes you say American Indian as the identity? Well, I use American Indian because of uh, the Native American. That, that's 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 new shit. That's a political uh, title for the other people. So, uh, yeah, I go by American Indian, man, because that's what's. Uh, in the Constitution as well. So, and then I'm American and I'm Indian. Okay. Well, it was a language, though. You said something last time about the word, what it actually means. It was like the people of God, but I can't oh, remember. Oh, Los Gentes Indios. Los Gentes Indios. Los Gentes Indios. Los Gentes Or Nino, Nino Indio. Nino Indio as well. Children of God. Los Gentos Indios. Los Gentes. Los Gentes. All right. I wanted to remember that because uh, that stuck with me. I heard it, but I was driving, so I couldn't write it down or nothing. But yeah, I well, I, well, yeah, you can look on L.A. Times in the 1980s. They came out with an article on there, uh, that, and they wrote, the, they wrote about that on the 
So Los look Gintes it up, uh, Los Gentes Indios. Right. Columbus, LA uh, Times article, 1988, I think it was. 88. All right. I appreciate that. I'm I'm going to move out the way. Y'all Y'all keep it going. Peace, peace. Hey, hey Top Cat. What's up, bro? Who who's the brother that was smoking out the can on your life? Man, that was your home. What was it like? That nigga was, that nigga said you know you know and hit that hoe. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the Hebrews was over here that night. Nah, that wasn't no Hebrews. So the Hebrews went on the panel, Cotton's I knew was over here that night. Right, right and then you zoomed in and on him like you like you was like, what the hell? Know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the nigga smoked a crack rock time. on my panel. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> nigga fired up a crack rock out of old English can, out of the middle of hot life can on my panel. I, I swear to God. Yeah. Dude. What's that nigga name though? Y'all give me his name. Oh, Chief Jonesy. <laughs> Chief Jonesy smoked the crack rock live <laughs> on my panel out of a, out of a, a That ain't the first time he did it? That's the first time I seen him do it. Damn. Uh, and then he looked like he was like he tried to play it off like he didn't realize the camera was still on. He, he didn't know. <laughs> I had put I had blew his ass up because I was right. trying to get a good look and see was I tripping. Right. Yeah, a nigga named Chief Jonesy smoked a crack rock. A three dollar piece right here on my <laughs> show, man. Live in front of it. Man, man, get the fuck out of here, yo. Going, you styling, man. You say niggas ain't smoking weed. Nah, I don't want to see that nigga smoking no crack, man. <laughs> <laughs> yo, he oh, oh Chief Josie, my man. Yo, what's going on? What's this about, yo? Like, you, you, oh man. So the right point is, I, 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 I saw that live, but I didn't see it live. It was like I just was watching the video on a fluke and caught it. Like, what the hell? Oh, <laughs> man. And what face when he hit it and held it? Like, eyes popped. <laughs> nah, money drip. Nah, nah, hey, that don't hey, stay top, right top, exactly. Top, <laughs> top, top heaven happened to have him on the, the blue up screen, too. That's the fucked up. That's the crazy part. That nigga Yo, get the, the fuck out of here. Bro. Oh, man. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nah, my dude, what's going on? Well, straight out of the can, my bro. <laughs> Damn. Oh, man. Old National TV. Wow. <laughs> wild. Son. Like, they, yeah, that, that's some real wild shit, man. I mean, it's allegedly, right? It's not. Is it allegedly? You could allegedly go watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, he's he smoking that rock, bro. <laughs> oh, that's the no. shit you ain't gonna do no hey, weed hey, in, bro. Where you, that's what I'm about to say. So wherever you you from Newark, right? Uh, a one. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Where do what do you know, niggas smoking out of a, a Miller Light can? What they smoking? From what I ain't you know, saying, you know? nigga, man. Listen, my dude, I talk my back in the early '80s. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No sweat. So I'm just gonna come on here. now. Come on, now. don't run like. Uh, you don't. You don't want me to finish, brother? Nah, you good. I moved him. Okay, I, I appreciate it. Like, and I don't mind having the back and forth with him. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just want the space to just land here. So what I'm saying is. It's been proven that there's Some viewers more. may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. But <laughs> then enough artifacts that have been found that have been dated to pre-Columbian times <laughs> that we find amongst the natives in there. Yo, what the fuck? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 rounds, you know what I'm saying? A, a, amongst <laughs> more than enough areas and demographics. Oh, so it's like we can talk nah, about specific nah, articles nah, and their validity because how no then do you smoke. explain <laughs> the pre-Columbian Hebrew Israelite presence amongst the natives? And I'll land there because I, I don't I don't know if he got the discipline, but go ahead. Hey, sure, I said you seen that Any questions? Place? He tried to play that shit off smooth, though. Damn, nigga. What's he tried you to doing play that off hella smooth. Nah, man. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Damn. <laughs> and you know he cracked out of his mind. That's the only way you'll do that shit on accident. You know what I'm saying? Man, <laughs> man yeah, listen, bro. man. Send a, send a man a prayer, man, to get help, man. Right. Like, that's all I can do, man. That's being in the prison right there, nigga. He wasn't like, no Hebrew, though. I can tell you that right now. Cool. Yeah, nah, he, he an Aboriginal. He an Indian. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> an Indian. 
That's what I'm four, saying, man, like, you know? He over there <laughs> having a crack smoke. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. I, I could get that in cash. I don't think I'm gonna make the bank. <laughs> Damn, bro. Yeah, that's sad though, man. You that know nigga, what I'm saying? That but that's some shit. Craig Rock, that shit going down in history. That nigga. Right. Craig Rock live. You got a problem if you if you doing that shit on live? And hey, you, you saying your skin, you ain't got the he sense. Not the like, like, I should have heard what right. he was saying. The shit that was coming out of his mouth. I kept like, hey, chill out, chill out. I got it's all good, bro. It's all good. And then that nigga got to talk about the molecular structure and, the, <laughs> and that nigga started talking crazy. After he hit it, he came right. off that hole and started talking and he just sound like... I told you, there, seen man. his look in his face and his neck when he like popped it over, like he held it. Right. He popped over like... Bah. He tried yeah, to play the him. shit off. Because when he, he looked at the camera, he seen himself because he was right. blew up. That's why I took him out. Man, you blew it up right at the right moment too. <laughs> Damn, no, bro. but uh, Judy, you a hating ass nigga though. Why you say that? <laughs> Come on, bro. They get everybody doing the same <laughs> shit. It ain't just me. Nigga, everybody ain't hating, nigga. You don't. Everybody jumps off the cliff. You go too. So how am I hating? How am I hating, man? man? I'm showing support. Know how you hate, man? Ain't nobody doing no hating, man. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, I'm glad the Hebrews ain't under the heat right now because yeah, shit, y'all like, like to, y'all like to. No, no, no. But didn't you say some shit like y'all uh, under the sin because y'all was gay or something like that from a verse three thousand years a ago? Fact. That's a fact. So, y'all so cursed. It's uh, still, it's still yeah, hitting he us. Sister over here yesterday. Do you know her? Now, so misquoted I'm verse not... to call us gay is hitting us. But, but, but that's a fact, but, brother. We have Hebrew Israelites who've established that. Okay, so, so 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 another same applies to another then apparently. You know what I'm saying? Guilty by association. Nah, and that's the same. And that's the same with an Aboriginal. That's your boy. That was y'all man smoking crack. (laughs) I I mean, hey, hey, but you know what? The real talk, though. Look, look, look. look. This shit ain't even funny, bro. People got real situations. Nah, real talk, bro. From a nigga who sold crack. So it's like you know, we we can sit here and laugh and joke at people on vices or. The things that they fall victim to, bro. But you ain't no better than that, man, for saying what you're saying about them. What did I say about him? I'm just saying Ooh. just the fact that just the fact that that man has a weakness that we don't have. But we shouldn't right. laugh at. Well, wait, wait a minute. Real talk, bro. You, you, you're, you're Israelite. You supposed to be a okay, righteous man. You supposed to be a righteous man. You, okay, go ahead. You, you know the government put that into our communities. Uh, and you know that, that, know. Okay, that everybody is not going to be able to uplift themselves up by the bullshit. Brother. There's gonna there's gonna be niggas who fall victim to it. We should not sit here and clown them. No Brother, more than uh, we clown. Uh, no more than we clown. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this real quick. Look, look, if I'm riding balls. through, look, brother. If I'm riding through a neighborhood that's uh, impoverished, look, listen, that's impoverished. I could be driving any, I could be driving a fucking Ferrari. I could be driving a DB, whatever, whatever. I could be driving whatever, right? I'm always going to look at them as victims. I'm never going to sit there and try to benefit from their demise. Because we okay. know that this is, we you. know that this is a system that's you. been worked at that. We but, know that this is, that's the same that's the same thing. It's we a know difference, this- though, than people on the street than him coming in and trying to educate. That's the big difference. You know what I'm saying? And then, you I mean, know, it's, I mean, what you doing your time is your time. But exactly. don't come on there and expose us <laughs> all of that. But some of us might have yeah. passed it, too. Yeah, yeah nah, right. yeah, nah. Well, I'm going to say this because it happened on my channel. I'm mad in the sun, bitch. That nigga buried the shit out of me that night. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Hey, yo. No, that's shit. some funny shit, though. Right. They you... come out the Hebrews page. They they clip that motherfucking picture. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Did he catch Hold that? Yeah, yeah, they did a like remix Indians single. Over here smoking crack, hanging out. Nah, with <laughs> yo, you got said... the nigga on my, on my pound and he right outside of me. Oh, shit. yo, I didn't even <laughs> peep that. I thought you like did he that. Was pass it. Nah, yeah. that was that my man. That, yeah, that nigga got me looking bad out there, man. Right. Now, now that's that's nah, look. Crack hey, real shit. talk. Look, look, real, hey, look, real talk. Right. Look, I sold crack. I sold dope. I sold ease. I sold. What we call haze. I sold all that shit. But guess what though? Nigga, I repented. It wasn't I repented to myself or I repented okay. to the individuals that you know what I'm saying that that basically I rose up over. So at right. the end of the day, nigga, I'm well, I'm way, nigga. I got three college degrees, nigga. I got right. children. I got children. I ain't even I'm not rolling like that in any capacity. I'm telling you yeah. what I did as a youth. Can I say I, this real quick? Can ahead, I bro. say it? Open yeah, rebuke is better than secret love. You know what I'm saying? So if we set a higher standard for ourselves. Shit like that, you know what I'm saying, is is to be frowned upon. You That's know what I'm saying? That's, that is a fact. That that and that that right there, you have to let a nigga know, like you said, yo, that shit not cool, my dude. Nah. You got to kick that not, problem. That's yeah. the Lord advocating for him in reality, though, trying to get him some help. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like he told on himself. <laughs> That nigga say that's the Lord. So the Lord said, "Then watch that nigga." He told on himself. Lord bought that crack rock That's a tower moment. Look, that's a that's an expose. Top cat. That's an expose. That's a that's that's what's bringing into the darkness come to the light. Right. Look, 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 look. That's what that that's that's some real shit, nigga. That's some real shit in real time, nigga. That's facts. You're if we swept it under the rug, we would be wrong for that. If we just didn't say not act like we we didn't see it, hey, we'd know, be wrong for that. Been back over here. See. Hey, that's what he, he need to dry out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, they did a remix single, nigga. They took the clip, they took the clip and did a um ISUPK a mind control <laughs> experiment against the motherfuckers. Because a lot of them niggas come from them same them, them same grounds, bro. And a lot of us come from them same ground. I mean, we get a few brothers who square, who never had no, in, who never indulged in the streets, who came straight from the high school, went to college, and went straight to a job. But some of us right. never graduated high school, went to selling drugs, then realized this: we doing some fuck shit to our people. But I know, I know good people that did not come from the streets like that and got caught up in smoking crack and just ruined their entire life, man. People and older than the white people. You know See, the white boy, the white boys like smoke. Yeah, it could have started don't, like that. You know what I'm saying? Them white boys can smoke crack oh, yeah. and then not smoke crack for another thirty days, nigga. Right. You know That's what I'm saying? saying. Niggas can't do that. Niggas get nah. turned. You see, nigga washing windows. And you the yeah. less likely to be at the treatment center getting help. You just going through the the life is just hitting you. You know what I'm saying? Whole time he get cleaned up and get a nah, good they, job like it they never they happened. Got, you know, so let, me like, look, look. let me say this real quick, real quick, everyone, because it's something that something that y'all said is important as far as how it stick to our community more. And this one, we got to get a little scientific and take into account the neuromelanin. So when a, 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 a Aboriginal or Indigenous person to this earth, that's the, the children of the sun, when they get addicted to something, it's going to be a bit harder to get out because the neuromelanin and the way their molecular the structure is set up, bro. So. I know that because you know what I'm saying you niggas had a vice and that, on but that people, plays you into know, your fatty that. cells. That look, that plays into that's your fatty yeah, because that's that true. and that that's a key reason why a lot of people who go through that have to do a detox. Fat. They gotta clean their fat. system out and get it out their system. system. Yeah, all them twelve the, they say twelve them the, the, the system they call you know the doctor and the respiratory all that. But I had uh, when I was working out because I, I play sports and shit. One of my uh, OGs, like it, it, I always come across uh, divine masculine figures the shape that molded me throughout my walk. And the nigga told me, like, look, you know, be careful of uh, getting certain addictions or things like that because, and then he broke it down to me, you know what I'm saying, scientifically as far as us being, but that that's one of the reasons, bro, from Lena Horn to niggas' aunties and uncles or family members, or even some people, parents that might have been on that shit, so. I know he just said something about the you know a white boy being able to 
do it here, do it there. And they also had cocaine. So, you know, some of them still be fucked up off the meth and shit. So I don't want to. But that's how they was able to come into communities. Hey, look, that's how they was able to come into communities and get people hooked on it. And then they was able to get off of it. Exactly. Yep. That's what was. That's the play they ran on us. You think motherfucker gonna look? You think motherfucker gonna gonna, gonna look at a glass pipe and be like, yeah, that that's like weed? No, it's not, motherfucker. <laughs> look, yeah. take a look at this shit. So people start, but understand this though, they ran that play in South America first. Yeah. In the nineteen seventies, they ran the the, the um, free base. Down there, they realized that most of the people who indulge in this so-called drug has lost integrity, lost respect, and the only thing that they crave was for another hit. So they already knew what it was before they brought it to the Americas and got our people hooked on it. So it's like, you know, so we, 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 we sit here, and I'm not saying we, I'm not saying y'all, I'm just saying just real talk, like outside of, you know, these conversations, the reality of it is, is, is biological, is chemical, is mental, and there's whatever other type of warfare there is that has been done to our people. So when I say, no, you no facts, the damn show can't forget the spiritual, but that all tie into everything you just said. But to, to be able to kick a substance, these some of these substances that they have out here, it take a certain amount of spirituality about yourself. You know what I'm saying? Take love. A lot of people. But but listen, that's why we can't it? throw away the church. Because a lot of times these people go through the church. Right. That's programming. The that's meetings, NA, NA meetings is at the church. Yeah. Exactly. But, that, but, but understand. So that has a place because I have seen this shit work for people. That's why I don't yeah, really no, talk down about, about the church like, like that. Like, like, I don't believe in none of that shit. That's the first step. But it was, but it was, it was also like you saying it was infiltrated because if you go back, I go back two, three generations to my great grandmother, my nigga. She used it and was a a goddess walking around in her higher self, using the same. You know what I'm saying? Of, of how how old are you, my brother? Uh, thirty three. 32. 33. So your grandmother would have been what? 60? My grandmother something? would be like 90 right now. 90? Um, 2011. She dipped. She was like, uh, I think she was like 80. Uh, something like 80. that. Well, she went so to my great grandmother, when I was, say, like 24, 24, 20. I think we got mad down. But you know, as far as as far as like you know, drugs and all that, man, I've seen that shit firsthand, bro. Like you, you sitting in my BM or sitting in my Range Rover, and I'm surrounded by zombies, and I'm surrounded surrounded by other individuals who are trying to seek the same financial gain as I got. So at the end of the day, it's like, look, all of that shit is post traumatic stress syndrome. Even at the age, even at the age of forty seven. You know what I'm saying? You don't you don't ever really, you know, lose that. But you learn you 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 create some type of empathy for your people to see your people go through that. Because in the process of that, that raises these children, that raises themselves, that get into these gangs, that become stunt dummies, that go out there and and, and go hunt ops and go rob working people. And it's a whole lot of different um paradigms and realities that come into just the dysfunctionality of people who have the substance abuse issue and just the, the fact of even the issue of getting money is is also an addiction so you know peace definitely peace of the gods man peace of the goddesses man and um you know i mean but I, I see, i've seen people like they might be like the square with the head on their shoulders, and then they might have some people that be kind of wild in the streets. They get them on the shit, and then they life just fall apart the whole time. The dude that that got them on the shit, he don't got his life together. He got a house, cars, and family and shit. He don't put it, put all that in the past. But the homie that he got on the shit is is just living in a gutter. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing. Oh, I he seen can do that shit. Man. I seen that shit firsthand, bro. I seen working people. Who just thought that heroin was just like a social drug, like weed, and right. they and they they fucked around 
and they found right. out real fast. Right. That this Especially if you right first here. generation that it, like if you th second, third generation, you already know what it is. You know what I'm saying? You you already like, man, I don't I don't want to go so so far. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of times it'd be just like some game goofy dudes 20, 30 years later. Like I don't know, like fentanyl, motherfuckers ain't gonna live as long as some of these crackheads. You know what I'm saying? With this fitting all running around, man. Cause that hey, shit but so where so what you think? What what kind of depression issues or um you know just mental issues or just um stress, you know what I'm saying? Do you think a person is going to try some motherfucking fit? The same thing with embalming fluid, fluid, fluid. True. They use the rappers to promote it like it's cool. True. True. Hell yeah. You understand? Sure. You, don't, you don't hear about none of this shit until the rappers talk about it. Sure, all that shit. Hell yeah. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> I mean, Molly's motherfucking ecstasies. Um, Did you hear the uh, Marley dude died? Who? The uh, one of the Marley boy. The uh, like he was like like thirty years old. He died from. They said he died from a, a, a asthma attack. But they said they did an autopsy. They said his lungs was black. Like he smoked a gang of weed. And, yeah, and that's like his lungs is all fucked That's why you gotta. That's why you have to do a detox. You have to do a lung detox, my dude. You have right. to do watercress, oregano oil, you know, cayenne pepper, and there's a lot of other herbs that can clear your motherfucking lungs out, even shrink tumors, nigga. Like real yeah. talk, and I've witnessed this. If the right. person he, is strong he enough, he had asthma and was a heavy smoker. But asthma yeah, is yeah. only asthma is only mucus in the bronchial tubes. You can get rid of asthma if you treat it properly. You can't treat it by putting carcinogens, which is smoke. No, exactly. That, you know what I'm saying? Into your lungs, into right. that which you're trying to heal. But he That's can't, but he's facing life or death and can't even quit weed. You know what I'm saying? I, he can probably quit weed. He probably he would now. love it. <laughs> <laughs> he what? He did now. Oh, oh, shit, damn, yeah, shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They did an autopsy and all, all that shit, bro. They, like, his lungs was fucked up. And all he did was smoke weed, and he had asthma, though. Because you know weed has carcinogens in it, brother. Right. Carcinogens. It's the paper you smoke it. It's the tobacco. The tobacco is what makes people be addicted to smoking weed. Smoking hella blunts, right, exactly. Yeah, the hella tobacco. Blunts. The tobacco is equivalent to smoking a cigarette. True. That's why most people who smoke weed and smoke blunt smoke cigarettes. They don't fire up a cigarette. Hell yeah. You understand? Because you can't smoke a blunt every hour while you at work, but you can smoke a cigarette. And then yeah. now you got two, now you got two different situations going on. True. You have True. a tobacco, you have a reliance upon tobacco, and you have a reliance upon marijuana or THC. And then a, a lot cigarette. of them are gonna get a bottle. And, 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 and you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cross oh, shit is easy to listen. I was smoking Newport 100s, nigga, the long ones. Yeah. Packs, like, boom, just stop. Said, so, you know what? This shit ain't, this shit is counterproductive. I'm up here killing myself. I'm coughing. I'm working out and I'm starting to feel it. Sayonara. Right. Stop right. smoking weed. Look, stop smoking weed. Had the best time of my life. Never even looked back. You know what I'm saying? I, I smoke every night and I just got finished smoking a little while ago. But I tell right. you, when I wasn't smoking, nigga, I was running on premium, nigga. Exactly. I was I was I was a V12. I had a V12 engine, nigga. My mom was a V12 engine. I was running on premium. And and it's like, you know, you you don't see the enjoyment you get out of just being high for life or just having sobriety or just like, you know what, man, I'm good. Boom. I don't need this shit to go to sleep. I don't need this Wait. shit to eat. I don't need this shit really to do nothing. Everything I'm doing is fun without it. Yeah, it is a good feeling. Shit. So, you know, just 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 on that point. But if you smoke, nigga, smoke your motherfucking lungs, <laughs> nigga. Put 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 a blunt in both ears, both of your nose, both I mean both of your nose nostrils and your motherfucking mouth, nigga, for all I care. True. Shit, you know I, I had a cousin, that nigga was smoking like half ounce a day. You know what I'm saying? Just blowing it down for no reason, man. I'm like, man, you getting old and you ain't you kind of too old to be living at home. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? You like you a grown ass man because you smoke up all your money and then you're gonna buy hell of shoes and shit like you 20 they, years look, old. So check you know it out though. They tell you 
they tell you because now, like, oh, weed is legal. Weed ain't no weed is a problem. We make people lazy. Yeah, if you dude. get the wrong, and you ain't gonna always get that strand that had you fucking cleaning the house right. and changing tires and going out there doing oil changes and shit. You gonna get that shit like a motherfucker. You gonna, you gonna be sitting back <laughs> looking at the, looking at the motherfucker ceiling and shit like yeah. you know. For real. And most of them is already lazy as it is, weed or not. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So they just get they get some weed and they just even more lazy. You know, they don't want to do it. It's a not damn gas. Thing. Nigga be like, oh that that's gas. Nah, nigga. Like, you know, look, look, listen. You do have individuals who can function off of that shit and be very productive. I'm right. not gonna front. It's a lot of niggas. Right. A lot of people I seen that smoke weed, and I'm like, yo, how the fuck, nigga, smoke, nigga be running on. I, for me, it doesn't work that way. Now, for mm-hmm. other people, they make and do that, <laughs> and they make and maneuver. But guess what? If they can maneuver at that level while smoking weed, imagine what level they can maneuver without smoking weed. <laughs> if you're a heavy smoker, it's not, it's not good for you. You know what I'm saying? Just like drinking. If you drinking. Off the walls is drinking too much. It's, it's going to kill you just like how with this dude smoking too much weed. Then he getting already had a, a pre-existing condition and doesn't value his life enough to, to maybe like try to smoke less or, or, or even quit. Hey, he's a roster, though. You know what I'm saying? He's a Rastafarian. <laughs> Rastafarian yeah. is different from just niggas with dreads in their head. This nigga is relying upon the herbal. He need the herbal. He need, you right. know what I'm saying? This is the way to treat his mental. You know what I'm saying? But see, a lot of this shit right here, what this shit does is, um, how do I want to say? Um, it deters you from doing certain things. That's why they call it, you, you, you're getting stoned. You know what I'm saying? You're getting stoned. Like, and I, like I said, I, I smoked weed since I was 16 years old. It's facts. But at the end of the day, it's like, you know, like all of this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, you have to experience it. Like even alcohol. I went like I went like 13 years without drinking nothing. Like I just started drinking wine like six months ago. Like, you know what I'm saying? Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Like just drinking wine. I can't even if, That's if how I it get, starts. Nah, but see That's the thing is with starts. me. Let me explain something to you. The minute I get one of them episodes where I'm spinning. And I'm like, God, I, I'm not gonna do this no more. I'm done. I don't want to feel like that. Man. I don't I don't get them I don't get the I just you know, a couple sips of some wine or whatever every now and then. I'm not drinking no, I'm not t- drinking no bourbon, no cognac, no brandy, or nothing, no, no, none of that type of shit, no gin or no vodka. Man, I know I know a man that been to uh prison over DUIs. And so he was like sober for like 10 years, got his life to be- back together, was back on top better than ever. He started back drinking, go on a Mexico trip. Man, that's, he was but, that's, so but you know what that is? They yeah, tell you people, places, and things, nigga. What, right. I, what, I, what, I, what I didn't do was I don't fuck with clubs. Like, I, I already know if I go to club, nigga, I'm going to get a couple shots. Right. Might, get some, might get some vodka and some great food. Might, you know, might do something different. But. That's why you have to stay away from certain, from certain, from certain situations. Right. And even when you're in those situations, you got to know your limit. True. Man, this man got a, he came back home and, and got into a wreck. Drunk. <laughs> and if, if that would have happened in the ninth year and not after the 10th year, he would have went back to prison. You know what I'm saying? But at ten, it, it was 10 years that had went by between his last DUI though. But if he would have got that Another DUI within within the ten years, they would have nailed his. Man, ass. you don't want to be on a road drunk, nigga. Like that's crazy. Imagine these niggas with these Hellcats and these muscle cars. Right. Oh, I haul cars. The yeah. most cars I see that be fucked up be the motherfucking um 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 muscle cars. The fucking the, no no the Challengers. Yeah. Them fucking Chargers and them fucking um SS um Camaros. Yep. And other Man, than I'm that. Good. It be the M4s, the M5s, the M7. Like, I see it, M8s, nigga. Like, the, the new shit, nigga. The eight, M850. But my man Lucini, right? Look, when we used to, I used to go to the Botanica, nigga, uptown and get Northern Light and get real purple haze, nigga. 
that shit that be soft that has them little purple strands coming off of it. Right. Like some real shit. Like, yo, you smell that shit. Like, oh shit, I can't wait to smoke this. This is going, this is going to be lovely. The smell of it is just um, <laughs> antagonizing. You know what I'm saying? That shit right, right. there with it isn't captivating. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like the northern light, nigga. Oh my god, I haven't smelled northern light in years. We talking about some nice spongy type of shit. None of that old. You talking about up in Canada? Nah, nigga. New York, NYC, nigga. Uptown, oh, okay. nigga. Harlem, up nigga. One four five, nigga. One four five, all the way up to one autobahn, nigga. All the way up there by autobahn and um. What's the shit right there, man? Oh my god, They're like that's the real shit, like. I, a, nigga, a lot of these niggas got weed out here, but you gonna get some New York weed? Oh, nigga, you gonna oh, be on, you, you I'm be a, on I'm Pluto, from, uh, nigga. I'm from California up north, and I used to be on like a platform like this, and some nigga from New York, you know, you don't, you know what I'm saying? You don't really be knowing who motherfuckers is, even though you you social with him, you know what I'm saying? He like hit, hit me try, talking about send him a package of weed and a teddy bear or some shit, some of that Cali good. I'm like, nigga, I don't know you like that, brother. That's a motherfucking federal offense. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, it ain't even that serious, bro. You know what I'm saying? You nah, that like northern, that? Hey, look, that northern light and that real purple haze, nigga, that shit yeah. how you on Pluto, nigga. For real. That shit ain't like, like this shit all these niggas got. Oh, I got this. I got that. I got this. I got... Nah, nigga. That real shit, nigga. nigga that real spongy. like this, bro. It's three weed clubs in a one-mile radius from where I live at. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. At least three. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, I've never yeah. been up in one of them spots, and I don't plan on going in one. But, right. I mean, you know, I don't plan on... I don't have no reservations of smoking weed. Like, any given day, I'm like, up. Oh, Right, and it's recreational. It ain't a medical joint. Anybody with uh, an eighteen over ID or twenty one over, I believe. You know what I'm saying? So it's like yeah, it's just it, it, it's just with me. I don't like nothing that fucks with my morning. Right. If I'm in bed past six o'clock, nigga, something is wrong. Like I'm up six, nigga. Career got the motherfucking um Starbucks dark roast going. You know what I'm saying? Already set up, handling business, doing what I need to do. I'm up. You know what I'm saying? So it's like anything that has me like if I'm 10 o'clock, nigga, I'm, I'm that's I'm a, I'm a catastrophize. Like, nigga, I woke up at 10 o'clock. Oh, man, how the fuck you going to let yourself wake up at 10? Nah, nigga, you got to get up early, nigga. Like, you know, I go to sleep early, but I get up early. But so anything that had me filled it feeling like stuck or I'll be waking up like, oh, my God, oh, I don't feel like doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit right there is not that shit counterproductive, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's kind of I don't care if I got I don't know. What was the baddest bitch out right now? I don't know. I I don't know. Some bitch off of Instagram, but some woman off of Instagram, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> some woman off of Insta. Some I don't know. Some of them. You know what I'm saying? I'm still not I'm still not smooching up all motherfucking night. All all morning, nigga. I got shit I gotta do. Too. I gotta go. Like, yeah, that shit look nice. That shit look nice up on the cover. I can't pay that shit no no attention no more. Too. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, yeah. like we've we've been inundated so much with with so much imagery through these phones. It's like it ain't even the same no more. Like it get it's over. Like it, to, I start getting tired of it. Like you know what I'm saying? Like to where it's to the point to where I don't even <laughs> fuck with that. That. Listen, bro, real talk, that Instagram shit, I ain't gonna front to you, my dude. I don't fuck with man. I get tired of that shit. Be inboxing me. Like, come on, my what, what I'm gonna do with that? Right. Like, I, I know what I'm gonna do with it, but then what I'm gonna do with it after that? Right, right. You know what no, it's not even no point in yeah, spending, it's like, your, come on, spending, man. spending your wheels on somebody you can't have. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, it's yeah. not even that because that's the type of broad that get up. Eight o'clock in the morning, fully dressed, eyelashes, makeup, right. and just sit a fucking round all day. Like you know, nah, nigga, like nah. You, you, you got some polo sweatpants, you got some some Nike sweatpants. Something you can switch it up. Like nah, we can't do that like that. Like all day long, like that type of love and hip hop type shit. Like nah, that ain't no real type. That's all, that's all it be is is just some straight up thirst trapping. Just exactly, and niggas be lusting. Nigga be lusting. Nigga, nigga right. Be, 
You you see all women now, they take pictures with their ass to the back. They always try exactly. to they, yeah, Exactly. Like, I be saying that. <laughs> like, yo, what's this about? Like, that, right. that's, all, that's the only thing you advertising? So and now they, they hella self conscious about it. If they ain't got a, a like a, a huge ass, you know what I'm saying? Like they feel hey. they feel inferior next to you know what I'm saying, like in a natural body, you know what I'm saying? Like nigga, that look, ain't a good look. I be we, in the gym, nigga. I be in the gym. I be seeing that thong, the thong, thong, thong. And yeah. I be seeing the women who be having them motherfucking yoga pants on with no underwear on. So I right. I'm, I'm in there. I'm I'm in there. I'm in well, there. That's the and thing I, we were saying we all serving. <laughs> Everybody talking about they got daughters, but how how are they viewing themselves out here? You know what I'm saying? But to see, where we over you know There's a saying? limit. There's a limit with that. Like you know, if you you got a significant other at home, you know you, you may maybe it wouldn't be wise for you to be indulging in in that type of eye candy or something that's going to conflict you or where you be like, you know what, I got to try that one time type shit. Like, nah, you shouldn't be engaging in that. And you shouldn't be overly engaging in that type of behavior. You're like, you're, you know, you, you you might be rolling with your boy. I be in the gym. Niggas I know, they be like, yo, damn, man, she right. And I be like, yeah. I mean, yeah. What, what you want me to say? Like, yeah. I mean, I mean you, you gonna, your eyes gonna see what your eyes gonna see. It's exactly. like, like, I'm not about to be trying to whip my neck back and break my neck. Just, you know what I'm saying? Over here. Rubber neck and it's You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you you, you, you know, in her bag. You, you, you know, got to spin the block. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you, you might be carrying her bag, nigga. Like, nah, nigga. I, <laughs> you you might. And that's and I see that, nigga. Like, nah, nigga. I'm a sad we don't, we don't do that. Like, right. You know, like if I, you know, find somebody who right and exact, who down to earth. Nigga, have, that's you ever, it, nigga. have you ever yeah. noticed when they try to catch you looking like they know what they doing? You know what I'm saying? Like they want to be seen, bro. Like it's 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 extreme thirst trapping. And in a lot of case, a lot of cases, a lot of dudes approach them day in day out. And a lot of times they probably just most dudes they just shoot down. Ninety nine percent of them. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying, bro. They had a video a couple years back of this chick is walking through New York. And showing mm -hmm. how many times niggas was put every block she went to, niggas like, yo, yo, you look right. like Halle Berry. Like, like <laughs> niggas, niggas, <laughs> niggas right. on her, niggas lusting. Like, nah, nigga, like, yo, she a beautiful woman, bro. Right, right. She, and and I, I understand whoever dealing with her, they should be happy, but that ain't for me right there. Like, right, you know, I wouldn't want my girl to have to endure that, bro. Like, unless I mean, it seemed like uh, a person like her like that shit, bro. I wouldn't want that type of female, bro, that like that, like that, like that type of attention. You know what I'm saying? And then just to have dudes lusting after her, bro. Like, it's too much. That's too much to deal with, bro. That's like some type of what do they call that, man? But some they type get of used to that, though. They they a lot of women get used to that. They already know when they pop it. According to how how many how many niggas is trying to really get with them, you understand what I'm saying? So it's like it is what it is, man. I'm saying I definitely don't want no 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 busted looking bra. Like no, I, I, I definitely want a motherfucker. I definitely want to have my hand like you, you turn around, you see a nigga like yeah, looking like, dudes like that want yeah, to be like, jealous. It's, it's, it's some dudes that want you to be jealous of their chick. For, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the oddest thing, bro. Like, I'd never want to, like... And that's why I don't like to look at a lot of these females online because I, I have, I'm under depression. They probably got a dude, but he just so much of a simp. He let them do whatever they want to. Exactly. You know what I'm he, saying? He's some you know? type pimp type dude. He exactly. To, like, he, like, he a pimp. Like, yeah, yeah, my chick getting that money off. Like, nigga, you crazy. You let your women exploit what's yours. That, that exactly. if... if Listen, oh, you might get a conversation, you might get some eye contact, but the right. body itself is yours. Like, that's supposed to be something that's sacred to you. Just it, right. And it's like Beyonce. We damn near don't seen her naked by now, bro. We until she got married, we ain't never seen her like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? She always had hey. some clothes on. She might have had her legs out, maybe a little bit of cleavage, but she now bro, with that she, jigger man. I mean that, 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 that now jigger she man was like, naked. <laughs> yeah, but that jigger man don't don't really care. He's sad. He don't really care like that. He you, 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 you already said, nigga. He said he got a rich chick from Peru that sniff Peru. Got a true. cousin from Cost Custom that get shit through. But girl, true, girl. I feel, so I feel ashamed that I feel ashamed of myself if I eyed that man's wife up and down. You know what I'm saying? Like, hold up, man, you out of pocket. You know what I'm saying? But at that's the same time, that's the that's the lower self that. 
Like, you know, most motherfuckers like, man, you that's some home, you a homo, nigga. You ain't looking at that ass right there. Like, right. nigga, what's wrong with you? You don't like that? Like, like that type of shit. But at the end of the day, you already know what what what's for you and what's not for you. Everything ain't for everything ain't for everybody. You can't right. dance on every record. <laughs> some records you gotta sit back, like, yeah, yeah, go ahead and do the two step to that. But True. at the end of the day, you can go ahead. Well, especially though, man, it's like it's so many other women out here, man. Like she's that a lot of black women ain't even married. So if I if I'm if I'm over here hawking on married women and shit, bro, that's a motherfucking that's a problem. Bro. When that's, that's going lusting, back to uh, bro, that's lusting, my dude. That's yeah, lusting. It is. You know what I'm saying? And that's going back to like to the Will Smith situation where uh, you had this, you know, whatever the hell they got going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, and most most black folks ain't even married. That's what I'm saying. So it's like. And then people want to have multiple wives, but don't know even how to be married to one wife. You know what I'm saying? Well, but you're going to run into dude, a burning if you, house. If you <laughs> can avoid, listen, if you can avoid the lower self and find somebody who really down for you, you might as well go for it because that opportunity don't come. You know what I'm saying? You find a, a sincere, like, you know, niggas be jumping into these, these situations, man. Like, right, you know, right. some people be dating each other for years. And then soon as they get married, that shit just fall apart. You know what I'm in my opinion, you married if if y'all been li living under the same roof and cohabitating. In my in, in my opinion, like you now, you played yourself by not getting the marriage certificate in, in, in certain ways. You look well, not at necessarily it. a commitment. Yeah, a commitment is a married. married. A commitment. Uh, a commitment. A commitment. A commitment is a marriage. A if y'all bills is co mingled for years, y'all married. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's, that, and that's what I'm saying. Like you know, if you. If you're committed to that individual, that's right. different. But it's like, exactly. you know, if like marriage itself is something that's more for business, like for business purposes, that's not right. for it is. Oh, or you love this person and you you committed and you want to take care of this person for infinity. Well, you have to look at it like this. So you have to look at spousal medical benefits. Now, if you're living with this person and you love her, you have a good job with spousal medical benefits, you want to make sure she's healthy. You know what I'm saying? Because if something happens and she don't have medical coverage, it's going to cost way more. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with life insurance. Uh, it's, it's a tax advantage. You have to look at it in multiple aspects as, uh, rather than just saying, I don't want to start, I don't want this piece of paper because. It's 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 the white man's institution. Really, what it's saying is that you can't get multiple benefits from multiple people. You know what I'm saying? You can only get spousal benefits from one person, not not five. You see what I'm saying? That's the only point of a marriage certificate, really, in, in reality. But the tax benefits of living together versus uh, not being on paper. What tax? What taxes? I mean, who are you talking? Who are you talking? So you first of all, uh, so if. What you is it? Israelite, right? You an Israelite, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. But we we Indians not tax, so we we're not part taxes is under the doctrine of discovery. Okay, that's but that's to, oh, 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 I'm talking about oh, oh, oh. the average American citizen. No, I'm not right, we, we we speaking in general. We speaking for I understand what you're us. saying, but that's not that's not gonna be the reality for a whole I'm just okay. gonna tell you why it would make sense to uh to yeah, file to mad, it's a business it's, it, it's a business it's for what? tax breaks and we, we, we tax, know that the u.s tax code is set up to um advantage married couples and businesses yes married couples and businesses get all the tax advantages in america you know what i'm saying so that's a, a know, marriage is like a llp man or or escort a right. marriage is a business it's just a conjoined business it's like nestle and Coca-Cola merging. Right. Well, I put it like this. The standard deduction right now for a married couple is what twenty-five roughly twenty-five grand. You know what I'm saying? And a single single uh 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 filing single is like twelve thousand five hundred. So if you quantify that plus uh cost of living increases over the course of 40 years, that's what is that? Well over a half a million dollars in tax savings. You know what I'm saying? In a lot of cases, you would get a refund because you overpaid. You see what I'm saying? You have to know how to work your tax brackets and how to, you know what I'm saying? It's called tax planning. So if if you just cohabitating with this person and you don't have that tax, that same tax advantage, you you just gave up on, on over a half a million dollars in uh, tax benefits over the course of that marriage or more. 
You know what I'm saying? So that adds up. That's the entire home or your retirement. You know, so you had to think of it along those levels. You know what I'm saying? And not just uh, like a nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you have to learn these tax loopholes, man, to where you don't have to set up all these shell corporations and do all this clandestine shit. You just doing, just living regular. You know what I'm saying? That's, it don't really take that much, bro. For real. Hello? 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 Yo, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the word? Yeah, I'm here. I don't know. Everybody must have got cut off, man. I was in the back just chilling. Yeah, I, I, I was. I was getting my spill off, and and I got. I don't know what happened. Yeah, but y'all talking about that marriage thing? Yeah, it's a contract agreement. Me and my partner been talking about this contract agreement, man. And uh, you right, it's got benefits, man. But uh, it's it's a deal, man. You gotta you gotta get with the right person, like minded person, man, to be with that person, man. Shit, otherwise it's gonna be a nightmare, brother. That's a True. fact. And that shit that's right now. Fact. That shit right now is like fucking five percent, nigga, of the population. The the men, the female, male, female population, especially from the ages of twenty five to fifty. You know what I'm saying? Do you re would you realize that the like say say more black women are single and working, right? They're actually paying a higher tax taxes by being they single. They don't give a fuck about that. They got options. <laughs> They got <laughs> options, nigga. They got options, nigga. True. Benny Hines, Benny Hines on fucking Wednesday night, nigga. True. Friday maybe Roof Crest, maybe may, maybe one of these other luxury of uh, these fucking three star restaurants, nigga. Hey, might, you might, might, might be right up now, in a verbo. You might might be up in a verbo for the weekend, nigga. Who knows? But that see, these women got uh, massive options because these niggas are beyond thirsty. Well, look at your scenario. Paying maybe eight hundred dollars a month in child support versus having a lower you? tax rate. Who pays child support? I'm not. I'm just saying. For example, not you. Oh, you know, okay. what I'm saying my, I, my my father, man. He 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 dealt with child support on two two kids, man. It was man to see him go through that was fucking. I never wanted to go through that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's like imagine. Imagine your hard-earned money, man. Like there's, you don't, you can't write off tax payment. I mean, uh, child support payments and all that. So you, but you, you know what? Don't see, look, look, see, see. Listen, let me just tell you something, right? Just for the people who don't know about this, right? Get with a one. Get with you know. I mean, for entertainment and educational purposes, it ain't got nothing to do with anything legal or lawful. But you'll know if your status is determine your jurisdiction that these people have over you. If your status is American Aborigine and you can prove that emphatically by putting it on a declaration and putting that out into the universe. They're still liable and, for child support. Nah, yeah. my listen, my dude. Listen, learn something, my dude. Because obviously, I mean, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that respectfully because me and you've been building the whole time. Like that's why when you say something that I'm listening, I'm like, all right, well, boom, this brother, he's good with the analytics. So I'm telling you something now. Your status determine their jurisdiction over you. Child support is a civil matter. It's civil. It's not criminal. I know that they say a family, but what? What? According to the Constitution, there's only two capacities: there's criminal and civil. There's no fucking municipal or oh, fucking traffic courts and none of this other shit. All this other shit is made up and it's quasi. Well, so I don't necessarily agree with that type of setup. I think I think there should be something in. I don't I don't like per se how child support is handled, but there should be something in place to hold men accountable instead of just going if around. A nigga left, if a nigga impregnated three children or two children by one woman. And he didn't commit to that one person and left her. Yeah, I mean, of course it should be situated. But I'm saying ultimately, like ultimately, that whole enforcement type of thing 
is something that's that's voluntary compliance, nigga. That well, ain't got nothing no, to do. Well, no one can force you. No one can force you to do nothing. You vi they can threat. They can put you under threat, duress, and coercion. Well, no, well, say for instance, Texas. If you back, if you back, no in the matter. Child support. They no can matter. Put you in jail. I, I could be anywhere in the fifty states, nigga. Jurisdiction must be proven. You right. And my staff, my staff. Look, look. look. No, 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 it ain't up if to you no have female. A case with no, no, the you know what it's up to? Let me, let me, let me read this. Let me get it off of this angle right quick, A1. What? And you can get right, it. What? What? Now, he's talking about when people that's in it. Um, like for, I'm in Texas too, brother, but it, like he said, it's, 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 uh, the child support is uh, voluntary. So if the other party, which is the custodial mother, the mother no, is the custodial yeah, parent, regard, yes. if she voluntarily go put you on it because she's trying to get benefits from the state. Right. You, you got but it. They give you a kind, they give you an affidavit, nigga. <laughs> No, it, ain't no it ain't no, it ain't no motherfucking grenade the in your mouth. The they're gonna file. You know what Brother, I'm saying? The norm is matter. not an amicable agreement. Hey, you know hey, but check this out. Listen, listen. What I'm telling you. The only way you bond yourself to it is by signing, by agreements, nigga. It's a, it's, it's a cohes, it's a cohesive. I understand contract. what you're saying, but what that, that, the, the fallout of that is more so, so-called illegitimate children. You know what I'm saying? They're they're, they're still well, waiting they, to they all, the I mean, well, there's listen, I'm just saying like this in general, brother. You can make a verbal contract with an individual such as your uh, um your significant other. A verbal contract is that agreeable. Is That's agreeable. Man, That's I, agreeable. I've, seen, I've seen dudes like they had that type of arrangement and then he did something to piss the girl off and she fouled all the back shit. You know and that's why you, and that's like why you, and that's why if he was if if he was listening to this instead of listening to whatever he listening to or watching sports or he or just doing, being ignorant first off nah, you know brother, what I'm saying? Listen, listen my dude listen check this out <laughs> this is remedy right here this is remedy what I'm about to read to you is remedy and this is for aboriginals indians and people and people who really really want to understand how this whole thing works and how how you're voluntary in all of this shit. That means you signing contracts and your agreements that's, with these people. That's basically what you're saying is don't 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 sign on the child's birth certificate pretty much. They don't no. say that I am the the, you the ain't, legal father. The real talk, an Indian ain't supposed to have no motherfucking birth certificate from Come no on, state. bro. How many Indians is a, 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 a very small percent of the population? I do. You know I'm, so we, I'm talking about for uh, listen, brothers, brother, relax, man. Remember, like we was getting along, so we was we was having a great conversation, my dude. Let's keep it like that. What I'm telling you is this, brother. Okay, we all Aborigines over here. I don't know how many people in the chat room, the 200 some odd people, the the brothers that's on the panel. I, I see Top Cat up there twice. So the five other, the five brothers that's on the panel. We all aborigines, my brother. Is this what you cohere? If you you believe you're African American, have you corrected that? Have you told them that you are from the tribe of Judah? Did you did you at least notify them that you're from the tribe of Judah? Notify who? Notify the people who who got you a United States citizen. The notify the people that got me a United States citizen. I, what do you mean? Who who am I notifying? What are you talking about? The 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 city. I can't hear you. You must be muted. Nah, is it just something wrong with our internet or they internet? Because I can yeah. hear you, but they I can't hear them. He, he might be muted. Don't know it or something. I don't know. Anybody else? You. But you was talking about the child support. You're right with the child support. But he, he kind of right, too. We nah, just well, I'm, back, I'm, back, I'm back. I'm back. I'm okay. back. Real quick. Let me don't just... Hear, hey, peace, peace to the guy, my brother. Peace, peace to the brother, man. Me and me, my, the brother been around, man. Been definitely adding to the conversation. Peace to the guy, right? Check this out, though, right? Um, Judah Rise, right? That's your name, right? Right. Uh, peace, 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 peace to the um, Israelite, man. The, the uh, Hebrew yeah, God yeah. from the tribe of Judah, right? Or Yahuda. Right. What's up? Yeah. So so boom. So check this out, right? You got a birth certificate? Yeah. Pull it out and read it. 
I don't have it. Uh, it's tucked off right now. You I don't have on ass, man, man. You gotta have, have your birth certificate within arm's reach, my brother. It's Ain't tucked off. I don't, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I, my wife, she kind of like, she kind of keep. I'm kind of like a. Uh, I'm not really organized, no, so she kind of. Nah, 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 brother. Come on, money grip. I wouldn't. I couldn't tell you. I'd have to ask her where it's at. I don't. She not here. <laughs> so you. So you got to go, go go look for a job and shit. You may need that. You got. No, nah, I mean, it's, bro, it's I quit, all good, I quit, brother. I quit, I quit a six-figure job uh, almost three years ago. Hey, quit. my brother, listen, my We've brother. We've been there for seven years. I ain't mad at you, my brother. You know I, did the, I did the same exact thing. And, and have not, and been, and been, been like self-employed. I, I don't like to. It's, it's, it's technically a business, but I don't try to blow it up. Like um, you know, what I'm saying, I, uh, I'm self-employed though. You know what I'm saying? But it's technically all right, all right. a business. All right, so bet. So check this out, right? So you do have a birth certificate, right? Yeah. I, I'm quite sure the birth certificate gonna have whatever county, right? And then it's gonna have whatever state, and then it's gonna have the country, right, on it, right? It's gonna have the county, the state, and the country. It's gonna be like the United States of such and such, um, whatever state it is, and then it's gonna have the county in which it was born. So right? if I need another birth certificate, I can walk right into Oakland City Hall and get one. I mean, original. Yeah, you probably can. I know you I can. can. I've done it before. I all right, unless, so they, it, unless they change the process in between there, you know what I'm saying? So was you forced to have a birth certificate or that's something you, you asked for or something that, that you definitely can benefit from? I was a baby. What do you mean was I forced to have a birth certificate? Mm. Everybody everybody born okay. with a birth certificate. All right, unless, so great. He, unless he wasn't so like... So you never corrected it. You never, so the fact that your mother was an informant for the state and made you... And made you a custodial, or made you a, a a part of the corpse, which is the United States of America, right? And you was you was too old to acquiesce. I mean, you was too old to deny it. So therefore, you acquiesced because you was too young. I'm sorry, you was too okay. So young. explain to me, explain to me what the alternative is. The alternative. And how is that beneficial? What you mean? What is beneficial? You just talk. What, what about is the alternative of saying, "No, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go down the where your, where your people from? Where your where your family from, Judah Ross? I'm from Oakland. You from Oakland, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So where is all your your family originally from Oakland? Because I know a lot of people that's in no, Oakland. We, we, they moved out here way, you know, way before I was born. So where was they from before Oakland? Oh, you, I have four different grandparents. You, I, I, you know what I'm saying? I mean, hey, you name them all if you know them. Shit. I, we'll be all, we, we, we'll be amazed if you we'll can name them all. from the South, like the majority of, uh, of right, black okay. people that moved to California and New York. You know so, <laughs> with that being said, so we're looking, check it out, right? So, with that being said, have you ever heard the utter of anybody out their mouth say that you was an Indian? Or you Not may have that Indian. I was an Indian, no. Okay. But but is anybody in your family an Indian? No, that you know of, right? Not that I know of. I've done. I know my dad's DNA. I don't know my mom's DNA. No, so we don't deal I, with I DNA. Do my own DNA. We deal with. We deal with. We don't deal DNA. There's no. There there is no accounts of anybody. No tribal Probably. affiliation. No DNA oh, connection right. whatsoever. So, brother, so let's, let's, but check now, out, could it have been back more than two hundred years? Possibly. Nah, Listen, brother, you know listen, saying? brother, brother, calm down. Just calm down. You said something very important. You said DNA, right? So you, right. you happen so you happen to take one of these tests, huh? No, my dad took a DNA test. Okay, all right. So great. Your dad took it, right? Yeah. So you do realize that every human being on the planet is ninety nine point nine percent compatible or have or share the same DNA. Right. You you are aware of that, right? You do you're aware that apes has over the 90, 90 percentile compat uh, um, compatibility well, with our DNA. I see DNA. what you're trying to say, but it's kind of, you're putting too much on. We share a common ancestor. No, it's not a common ancestor because DNA, listen, all right, let's say, for example, right, you could take a fucking tortoise, nigga, and take the DNA sample from that, and you'll match to a tortoise. But guess what? You'll never know where that tortoise was from. I, I don't, I don't know. What you're saying. What so it doesn't saying? tell you historical ancestry. It can't no, there's tell definitely, you there's definitely there's definitely indications to DNA. Okay, so DNA, DNA can't testing. tell you. It can't tell you that you from Israel. You from Nigeria. I know that. I know that. Okay, then. So especially, is, especially if if you're talking about a two thousand year timeline, when these tests are usually typically limited to about two hundred years. 
and not even that. 15, 15, once it get past the fifth ancestor, then right. that's pretty much. It's dicey. It's, it's not pretty, a lot of information. It's pretty yeah. much a can of worms from there. Right. So what I'm telling you, so what I'm telling you is this, my dude, right? Yeah. Now, I don't I don't I don't believe you are you, the Israelites took their culture from the Sumerians, my dude. Well that I've heard all I, that. and the Canaanites and the Phoenicians, my I've, dude. I've heard all that. That's why that's the same I reason and the connection, brother, but that's that's, that's that's conflation. You know what I'm saying? No, it's not what, really conflation. It's, was, it's there, more was there was there was there cultural was there cultural exchange? Yes, definitely. They were in the same region. And what would have, have to and be what, cultural exchange? What, all right. So, what reason? What reason was they? I mean, I'm sorry. What? Give me a timeline that the the Israel or the Middle Eastern story exists. What do you mean? That's be more specific. How far do that timeline go back? What 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 is the latest the the oldest date dealing with um Israel or dealing with um Mesopotamia so, and all that out there in the Middle so, East? So I'm just giving uh, approximations, not uh, to the exact date, but the uh, so the S the uh, so what is the Exodus about 13th, 14th century? If, what, in a, in a biblical BC? in a biblical timeline, 80 of BC, we, uh, BC about 13, 14 BC, 13, right? 14. So, so we know that the Israel was in Egypt for 430 years. So if we apply uh, 430 years to the approximate date of the exodus that's going to get you about uh 1800 bc almost 4000 years ago all right so look news flash do you are you aware do you know what the serpent mouth is in ohio okay what about it i don't serpent care mouth, if it's older so what no nah, no nah, nah, but listen 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 brother we just we building man we ain't ain't no ain't no <laughs> need for none of that man i ain't no all right ain't no ain't no, ain't no need for the, none of that bro we building right We've been building, right? We, I mean, something changed. Well, I mean, you, you got some issues or something that you, that you just came up with. No, no, what's that again? Uh, all right, no, no. So we good. We one hundred. All right, so cool. Uh, so look, so check it out, right? So look, do you know that in the Serpent Mounds in Ohio, right? In Ohio, right? Okay. They found proto Hebrew that goes heard, back over that, like that. that goes back over eight thousand years. Uh, hey, that, hey, no, I'm, I'm just telling you, brother. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm listen. I'm, I'm not the up here lying. I'm not up here lying. I, I, I deal with the chronology. Of, uh, the chron. The, what is I don't even chronology? deal with. I don't even deal with the gengor. Eight thousand years would be impossible. impossible. That's not a Hebrew, my dude. I'm telling. That's, I'm that, telling there's you. There's no Hebrew. Hebrew, that go back 8, Hebrew, years. Hebrew is Phoenician and Sumerian. Hebrew himself was lived at around 2200 BC. Okay. All right, so twenty. Okay, Abraham right. does not go back. You know what I'm saying? Abraham himself, who is the father of the Hebrews, goes back to roughly 2200 BC. All of the Ab all of the, the origins of the Abraham of religions come from it's the fake. Americas. No, they all come from the Americas. Actually, come on, bro. You, that's that's a, a, that's a, that's no, 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 a no, hard no. argument to prove. A, look, look, look. That's that's a very easy one for the God over here, my dude. <laughs> I can easily <laughs> prove that to you, my dude. You, you, you want to try me? <laughs> I'm dead oh, ass serious. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even laughing. I'm dead motherfucking serious, brother. I can put the <laughs> look, look, I can put the Sumerians in America. I can put all of that. The, I can put the motherfucking Anunnaki in America. I, and I, I won't even uh I I can I can so, make a case for that too. But at that timeline would be incorrect. Brother, listen, let me let me guess, let me let me say this again, right? Eight eight thousand years ago would be listen, vastly look, wrong. Look. Now, now you have a wait, case wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold up. You, can, you have That's, a case to say it happened in the last 2,500 right. years, so, okay, but not so 8,000. Listen, listen, right? All right, let's deal with the Gregorian calendar, right? The Gregorian calendar was created in 1573, I believe, Okay. right? A right. A.D., look, look, check it out, it's going to get even worse, right? A.D. and B.C., was created in like 1620 something, right? So prior to 1620 something, there was no AD or BC. And and according to the Gregorian calendar, which is their calendar, because we on different time. Our time what, calendar, is what calendar are we using right now? Well, some people say prior to 2012, we were still on our we was on our time. We was dealing with the Maya. 
No. We was dealing with, I'm telling Hell you, bro. Nah. I'm, I'm, I'm I know telling, somebody that was on that pseudo nah, shit. It ain't Back even no pseudo shit. Looking dumb as hell. Calendar, listen, hold up. <laughs> no, what I'm, but look up. Is the Mayan calendar right and exact? Have scientists confirmed that this is an actual calendar? I don't know. I don't really look into that. Okay, all right. All right so that's that's wonderful. But when I but what I'm telling you is the origins of Yakub or Jacob or Yazriel, right? Yazriel okay. is in the that's in Central America, brother. That's you want me to? You want me to tell you why? Why that? Where, 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 you want me to tell you why we brought up the Gregorian calendar is is, is does it does that doesn't like matter? That. If you, you want say, me to tell you why that's if invalid, you, if I ask you right now what time, what what was the date? You gonna say it's two thousand twenty three? Let me tell you oh, why that's, that's the invalid. Gregorian calendar, right? Let me ask, let me tell you why that's invalid, right? Because Ethiopia still uses that old calendar. Not Ethiopia, and Ethiopia dude. is right now is roughly 2018. So the, the the change in calendars has not set you back a thousand years or thousands of years. It's impossible. But listen, my brother, listen. Ethiopia doesn't have the absolute timeline we do in America. It's not just Ethiopia. And not everybody around the world uses the same calendar. Chinese have their own that. calendar. I, the yes, Hebrew have their own calendar. Fact. You know what I'm saying? So it's we like we talking about the calendar we going off of right now that me and you can see. That me and you woke up and we seen on our phones or wherever where, wherever else the date pop yeah, up. But at. it's not altering time by thousands of years. All right. So all I'm all I'm here to tell you is this, right? You know how they tell you the Israelites came here by boats. And right. they had um um yokes around their neck. Right. Well, you, talk, all... are you talking about Deuteronomy twenty eight, or are you talking about the ten tribes? I mean, I, you know, I read the because Bible. Because it's different. It's it's totally um, different diasporas. It's yeah, two different... but I'm I'm saying the absolute. If it's totally different diasporas, then that means that it's not right and exact. That means that it has flaws. If everybody's not yeah, on the same time, time, if everybody's not times. moving in sync, or everybody's not uniform, then we'll. If everybody's not under the same uniform or the same banner, and no, you no, have no, multiple brother. It's, different banners that got it's the kingdom of Judah and the kingdom of Israel, and they went in, they went, they went into separate diasporas. You know what I'm uh, saying? Yeah, Yahuda, Judah, Yazrael, Jacob, all right. that shit come from so, the same so you, the, you, the yeah, you, of, you. The you. kingdom of Judah was the tribe of Judah, Levi, and Benjamin. And then you nah, had that's the other awesome ten tribes. Pseudo shit. That's awesome pseudo well, shit. Well, I'm just too. telling you how there's it's not the same diaspora. The, 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 the Deuteronomy 28, 68 is, is not going to be the ten tribes. That's going to be Judah, which would be Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. So you believe in a 12 tri um, chart tribe? I, I I think it has some interesting points um, when you look at the history of some of these places and who the people were referring to. Look, now, Levi, everybody... Benjamin, Judah, Levi, and Benjamin are all Negroes, right? Uh, pr pretty much. Jamaicans, yeah. Haitians, <laughs> American—they're yeah. they're all. And then, and then you know, add that, add the add, um the insult to injury when you find out about the Nashad story. And how you know the the black French took some of the Nash says to ID, right? Then 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 the story gets even more um eerie, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like so. What I'm telling you is this, right? All I'm right. telling you is the Bible is nothing but a uh, a bunch of documentation from what they found in the in the Americas. The right. Americas is the source of all Abrahamic religions because you find aromatic. You find Hebrew and you find Arabic all in the Americas before. But wait before, a minute, brother. You, so you can't make dual arguments. First, you said it's all fake and made up. And then, now you're saying it originated in America. So that would make the, that would make the, your assertion fake and made up. Look, you know what I'm saying? The Bible and this, as well as the Quran, right, as well as the um the Torah, right? Right. It, it is basically instructions, right? Of how yeah. to control the lower self and tap okay. into the higher self, but you need the lower self because you 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 need power to a certain power is kind of respect, right? So you need respect if you have some type of position of authority or if you have children, you well, have to have actions, his lower self or his higher self. 
You know, that's lower self. That's all exactly. Sex. That's so sexuality. do you really need that in your will. life? No, you need sex. You need it for recreation, not no, 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 no. I'm not talking about recreation. I'm not even talking about him. I'm talking about the shit with a child. Is that no. his lower self or his higher self? The that's the lower self. That's sexuality, and so, also that that could be oh, that could be power and sexuality. But that's his lower self. Either way, that's it's not his exactly. higher self. Exactly. So what I'm telling you is. The Bible is examples of all individuals who fell to them lower selves. Yeah, so and why do you re- this what? polite show there saying philosophy? I don't give a fuck about him. I'm just saying that exactly too. because he's on, the he's, universe. He's, he's, on, a, he's on he's on the internet shooting up a Bible. He's a savage. It. He's a savage. The guy right. Don't fucking so know he God don't have a right? he looked like his moral compasses was off. No, he's a savage. Hey, he's a hey yo, Judah. Judah, I ride with you, bro. I ride with you. You debunking, you debunking the shit out of A1. Hey, listen, hey, 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 Judah, hey, Judah, hey, Judah, look, don't feed into this clown, brother. Me and you have it. We are, I mean, we, we're building, right? I mean, whether you agree, bro, bro, you we're said building, right? Nah, my old, brother, bro, you listen, the Hebrew culture, listen, look, 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 let me explain something to your dumb ass. In the real Hebrew Bible, what's the name of God? Well, so, uh, oh, you have what? Yeah, how? No. Yes. L? No. What, no. What's yes. the real? Listen, my brother, I'm gonna ask you again. In the real Hebrew Bible, what is the name of God? Yeah, how? No. They had it. They no, had it. It's not. Not yeah, how, it's not L-O- it's, no, it's we L-O-M. are going up for the tetragrammaton. I'm not, brother. It's L O M. No, no, no. L is plural. Well, I mean, it's, 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 you know, it's different. It's different ways certain per- people Listen, pronounce my dude, Yahweh. Brother, Some people say Yahweh. Brother, Are you know my, what I'm saying? Nah, brother. All that. Listen, brother. Listen. When you look at the etymology of it, Elohim equates to God. That's a title. Yeah. Wait. I'm. I'm. It's that's a title. Not. Okay. So you call the Most High God. I just say most high because that's okay, like, so say for instance, right? Most high for instance, right? Do you call your dad by his first name every time you address, or do you say, I've hey, never called hey, my father. Hey, dad, father. It don't matter. It don't, you I'm just saying, saying it's a type, I'm not, but listen, you know, you so know, it's not really titles. correct to just but, like, just be per, per, so, blurting out the most high's name like that all of the time. You know what I'm saying? Because it gets to the point to now it's in vain. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, so, and so, now, so, if you didn't so, know that, so, that's just edification. So, okay, so listen. Check this out. We're having a great conversation, but check this out, right? So, in the real Hebrew Bible, which come from the Kabbalah, which the Kabbalah come from come the Samaritan. Bro. I'm, brother, listen. Listen to what I'm telling you. I listen to you. <laughs> I listen to you. Now listen to me. In the real that's Hebrew false. Bible, brother, that's false, in the real brother. Hebrew Bible, it does not come from the Kabbalah. Brother, in the real Hebrew Bible, the name of God is the Elohim. Now check, check. Let's stay right there. The that's, Kimbal- not, that's not his name. Look, 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 look. The people who's Kabbalists, they worship the real Judah religion because they, they worship in the Sumerians. All of that shit, brother. That's I'm a certain. You, that is a certain sect of Judaism. Nah, it has no nothing certain, to do with it's Israelite. It's the only sect of Ju- Judaism. No, it, no, it is not. There's it's no more, multiple. It's, it's made plenty up of sects. No, and, it's not. and so no, it's we not. don't consider nah. ourselves to be a part of the the, the Judaism dynamic. We will be but more I'm, so Christian. I'm telling you, we will be more akin telling, to a Christian than a okay. than a uh, in Judaism. What I'm telling you is. The story that they told you, your people being put in yokes, that's all bullshit. Okay. Your people, the- your people been here. Your people had farms and land that's, and, that's not and resources. They've been, they been people here, went, yes, no, but your people to go no back slaves. to the establishment nah, of the, the First that? Nations people, that would be incorrect. What? What's the First Nations hey, people? We would not hear the establishment of the First what, Nations what, people. What, so who were the First Nation people? What would their ethnicity or race be? Man, so what, what, what are what anthropologists saying? This is going back roughly 10, 12,000 years. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Early early uh, man uh, making his way over here. And then you're going to have yeah, multiple earlier, migrations. Man, dude, you're going to have ooh, those original man, people you know, are no longer on this landmass. Hey fam, listen. Let me let me explain. Let me break the bad news. Those original people, 
like no, this no, land all right, so today. We heard, all right, so we understand that. We understand what you could say, right? Listen, right, my right. dude, they got they got a city in North Carolina that go back over 50,000 years. They had they have found oh, archaeology. Listen, they have found archaeology and anthropology that suggests that people been in America for millions of years. No, they want to make that up. Millions of years. They want to make that up. Million, hey, one, show us the 50,000 year old thing. Like, this is what I be million, talking about that more like, stuff. Hey, At least Popcat be having his stuff together. Like you, know you saying that, that's crazy. Hey, King Cass, see 50 what you million know, years, bro. King Cass, King Cass, what you don't understand is look, real talk. Come in here, come in here nice, nigga. Don't come in here with that energy, nigga. Because the same, the same way you get booted off of other platforms, I can make that suggestion and your ass will get booted off too. See, and that's the thing. You run from information. He, nobody's he can, running from me. me. You're he talking. Me, bro. You saying I just made that up? He's scared of me, bro. You saying I, intellectually I'm scared of a fucking peon? You are a so peon. So better fifty thousand out. I mean, I don't have to prove my own shit. Research, research. Who's a peon? Research. Oh, he's talking about me. He's talking about me. King Cash is a peon. Why we get out of here? Why we get out of here like that? Judah Rise. Yeah, yeah. The ride, to the ride. Why we gotta address our brother in that nature, though? You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't even that serious. Nah, nah, it is that. It's very. Because I debunk, I debunk him. Look, he's talking look, look, like look, that. Hey, look, hey, Judah Benjamin, I suggest you um tread separately from this guy because <laughs> you don't you don't know what this you don't know the interactions we didn't have with him over the years. I got you. So it's, it's, it's all not, I do is debunk him. He say no, no, all the time. Iron like, sharpens hey. iron, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, iron, nigga, like if. If you're too proud to separate from some of the inf some information, like I got it, like when I'm wrong, bro, I, I I I accept that. Like I don't keep if I if I know I'm wrong, I don't keep running shit you over and over. About the, you whole, know the whole Hebrew Israelite movement is wrong. But brother, you over here, you're saying something is fake that, that was started in America. There, brother, listen, half the niggas out there. That talking about they did from the tribe of Judah and Benjamin, and then you got um whatever the fucking Native American tribe. They are the Aborigines of this land. Uh, that culture, That's which you call no, that culture of Hebrew or Hebraic or Phoenician or Phonetics or Sumerian text text right. comes from right here. That niche, right that's a that's a niche assertion that's only no, within not, your your niche community. No, you know what I'm saying? No, that's no. not research. It's research. You know what I'm Judah, that's it's not, a documentary. It's research. It's a documentary right now where they found those same things that he found over here, and they debunking that it. it was these like two or three white. They, dudes see, you know like, what? It's like, two or three Michigan. white. Look, you're on YouTube look, right now, look, bro. Look, look, look. He going to override look, look. his own brother. Just for two or three white dudes. This is why I don't fuck no, with them. No, they like, the ones that made it up. They made it up to get look, money, bro. No, it was a money grab. Look, look, listen. This is what these niggas do all the time. They, they was pushing that fake archaeology nah, for a minute, brother, bro. Nah, they wasn't pushing no fake archaeology. What? So what archaeology? Don't look at about? those. We can pull up those tablets right now. You look at them people that they drew on there that's supposed to be Phoenician. That should look like Bart Simpson drawing. We're not even bro. talking it about look it. Like, about it it looks like about the dude who from Bart and look, the Simpsons and shit. Look, when you go look at them, they look crazy. We could talk about the Death of Luna. And they got them looking Euro. Euro. They got them looking Euro. They don't ever look Nick, like a Negro. Hey, they look Euro. Hey, Top Cat, Top Cat, are you still on the platform? With yeah, us, I, just, I just got back. Hey, 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 hey. I, I, yeah, I, don't think we, I don't think we need to be Hear me out, bro. No, nah, he's you, trying right, to boom Cass, up. This is where Cass, 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 get Cass. the fuck away from here. No, nah, Cass, I'm trying to look. Let me explain, bro. What, what, this is what I be talking about with the pseudo when I'm like, at least you got your shit together when you tell him the story. When he's talking about 50,000 year old shit, you are out. How am I out, bro? Nigga, you are out. See, he about to boot me on A1 do this shit See, all the time, you bro. Nah, nigga, this ain't about that. Nigga, this, you, you got, I kicked your ass out earlier, <laughs> Oh, uh, this my thing. Y'all whole little shit falling apart. What y'all building the coalition over there the other day? About a couple of weeks. Wait, you talking about over at um, yeah, nah, you about bro, you know what I'm talking about because you had something. Yeah, I'm on something out of the bag yeah, with knowledge you shit, bro. Here, but that's nigga, it. The, once you part of this little mercenary crew, nigga, y'all been running around. Y'all done got all bro, these tribes it. and nations to come together. Bro, that's a debate platform. Up. That shit done broke up already, nigga. That shit ain't last 30 days. Nah. Uh, nah and now, look, now polite. 
Now hold on, then, polite then, don't then, sound polite, with us, hold bro. Hold on, then polite situation happened on the back of that, and then y'all get split up from the bigger platform. So y'all doing bad. So what in the hell is you doing over here, man? No, polite don't look. Polite don't man, stand nigga, up. Polite follow all of you niggas. But, you a pan No, nah, because right? polite. Right, who well, who the polite come up? Too, nigga. You take that but did he come up under Malachi York though? Nigga, did he, he come, come up, up under Malachi hey, York? He come up under Pan Africanism, nigga. No, nah, Malachi York was a, a you nigga, remember that nigga that got on talking about them Yama Seymours? So 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 he was talking about all that. Pan African. polite Pan African. He was with he was he was with Malachi York, bro. Yes or no? Yes or no? He was with Malachi York. Hey, look, hey, respect, hey, look, look, respectfully, real talk, right? I know whatever they said about Doctor York, but there's still some shady situations with that, with the FBI making these, making a lot of these people um say he did what he did. Them stories are out there, right? But what I would say is this. Niggas say Dr. Dr. York was a very intelligent motherfucker, yo. Yeah, motherfucker. He was a very intelligent motherfucker. So you can't say that all of his literature is false. You yeah, can't he was say plagiarizing that. Though, you know, he wasn't plagiarizing up what he was doing. It's not plagiarizing. It's called summarizing and paraphrasing, you idiot. He wasn't bro, taking it. He was telling from, people. He wasn't he taking took it. Out of David Ike book. Bro, you remember that shit about the reptilians? No, he took brother, so, David Ike so book. you telling me, look, 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 dumbass. You telling me you can't read from a person's book and paraphrase what they saying? And not you if you saying, other, hey, I, I came up with it myself. If you uh, say, I brother, came up with it myself and you're not giving bro, the credit on, to the dude. author, That's what right? I'm saying. Like, y'all niggas sit here and y'all reach at the most ridiculous shit, but you ain't reaching that DNA. When niggas and showed you massive evidence, and you want to debunk everything that all these scientists is saying, that makes you look like a fool. And then you come over here and say, "I told you, look, I can show and prove. I don't, I don't want to show you, nigga. Do the fucking research, nigga. When I got into this shit, nigga, I have research. I, I have books. I had sources, but then also I had documentaries where people wasn't putting all the sources out of it. So I had to take notes." And write that shit down and look for that shit myself. And that's what the fuck you gonna do for now. Well, ain't nobody gonna keep sourcing up so you can sit here and do this buffoonery. Yeah, this we're not over here for y'all. Hey. Hey. Bro, you, you should have went back on Sinetta shit. Politely. And went on there. Hey, listen, brothers, right now, Sinetta, Sinetta uh, it's so fucked up. Sinetta was over here today. Why do we have to <laughs> I be did, I shit, nigga? Sinetta over here today. Hey, hold on. Hey, <laughs> We ain't got to be no oh, way. Nigga. We yeah, can be nigga, yeah, that's nigga. right. These niggas, listen, listen. This is the hottest topic among all of this shit, nigga. And like I said, once we once we show and prove what's in the Americas compared to Africa, niggas going to jump off that shit very fast, nigga. You going to be the only nigga sticking to some fake ah. ass spirituality system that doesn't work. It only works and on I your own people. This whole little spiritual system. I yeah, but that's that shit, know, show, look, huh? that shit only work. Hey, but Top Cat, hey, but it don't look, work brand against new the, it uh, is, though. Uh, yes. I made him admit that shit was brand new. Mm -hmm. and then we had a conversation. No, I ain't never said it was brand new, bro. So, I ain't yeah, never said that shit. Get to, how did it get to America? They brought it over there on the slave ship, bro. They brought it from where, brother? Oh, my God. Okay, so when you go to Santeria, when you get to Santeria, that comes from the Yoruba. Now, that comes from the Yoruba area in Nigeria, bro. Okay. They still speak what the language. What are y'all offering? What are y'all what are y'all offering, brother? What are you talking about the offering? They brought their traditions during their slavery. Why do y'all give okay? Is corn involved? Let me ask it. Well, that's borrowed shit that yes okay, they had yes no, corn, corn over involved, here, brother. It's corn involved. Yeah, they 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 okay. do okay. offerings of corn for like why would an African ritual nigga with corn involved? Because that's they had the to use the stuff. Okay, if you're being brought as a slave, if you're being brought as a slave, right, no, no, no. and all you got is the stuff around you, you gotta, you gotta innovate. Bob in his hand. See, hey, bro, boy, but you gotta, gotta innovate. These niggas' rituals involve goddamn America. All of that shit is American. That, bro, that's white people eat corn. What, what does that got to do with anything? Yeah, like, if American. I'm being brought as a slave, that's a dead giveaway. Bro, if I'm being brought as a slave, bro. I okay, have to so innovate. I have to use to stuff on the land. What, what year did what year did they get to America? Century get to America. I mean, they was bringing people over yeah, to Cuba. No, brother, 1600. Brother, brother, so brother. it was an influx of people. I will put it up. That shit had nothing to do with the 1600. You can show me nobody in the 1600s practicing this. 
I think uh, 18, was it 18, 17? Well, Do you want to, you want me to pull it up in the 1900s, bro? And I can go That's get you true, the nigga bro. that brought it over here. You know what I'm saying? I know Cubans that can trace their family back to their African tribe. I can show my slides. I ain't fighting. Rob Bourne dropped out the debate so I can show my slides. So yeah, what will happen with that? Why he dropped out the debate? All that in here. Hey, Rob, Rob Bourne, Bourne, you got to get back Rob in that Bourne debate, said, man. This is why Rob, no, he said that, um, you know, I put up a picture of me and him on there and announced the debate. And he said, yeah, this nigga all on my Instagram going through with pictures. And uh, so I say, nigga, ain't nobody on there but you and white folks. Yeah, it ain't like a lot. Oh, he putting out my personal business. I'm at work. Nah, 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 nah. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not debating him. That was slander. He did that shit. No, nah, he got to get back in that debate. Knock your motherfucking ass out, nigga. You ain't crazy. Now, man, man, make me go get this boy right here, boy, that then brought y'all in this, this, this. This shit right here. And the same nigga. Did he buy land? Did, did he buy land down in, in South Carolina, brother? Who did bought that, land in South Carolina? The uh, the same nigga that brought this 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 centuria shit over here, nigga. No, that's, that's another Cuban. brother. That, what's that that's nigga Walter, name? That's, what's his name? That's Walter you know? Eugene King. That's him. Okay. From now, now what did, now he he had land. did he have land? And he from New York. Did he have he went and bought land? No, he's from Detroit. He moved to New York. Okay, well, he bought land in South Carolina, yes or no? Yeah, he got land in Oil and Tundra he Village. he called it Africa. He called it an African town, right? Well, it's Oil Tundra Village. I don't know what he called it back okay, then, but so it was Oil Tundra Village. Come on, man. See, now, now, what year was this? Man, I'm when did he like buy it? I don't know. So when did he buy that land in the 70s? He this might have bought that land in the 70s. Bro, this in the 70s. You on point? This in the 70s. Yeah. Now, what was the name of that village, y'all? Hold on, y'all, because I don't want y'all to think I'm just lying, and I ain't really got sitting back here with a motherfucking clip. I ain't got but a hundred slides in this bitch. I ain't tripping. So right here, man, man, we can really go in there. What was the name of that village? Was it oh, yeah, it's Oil Oil Tuji Village? Okay, it has been. Um, oh, uh, well, let, let's come down here. Let's let's figure out when. What you say the nigga name was what? It begins with who? Walter Eugene. Uh, Walter King. Eugene Born King. Born in Detroit, like you said, 1928. Leaving his Baptist face. The nigga was a Baptist. But I thought he came up in African religion. Do you really want me to do this to you, boy? I'll lay your because, cross up and spank your motherfucking ass in here tonight. Because when he went to New York, he, he went to Cuba. Out, he did what now? The first when place he, he went to Cuba. Cuba to go to his initiation. When did he meet the Cubans? And he started a church called the African Voodoo okay, Temple. Okay, and so when he brought it back, this is where y'all getting y'all sent to real. Y'all not getting no African sent to real. This nah, I don't get it. Out of Detroit. No, he went to Detroit. Nigeria. He went to Nigeria. After. Like all salesmen out of nah, Detroit. Nah, nah, don't, don't this disrespect the elder like that. Oh, y'all ain't know that? This don't what disrespect the elder like that. Nigga don't make me nah, slide nah. through that slide, nigga. Don't hey, make one I got hundred in that motherfucker, nigga. I got some shit back there. Where them gully Geechee niggas at? I got some shit in the clip back there. Now y'all go talk to the your mind. Let, let me let me hey. on the gully Geechee lately. Let me tell you what he doing that the Indians couldn't do. Get land. Who? Y'all, y'all, y'all ain't got what land do y'all got? Land land got. Land a lot of them brothers make the why, why would you say that, bro? And you heard my family talk about our land and the land we own. We bro, having a little a little small plot of land, bro. He got a he built a small village plot, out. Bro, bro, we got over 100 acres on one and on, on another one, brother. And then that's just one side of my family. So what about he the, the, the one that did he ain't getting raided by the FBI? He, he still got his land, shit. Bro, and named that and made that an African village. All of this is and gully, the and this gully Geechee theory and this African theory. And who's he funded by? Since you want to talk, nigga. Why I break your heart right now? Who your master? What you talking about? They go to their own initiation by, They go back and forth to Nigeria, bro. Who is he funded by? They go back and forth. Who funded them? He, Man, they funded them themselves. Break, they raised their own you money. No, y'all better stop fucking with me, boy. I tap that chin. You don't even know. So, so Cubans, the Cubans bring it over here, right? What year did the Cubans? Yeah, he got bring? initiated in Cuba first. What then year did he, the Cubans bring it over here. What year? They was coming over, and the first group yeah, wave of them was coming in the nineteen forties and fifties. No, what year did they? Well, bring? it was a wave before that, okay, but a major wave. Eugene, though, Eugene don't come until later. 
Y'all don't get the African you, virgin until Eugene. Nigga, I, I get it. I, yeah, I mean, you right about it. that. But you right about that. He's responsible okay, then, nigga, for bringing the African virgin over. Nigga out of Detroit come through. And he's a Baptist. I had to point that out to you. Nigga grew up in the I Baptist mean, shit, church. we all started off in the church before. I don't want to hear that shit, nigga. You sitting there popping that shit like that's an indigenous religion and niggas been coming off that nigga. Bro. Out of that. This some shit y'all converted in to. Cuba, in Cuba, in Cuba, Cuba, they have the slave. You ever heard? Have you ever heard of Adeshina? Have you ever heard of Adeshina? The Cubans brought that over here, right? And then have the you Cubans ever? look like you. There was pale Cubans. Yes. No, nah, these black people. My go godfather's Mexico. a black Cuban. Let's go to Mexico. Let's take it to Mexico. Mexico, Cuba, and Mexico. I pull up the pictures of the niggas in Mexico repping it. So how yeah, you that's sad that that the Mexico Mexicans Mexico. rep it more though. Y'all niggas think y'all Indians? They the real oh, Indians bro, and they want to practice African shit. Leave me alone, bro. Before I tell you who funded your master teacher, Eugene, bro, and really break your heart and show you where you getting this shit from. <laughs> I'll work well, in first. Hey, yeah. You don't have no proof of who funded them. DC, yeah, this is how you handle a nigga coming here with that Santeria shit, speaking the language, following that shit. So, nigga, we'll break it down. I make see, they, see, he ain't let me give y'all the timeline, right? Because he don't know who Adeshina, who was brought over as a slave, they got yeah, paid. He was so famous in Cuba. Adeshina was so famous in Cuba. He was a slave that could get a portrait made of him. They painted a portrait of him. He still, he got his problem mark still on his face. He face. died with money because he was going around killing the slave masters and the slave like people. No, they got built in South Carolina, named as an African village. A nigga out of South Carolina, named the African village, nigga, and got niggas thinking that's an African village that slaves look up, hey, way back. It look up, Ade. In the seventies, the eighties, the cocaine era. Look, look up, Ade. Yeah, this nigga was running with uh, BMF. Uh, uh, what was the, the nigga that came before BMF in Detroit? Man, the boys. What was them? What the nigga? Was Young out? Boys Incorporated. Young Boys Incorporated and shit. Yeah, that nigga come out here with the dope money and buy <sighs> land, nigga, name of the African village, and get a Cuban. He connect. was out of Detroit yeah, by that, that time they came, Cuban bro. Connect. He had a Cuban connect, and nigga, you got the century and shit through that nigga. They smuggled the cocaine, the brief, the dope trade went down to Mexico. Yeah, nigga, y'all got us out. Cause nigga, I exposed. Oh, okay. Explain, explain to Haiti when they die and they ritual, Man, they say they go back to Africa. They go back to Guinea, Man, right? Explain life. that, brother. When you do, when, if who do, a lot. If who do, you already found in Louisiana and, and Mississippi. No, no. no, 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 no. Hey, look, look, Cash. You've been talking a lot. Okay. No, y'all been who talking over. Look, the the Nash says practice what you call voodoo and y'all still have a show of proof of that shit the nashes was also sent where where was the nashes sent that that they also practice hey, voodoo and hey, speak creole okay so why you know, is voodoo, see, no, there's no why, why there's in no voodoo why. they say when you die you go back to Guinea, which is Africa. Man, Why, that's, if they're Indians, what the hell are they going back? They ask us to go back to Africa. Yeah, I, I never heard that. Makes sense. I never heard that before. Afrocentrism. No, it's not as old. Remix single. That's a remix single. We never heard that. It's before. old. We never heard that before. Yeah, we and we don't really care they, they, about they, that. We don't really care about no, that. No, because that, that, you know, because I look, can look, point to that tradition and say that niggas is brought from Africa. Them connections that you pointing out, the origins start in America. Don't start in no primitive Africa. So what? Why Whoa, Mickin do? No, 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 no. Do, most of them people and Brooklyn, do you know that most, Haitian hero? Most, that far? most of them people. Do you know the Haitian revolutionaries? No, 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 no. Haitian... Most of them people who practice them cultures have a plate in their lip and a bone in their nose. So go yeah, join this nigga them knew people. that. Go if join you knew that Africa people. was a continent. Nah, right, nigga, and he studied your the culture. You're about to wear bones and plates in their lips, my nigga. We but you don't God study African culture, nah, so nah, you nah, just nah, talk. We don't. It's nothing in Africa for me. Nothing over there. Because you don't talk. The European, like, talk some Europe. by Europeans, bro. <laughs> don't don't get your heart broke. I miss the source up. I will break your heart. The European tribe was created. So look, hey. Y'all know about the Haitian Revolution, right? We don't right. care. You about know about the Haitian that. Revolution? Top cat, elaborate on what you was just talking about. We don't care about it. you. Yeah, keep the jumping Yoruba around. Tribe what you talking about? The Yoruba tribe is a government recognized <laughs> tribe in Africa. Uh, I don't, well, for what government, bro? No, for the like, they're in, in Africa. In America, you have what they call the uh, 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 recognized tribes here, recognized nations. 
And where did they get that recognition? Usually it's through a treaty of assistance of the expansion of the U.S. And so for them niggas assisting, well, they get a G card. That is no different than these Yoruba, these Igbo, these main tribes that we hear about, no different than what you hear about the five civilized tribes. So they created them the same way when we look into these treaties being signed by mixed race chiefs and shit like that, where you also have that in Africa. And I walked down there plenty of times for as the names, the pl- the people, and that's why the Africans, the indigenous populations there, they brought those nations together, and the people that were in those certain locations, they put those titles on them. Ain't no motherfucking Igbos and all this Yoruba. Nigga, I'll take you to the... What, what Yoruba, hey, what Igbo, what language, what language of a Euro, European language is Igbo in? Um, the European language, well, hold on, I'll go get the guy that made it. Uh, Sam, Samuel Ajave Kraza. He he created that language. He's so, Igbo... of Yoruba. No, nigga, he's the father of Yoruba. He's the father of Yoruba, no, no, right? No, but Yoruba, show you something. Yoruba is an African word. So, well, I mean, you can African it. word. The language itself come from a foreigner. What the fuck is wrong with you? So, so when I say "shell Lafia," Neil or Lafia, or you know, with those words, and whatnot, what, 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 what language? What European language does that come from? So when I say "babo ni" and "dada ni." What language, what Europe, I mean, what European languages that come from? Well, you're speaking English. Look, last night we caught an African in here kicking language. He tried to speak his, his native tongue, and he had French long words in the motherfucker. So bro, at, at some point, we're going to have to be honest, man. A lot of, look, a lot of them Africans speak French. The majority of the ones I met from several, look, from um, Senegal, from um man i listen real talk i met a lot i can't remember all the goddamn countries that they from but a lot of them niggas speak french well hey look stop that down there with all the nigerians he can get a nigerian on, on the camera right now that's not true and bro. ask him them questions that's not true the the nigerians they live in, in a leaf southwest houston that's a leaf then some people don't even consider houston but shout out to them man i got some um homies out there that's african they real niggas. They tapped in our culture, though. Them niggas dressed like us. They exactly. got to my nigga Ghost. They, oh, he on the A-League store. Yeah, there, you man. can't tell the difference, bro. You know why? Because I'm your people. It's you know. not, but oh, the, 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 the inspiration is not from them. It's from the us. Tell the it's difference. not from them. Yeah, they, they practice in our culture. Nigga. Exactly. They like we tell exactly. You. They, they fuck out they, here. Got, they got <laughs> weaving they. And all that shit, just like okay. You know, so, like what African medicine. culture is they practice? It's a link so, between the, that French, them French Africans and Creoles, by the way. But it's funny that the Nigerians and Kenyans and Somalians come over to America, don't never say they African American. I mean, they why talk to me because I know their culture. Why not? Why they don't say that? I mean, because if they're kind of niggas like y'all saying they Indian, they gonna go back and talk about like these crazy niggas talking about they Indian and shit. I've no, seen I, that happen. Half of them know. Half of them no, know that, that we were that happened at my job, bro. Look, look, the majority of them know. That shit. Hey, look, hey, the majority of them know we are from here. They know you it, niggas bro. are the only ones. That no, they don't. Just, they you know. know. They they know. They know. Got no, they know. They know. Nigga, they know. 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 Nigga, what course are they teaching in Africa? They know. 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 They but well, my boy lived over there. My boy lived over there for 14 years, Cass, right? Cass, this is going to kill everything, Cass. Listen, bro, you have to understand something. You have to, the amount of people that y'all saying were victims of the slave trade. Where are the African families that are saying, hey, man, my such and such grandfather or grandmother left here in the slave trade? We don't hear none of them stories. Them we do. Y'all them don't talk to them. That's because y'all don't talk to them. We talk to them. Oh, world what? history, nigga. I just it's told a, you it's a, uh, it's supposed to be saying, guys, hey, nigga, guys, such such guys, my it's a Babylon missing and lost in the slave trade. Nigga, the it's nigga a Babylon the over there now that say that. Story? It's a Babylon that's over there. Matter of fact, one of my DNA Babylon cousins. My ass, nigga, that shit made up. That ain't no original <laughs> language. Bible. One of my, yeah. hey, one of my DNA cousins. Like Europe. Okay, look, <laughs> look hey, one. Me do it like this here, right? Because I had to kill your boy on this here. So, all right, well, let's do it like this here. For as the Yoruba, bro, that came from who exactly, brother? 
You had what, the uh, Euro Are you familiar with the uh, uh, Dinkras and King Dinkra? Can I ask him oh, a question? Top cat? May I ask him oh, a question? Oh, was the one of the kings of the Yoruba. Okay, now you where you get your Orishas and shit, and no, bro. Or you 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 believe in Orishas, right? That's your shit too, huh? I mean, that's my practice. Yeah. My practice. Okay, so where did King? Where did they get the Dinkra uh, 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 patterns from? What well, the Dinkra pattern? That's from another tribe. That's from Ghana. That's the Ashanti people. They got their yeah. own create. Even though they're amongst the Niger now, Congo king, speakers, the Dinkra was a German king, brother. I think bro, I played no that video that. of the Africans telling y'all. That they didn't. That this is not their original. This was given to them by outsiders, so they don't. Well, first thing first. Can I ask you the question? Not a German I word. On this already, it showed you that that Yoruba shit, that that uh, Orisha. Yeah, shit but right. the, that's folks why from the Ghana is not from the, Euro- the folks from Ghana. The folks from Ghana are not Yoruba, the, brother. The Sankofa that's another is, tribe. Okay, so what does that Kofa fall under? The Sankofa fall under the Ghanaian people that they brought to Jamaica and brought them to Suriname. Y'all okay. see them brothers in Suriname that were still speaking the Ghanaian language? Y'all niggas were calling them Indians until they found out they were speaking Ghanaian languages and shit down there. Okay, Y'all brother, seen that video? Why, or why is the Sankofa a Euro-Anglo? Uh, um, why is it Euro-Anglo? You say, why is it Euro-Anglo? Right. Not Euro-Anglo. It's African. Who said that? Okay, I'm going to source up. Hey, hey, Top Cat, let me ask Cass a question. All in your right. mind. Cass, can you hear me? I hear you. Okay, what is your Igbo or Yoruba tribal markings? That, or anybody Those else? Are like, this, say it again? I mean, my family was brought in the slave trade, so. What? I'm going to say it, I'm gonna ask it again. I'm going to slow it down. What is your Igbo or Yoruba tribal? Oh, no. oh, don't let him go past that, brother. He gets said his family but bought the same. Hebrew. He who, don't have that. That's chose, not his, hold on, wait, wait, wait. That's wait, wait, not wait, his wait, real wait. tribe. He I, was I, just I, joined to them. Wait. Listen, but check this out. Well, no, nah, the Yoruba, the Yoruba were brought over here. The Yoruba, they got Listen. like I know people with family. Cash, that they cash, family cash, back. I'm cash, talking about Cuba and Brazil, cash, right? Cash. What Yo, evidence? Y'all, y'all, y'all talking you over me. Cash. Come on, go. What evidence? Hold on, I just want to ask him more questions since he okay. just said that. What evidence do you have that you are African? So, okay, going back to DNA tests and records. Oh, 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 oh. Even, so DNA, even one right, of the so people. Let's put hold on, no, you're not letting me talk. You're not letting me finish. I'm not let me finish. Over what you said. Let me you land. Said let me land. Hold up. You're so not you letting me finish. DNA. I'm going to let you finish. I want to clarify something. Go look up Ibn Ibrahim no, Suri, the Fulani no, prince that was brought over here. Two of the sources that you, you are that, on this channel, that they do say they're the Judah. They do nah, say they come from Judah. Nah, nah, nah. But so they do nah, say nah, that. They A1. say that. Go back and we, ask nah, we, the So we got to wait. We told him, A1, the nigga, um, what's that movie? Did we catch your ass on that already? You can't use that over here no more. And what they say he is in the movie. He they didn't say he African in the movie, did they? What? Hold on, Ooh, even Ibrahim Sodi, he wasn't in no movie. Yeah, nigga, what's that documentary they got on him? Yeah, but he's Fulani, bro. Yeah, he's, he's, he's not, not, oh, he's not Fulani, say. nigga. That's not he, what the documentary say. Exactly. Cash. Okay, y'all might be getting what two different people. You, nah, what nah, nah, say nah. Come out the right person. So what did they say he was in the docufilm? Y'all getting the Oc- was it Equiano? Equiano? Y'all getting nah, mixed up with him. Equiano is Ebo. No, Equiano okay, was created is- by Thomas Clarkson. He a fictitious person as well, nigga. Thomas Clarkson created him, nigga. Now, and e- Equiano, them niggas was out of the Carolinas. He was out of South Carolina. The other nigga he was with was out of North Carolina. Both Bro, the, 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 y'all, ever, y'all ever heard of the Bite of Biafra? Nigga, off I, of Nigeria. Man, that shit fake too. So you got three trade, you got three trading re- well, two trading reasons off of Nigeria. Yeah, you got too. What language was the Nigerian speaking when the British got there, brother? What they had their own tribal languages, even what though script, they were in the Lincoln. Ebo spoke did, Ebo. What script did that language come from? The Ebo spoke Ebo. The Ebo spoke Ebo. The Yoruba yeah, spoke There is no Yoruba. such thing as the Ebo script. New brother. Who created the Ebo script? They got the Ensibidi script. Crowley. What are you talking about? Samuel Crowley. They have look up the Ensibidi script. Brother, she said Samuel, that. Samuel Crowder created the Ebo script. He they still use the Ensibidi script in Cuba. He they still use the Ensibidi script in Cuba and Brazil and in Haiti. For Top Cat, ask that man where is his Igbo or Yoruba marking, tribal marking. 
Yeah, where your tribe? Bro, from? I'm not. Look, huh? my, my folks was brought over here in the 1700s. No, no, no. Like, okay, why would I have tribal markings? Okay, but what? Okay, well, hold on, Top Cat. What family member that you know that's 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 a descendant that you know? A we talking about or... even well, one of the family members, even Ibrahim Sorty, but he was Fulani. You saying that's one of your family members? That's one of the family members that popped up on the okay, DNA okay, test. Okay, okay, okay. That leads us back to actual slow down. cousin. Okay, slow that down. That has the same chromosomes as us. Okay, slow down. That we talked to. Okay, so ahead, what, what? 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 Tribal... He Hebrew. He ain't supposed to have that. Okay, hold on. But what tribal? Information that was passed down. What tribal history that was passed down in your family, your, your your closest family member that that would give that gave okay. you that information, or okay, let that, me explain that, that, or tradition. That's what, that's why you know how you say y'all be like, look, look up your genealogy and do all that. That's what we did, brother. Okay, because no, that, no. a lot of that was lost. Okay, okay, all right. Bro, you win that one because you said it was lost. What did the documentary say he so from, you, bro? You. Be honest <laughs> with me, before I tell you ass up. What did the documentary say that brother was from? It did say he was from Africa. I go get like even even right his story is from the Buta Jolan region. What did they say he was? He they didn't say Guinea. That's a Guinea. Right? He wasn't no a slave. Guinea Bissau. He was not a slave, right? He was, but he was born he a slave, but he knew how to write Arabic. He knew how to write Arabic. Now, do you really practice exactly. that culture? Now he learned how to write Arabic. Um, I mean, I, I used to be Muslim back in the day, but I ain't. Muslim how did he like learn how? To, okay, so where does African shit come from? Why he ain't know how to write African? I mean, the he nigga wrote an white. Arabic. You just told they him called him. it a Jame script. That was their own version oh, of Arabic. Oh, see, I knew you was gonna try to run there. So then that means you under the Muslim control. No, they was Muslim. Yeah, they happened to be Muslim. I thought you was Europe, but nigga, in your Santeria, nigga, why the fuck are because y'all that's out one ancestor, right? So my but DNA. You know, is, are you a Muslim? Majority of my DNA. Brother, majority of my DNA Muslim. is from Nigeria, bro. Because Nigeria Muslim, had the largest slave. No, what y'all practice Santeria or were y'all Muslim? I mean, some of my folks no, probably your practice your Europe. Ma practice Nigeria, majority, majority, Christian. majority Christian. He's known as Muslim. They're Christian, Christian in the day and they go to the Bible. Nigeria, majority Christian, brother. So they go to the Bible law at nighttime, man. You know how many of them them bishops and pastors be going getting readings and shit? Bible Lawa. They they you ain't get them to the 20th century. That's their language. How do they make it up? The word Baba, Baba means father. I will means mystery. Father of the mystery. I mean in the 1700s. Show me that in the 1700s. What are you talking about? They they wrote they had a whole Bible in the 1700s. I bet you can't. Okay, so they wrote a Bible in Yoruba that was in the 1800s. Okay, and guess who who did it? Samuel Crowther, the nigga who's called the father of the Yoruba. He created the script for that, the Igbo and the Yoruba, bro. He's the one who got them translated over. That's what I'm telling Let you. Let me say you this. They miss me. Let me say this. Why can't y'all trace all y'all family when y'all look up no, on no, these no, uh y'all look to look up these family members, now right? Y'all oh, no, go through all no, this. Y'all be it. like, like y'all be like, go do genealogy. All your family members got English and French last names. Why they ain't got now, no names, no aboriginal last names? Right? I want to show you something real, real important, right? So so what happened was in the 1700s, they had found this group of people living in the Carolinas, right? Now, when they got there, they noticed that these niggas had the same European names as these niggas back in Scotland and Ireland. Now, what fucked them up was when they talked to the people, the people got what the people said. Nigga, we ain't get our names from nobody. This has always been our name. And so, yeah, man, I have all that type of evidence and shit to bring out. So when y'all talking about these European names, you better be careful. Because see, I got seven hundred slides, nigga. Tread lightly, nigga. Names. Super extended. Yeah, what does man. that have to do? Hey, we have proof that these names was in the Americas. What does that have to do with the Swedish ancestry? Oh, no, no, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, we can trace those names back. Yes, I do. I Google those names. When we Google those names, they go back to a coat of arms, and they tell you the origin of those people that come from Scotland and England. Watch this here, y'all. You right about that. They do go back to a coat of arms. But what you have to understand is where did those those coasts of arms represented a family, a line, a dynasty? Where were these people at? Come on, white man. people. They were what you niggas? Those white people. Hey, 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 you, say you, hey watch, you, say, brother, hey, watch with this DNA on your test, Top Cat. Watch this. Watch this right quick. What does that have to do with your Swedish ancestors? But hold on, watch this right quick, though. White people, that's crazy. Hey, watch this right quick. Now you spinning that too, right? And they they give you. A geographical location of multiple so-called tribes out of Africa, right? Is that how it works? A percentage or whatever? 
they they, they, they give you a pox a pox approximation of a group now, of people in a certain area. Now, now, now watch this. Now watch this though. That don't even line up with the what? The way that people operate to this day. Them people don't cross tribes like this. So how the fuck can you be six different goddamn tribes off a of speech? What are you talking about? It wasn't borders back in the day. They always cross tribes. Man, them people was not cross them tribes, man. I can call them. Right there. Right there. They don't cross they tribes just like that. They don't cross people. tribes like that, man. Stop playing. They enslaved. They enslaved. I know people that's Yoruba and Ibo that's mixed. That's man, mixed. Man, okay, you and Ibo were the same it's people, though. They were the same people. They What that means is your grandparents been out here for at least a hundred years, a couple generations. Uh, let me get and this they mixed, they they mixed with a variety of, of West Africans. Let me get this off. They took Yoruba people right, with, in Sierra Leone. It's Yoruba people in Sierra Leone. They took them there. Yeah. Got Yoruba and Yoruba, they were the same people. They divided just like North uh, uh, North China, I mean, yeah, North Korea and South Korea. So they were the same people at one point in time, but they've been divided. That's a fact. Right, hey, they all group of people. Y'all know my game. Yeah, Follow the wars, bro. How many wars? After a war, what's going to happen? Migration? <laughs> Yeah. So, somebody, cause guess what? Somebody gonna have to move, nigga. You can't stay here. We didn't win the war. Get what, bitch? You can't stay here no more. So, somebody. Do you think the Navajo would have understood the Cherokee so back in the day? To, they had their they own know. customs and languages, right? Wars and but you know how many did. so-called Africans got uh, families nah, got damn, split up and sold talking. off? Hold on, I'm just saying. Talk, I'm let just saying, talk. nigga. Damn, I'm talking. You know, and so, oh, uh, yeah, man, I, I'm, I don't even got nothing to say. Man, I need That's what I'm saying. You know how many, how many, uh, how many Judy, families got stole and man. they got stole to another plantation or something? So you have all these people. Tell them. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to happen. You're going to see that admixture. You know and I'm saying it's not going to be localized in one place. And, and let me ask you this. What are, you know, have you heard of the Guyanese? What are, are they Indians? Why would the guy need? Uh, they, 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 well, well, some, some have indigenous here. Well, I seen, I seen a, uh, a dude and his, uh, his mother took a DNA test. They came back one hundred percent Guyanan. You know what I'm saying? So they thought, you know what I'm saying? That, uh, uh, so this whole time they thought they was Indians and they was they, they DNA was one hundred percent from Ghana. And they living in yeah, Guyana. Bro, y'all keep it, talking bro. about DNA tests, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, What's wrong with y'all, bro? Uh, hey, no, because hey. Not, hey, not only that, not only that, they got Yo, a documentary where they took a brother about, from Ghana. You, you, you no, told look, me that they you, took a brother you, from Ghana over to, they took a brother from Ghana over to Guyana, Sierra, Suriname, and he went to go talk to the Maroons, and they was both speaking Cromanti. They <laughs> understood man, what each other was. So you're going to have some indigenous people, that, you know what I'm saying, but it's a small number. Real quick, y'all. You know what saddens me, dog, is that King Cash or Cash. Hold on, Cash. You just sat here and said that the coats of arms came from white people. You, you, you're not even far enough along to understand that it was melanated Europeans that ruled these coats of arms. It didn't start from pale people, brother. Come on, bro. We got to get to a certain point to where we at least understand some shit, dog. You still think the European coats of arms come from Caucasians? Yes, it does. Why? No, come on, bro. That's sad. That's sad, brother. That's sad. For you to be this intellectual guy, and, and I respect my Detroit niggas and all that is love, bro, but you got some more work to do, bro. You don't under you, you don't even understand that the beginning of the European dynasties and, and kings were melanated people, brother. And then y'all keep talking about DNA tests, bro. And how many times that shit gotta be... Hey, y'all hey, doing this? You know what so cool about it is. Yeah. No, no, the first king, problem. hold on, bro, chill out, bro, because the first <laughs> king of England, bro, is a black king. The first. Talk to him, top. Oh, we going in Saturday. We got seven hundred. Oh, we got seven hundred in the clip. The seven hundred. King the first of king of the black man. And, on, man. Playing, and then bro. after that, I'm gonna go yeah. down his genealogy and break down. the am talking that more. Hold on, hold no, on. You're going to go down this genealogy and do what? Talk? To talk Morris talk because these people weren't Morris. Come on, bro. Well, it's not a Morris conversation, brother. That's where these that come people from, had man. names. They had they were uh they had bloodlines, bro. No, they 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 didn't call themselves Morris respectfully. And, and they wasn't about what they were called uh yeah, what they fought for, what they died for. They died behind their names. 
They family on, names man. and they, 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 yeah, that was they. And shit. they wasn't pale people. He just like literally, bro. Oh, y'all, yeah. y'all still hanging on to this slave. The, the, the nigga name is the Black Prince. Talk to him, so bro. You gotta, bro. you gonna have to get around that, nigga. You gonna have to get around the complexion and the description. Yeah, they of call, this. they call the Irish people that too. Bro. Hey, Cash, that shit that. just sad though, Cash, because you know, you, 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 you know, you, you got bars. You say you got bars. I know you stand on your intellectual and scholarship. Why is Pan Africanism or the? How come you can't even get to the point where you understand that about the history? That the beginning of the the European dynasties and royal families were 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 melanated people, brother. We not even it's telling not you true. to be Indian. We not telling you to do none of it's that. It's not true. But, it's not true. You hear that nigga? Yeah, I'm gonna switch up on him. So so Man, let me ask I'm you. Top, I, I really want you to wait to Saturday, top. But if you got a shot. Because it don't make sense to me how they still standing on certain things that's already come on, bro. The truth is out. We in the information age. Step your game up, bro. If you so want to be African, still be African. If you want to still be African, if you want to still be African, be African. But what saddens me too is that nobody standing on their genealogy. I ain't seen no Hebrew or no African. If they do use the DNA cross referencing with genealogy, but y'all hey, listen, listen, like, real quick. One more, one more, because the brother. The brother Top Cat went on Sarnetta yesterday and stood on his own. And and and, and he asked Sarnetta how far, no disrespect to Sa, because Sa was over here as love. But it's just to prove a point. He asked him how far he got back, and he said only his grandparents. What are we doing? And then the Hebrews, your Bible talk nothing about but genealogy. What are we doing, bro? Y'all going to have to update y'all shit. Or get lost, bro, because we arguing and beating a, a fucking brick wall. Yeah, but you trying to say slavery? You trying to say slavery didn't exist, though? No, we and not that's saying that. Listen, bro, hold on. Nobody never said that, brother. That's that's top, that was top. That yeah, top cat has recently changed his position, no, no, but he, he trying to undermine it. He trying to underplay it. Hey, right, 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 right. Wait, I'm right here. Said. I can speak for myself. Why? Why? I'm trying to change my oh. position on what, brother? I'm just saying because at first you used to say this shit was a total hoax, no, and that was Dan Callaway's whole argument. Now, you know what I'm saying? Family, family. No, he was I saying it was totally reverse, brother. So, so, no, nah, I never said. Nah, that. I don't I don't you were that it was white people. Like this here, we'll do it like this here, y'all. Because I actually have, I, I did a video called "The Transatlantic Slave Trade Was a Hoax," part one and part exactly. Two. Okay, so brother, so what? did you come up off that position? Now hold on, no sir, I never. Hey, he also said his grandma was African too. The, he also said he had on, African did, grandma. Hold on, bro, hold, hold tight, bro. Hold did you, tight. Did you the information that was in there? The information in that bill had nothing to do with the slave trade. By the way, so what did we talk about in there? He go to slide right here. He go to PowerPoint. Cause y'all niggas be talking, y'all ain't even click on the video, and it probably was a ten dollar pay per view. So well, that's the, app, that's the that's the normal Abo so, argument. So, so here, he, okay. So what is it talking about, bro? We not we not talking about no motherfucking slaves in here. That why I asked, did you, did so you then, see the motherfucking video? So a lot of so then a lot talking. of people are saying that fifteen million you number. Niggas be talking now. Let me do this here again, dude. Can you prove that your family have any slave records? What I'm trying to tell you is Just that hold they. Hold on, bro. All that fly shit, nigga. Do you have any slave records? I haven't I looked it up, but I'm proving right, I've, I've heard, of, slave records, I've heard of, of people so doing extensive can't. searches no, look, look, and look, finding look, that look, information. I haven't felt it necessary to do such an extensive what, search. What, what I know said, is I'm not an Indian. What Chief and Chief just said, nigga, you can't box with the guards. Your arms too short, nigga. You ain't Stop even got you no gonna show us, hey. No, hey, dude, you can you prove that you had uh, a slave schedule? Can you put out a slave schedule? I can't, brother. You keep. You only let me talk, why and you wonder why I don't like coming on this truth. platform. Nigga, I don't give a fuck, nigga. You don't bring nothing to this platform. Okay, I'll stay in the chat then. Hold on, hold on. Keep it in the chat from now on. I will roast your sorry ass in the chat from now on. You bring absolutely nothing to the conversation. Judah, ask him this. When are you going to show us that DNA test that you're on? Because you ain't going to put two words out over you. Judah, Judah, you ask me a question that won't let me answer. You keep asking redundant ass questions. You know what I'm saying? You act like it's redundant. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you know, trying to locate exact information like that is. It's very hard for a lot of people. That doesn't make you an Indian. That's you copying out. 
You know it does saying? not. It, it, well, you just demute. Simple, it does not, not make you any either, bro. So you take this out. stand that you're not an Indian. Look, though. brother, it, like, it, it, like you, you can, you know, you Indian have Indian, Indian ancestry. If, now, if you're telling me you have any uh, confirmed any Indian ancestry, I believe you. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you that I do. That that would be a fucking fallacy. Hold on, hold on, Judah, Judah, Judah. Judah, can I answer you, Judah? Bro, we okay with that, bro. We understand. Judah, his auntie took a DNA test, and he won't show it to us. His auntie took a DNA test. I told you, it say ninety nine point nine. The problem is with a female is they do not possess a Y chromosome. If you're into the DNA, the problem is she does not possess a Y chromosome. Pay me. You want to see? No, it, he's. I don't no matter care. what, should say. I don't care that much to pay me. I do not care that much. I, I didn't ask you to. That was Chris. Chris ain't act, that ain't what the I didn't ask to see your shit, bro. I didn't ask to see y'all up on genealogy, but y'all don't know y'all who y'all fucking family is. That's really what I'm talking about. I, I traced my people back to the 1700s. I traced my people back and to the And what would tell what would tell the whole picture is her maternal haplo group. You know what I'm saying? But she still doesn't Man, have a white chromosome. Nigga, a white boy made this shit up. Nigga, she does she still doesn't have a white chromosome. And he's stacked the dick with that shit. And he stacked the dick. They ought to take so, so when I did, hey, look, when I did my DNA test, when I did my DNA test, they found immediate cousins all over the country, bro. We found family on my granddaddy's side. My bad. We found, we found, we found, we found family on my granddaddy's side. We found family on my mother's side. We found family on my father's side. Did you find them same like people in your genealogy? Yes, they're in the genealogy. We're cousins. That like we work. like, oh, you were killed such and such and such. nigga ain't even. We also no, look. We know no, stop it, stop it. No, first of all, first of all, first of all. Man, first of all, nigga, your grandparents white. You got a white grandparent. No, I showed him a slave. I showed him a slave. I showed him a slave trader that we link. We link our DNA back to the slave trader. Trade. A white woman changed your pamphlet. No, no. Bottles of milk, nigga. Yeah, nigga, you got a white grandparent. No, I'm gonna tell you because y'all keep saying DNA stuff is fake. So how did I find my family? We don't want to hear nothing about no DNA from no nigga mixed with a white boy. Brother, you just mentioned DNA, though, didn't you? You just, yeah, so you just I said that shit yeah. fake, nigga. That's right, y'all love it. Y'all believe certain stuff that we can't. Don't deal with DNA. Hey, Judah. Judah. That's 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 Genealogy Judah. for Hebrews, I found family. What are you talking about? I hey, found yo, family. Look, Bible, Judah. I found family Bible. all over the country, bro. Hey, why do I believe the Bible it. deal with genealogy in the Hebrews down today? Because we went question, to Judah, on, Judah, 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 If you niggas following the laws of, or being like the Israelites of the Bible, they follow genealogy, nigga. Why you niggas Back. don't? You around here talking about a motherfucking half low group that a white boy made up freestyle. Come on, man. man. And you claiming it. It's not oh, worth man. a headache hey, for you a lot of people. And you a lot of people for is not trying to uh, rehash they, but they and that nigga about that motherfucker. Nigga, the Bible tell you who begot who, who became genealogy who, and all this shit here, line for line, nigga. And y'all don't want to do like it. Talking about a motherfucking half low group. You the order a DNA kit out. And hey, the Ethiopians, they can do that. They trace it back all the way to you know. a big head ass Ethiopian. Fuck them racist <laughs> ass motherfuckers, <laughs> nigga. You don't know nothing about no Ethiopian. Fuck them Ethiopians. What's about? I dated they a couple niggas. Ethiopian women. We I hate they skinny ass. Yeah, fuck them bony ass niggas. And the what now? What did you get? With they pretty but, but, head or oh, flat booty ass? Yeah, fuck them pretty ass. Nah, I, I met some. I met some Ethiopians with some big old asses. Now yeah, you can't be saying they all got flat booty. And they all had a big stomach too to go with it. Nah, 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 nah bro. They, 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 they had oh, shape. Shape. Them hoes is pretty than the motherfucker. Some of the prettiest bitches on this planet. Oh, with they bony ass. Yeah, I, 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 I had an Ethiopian with an ass, brother. You a damn liar. And that white, and you already told a nigga you come from white folks, so yeah, a deer, a deer to slay. I told you a deer to slay trader that was in our family that came over in the uh, 1700s, save it. like that. Save it. The Indian, no, a deer to Indian trade. He got a white. book on him, he went white, bro. So came to Virginia and they moved down to South Carolina, took their slaves with them, and I think they married some uh, Cherokee, took his family with Cherokee folk. Took his yeah, family. They, he and they fucked around with some Cherokee women. Do you know that there was records on the deer and we can go in and easily see who he is, bro? Yeah, he was a white, he was a white dude from no, Scotland. We know that. You crazy ass nigga. And that white boy that you you got recent white folks in the in the 20th century in your family. 
Yeah, that shit go back to that idea. And that's on my what well, that's your on my people came, side. nigga. A deer came in the 1700. Nigga, your white people came here in Ellis Island. You just told us the other day. No, I didn't say that. Them folks Ellis Island. Your white, your, your white side came from Ellis Island, bro. You told us. Island them. Oh, bro, them boy. Old school. <laughs> them them old school. Them them old old school. And, nigga, you want me to press play? We had your ass here telling the truth, nigga, about two weeks ago. And you I said, never said they came bro, from Ellis Island. You got white bro. grandparents, bro. Island oh, you talking about somebody else? No, I'm talking about Kenny Cash. No, nah, they go back to the 1700s. You a motherfucking bro. lie, nigga. You look like a white boy. You look like you, you say he's an island boy. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, y'all, 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 y'all yeah, don't your, worry about it. I'm gonna pull a tape. Y'all masters of Caribio was an island boy. Tape, nigga. I'm gonna pull a tape. You say he's an Ellis Island boy. Hey, look, Caribio is y'all master teacher. No, nah, top cats the master teacher, nigga. Get it right, get it, get it right. Remio. Why you always? Why you all love bringing up other niggas, man? Yeah, that nigga. What fuck nah, wrong with him? We gonna close it out, man. Y'all give us some last words, man. We'll get man, over peace here. and power, man. I'm be in and out of here, man. Appreciate what you're doing, man. Keep stepping on, niggas. It was a great build today. Uh, it's powerful how you bring how you bring people together, bro. Just keep doing your thing, nigga. And if it's Saturday that this master class happened, and I'm in there, but. Nigga, I ain't tripping because I know what it's coming with. So peace, power, love, honor to you, and to the chat, and to BCU the mob, man. You know how we rocking. In a real way. Shaq, take his that. Yes, sir, man. Peace, man. Salute to the panel, man. Salute to everybody on the panel. Salute to you, Top Cat. Everybody in the chat, the moderators, man. Everybody that's listening. Hey, man. My motto is all hands on deck. But look here, man. Y'all kicking ass, man. This American Indian the Aboriginal paradigm is the hottest shit going because – that's enough information to really have a leg to stand on. So that's it. Salute, brother. Keep on kicking. All right, for sure. All right, y'all, man. I'm finna get over here to Unscramble Minds. They doing an interview with uh, Jane Elliott tonight. So if y'all in the building, put some BCUs up, you know, throw some Jaguars in the chat. Unscramble Minds. And so that's why I be at over there listening to the Jane Elliott interview. Uh, appreciate everybody coming through. This was another classic. We had classic two days in a row. I'm taking a break, goddamn it. I won't see y'all probably to this weekend, man. The tickets are at the top, bro. If y'all haven't bought y'all tickets, bro, I don't know what's the price up there, but it's going to be $40 at the door. I'm not playing with niggas. I got 700 slides, nigga. 700, nigga. It's $40 at the door. So if you don't get the tickets early, nigga, uh, they $40 at the door. So at the top of the chat, it's pinned at the top. You can go up there and get your tickets to the lecture, 700 slides, man. That will be Saturday, 3 p.m. Central Time. We going in. Appreciate everybody pulling up. Hell of a hell of a day, man. Hell of a live, man. Y'all be cool like y'all be cool. Uh, Lucini say 50 at the door. Fuck it. We might make it 50 at the door. For real. Go get your tickets, nigga. Or it's going to be $50 at the door. We not bullshit. All right. Uh... I'm finna go to uh unscramble minds they have and if y'all coming over, drop some BCU down there, drop some Jaguars in the chat. Tree say fifty dollars. It's fifty at the door, man. Done deal. Fifty dollars at the door, nigga. Uh broke niggas, uh y'all can hear about it. Real talk. We gone, man. <laughs>